Alright, time for a bit more Elden Ring. Gonna take on Mount Galmir, but before that I have a couple of dungeons to do. Because I realize that there was one dungeon in Limgrave that I completely miss somehow. And it's apparently a cave over this way, north of this bridge. So I think I'll deal with that. That real quick. It's an idea. So how am I going to get this way? I... Hmm. Somehow that does not seem to be the way in. But apparently... Find a way up here. Hmm. There's a way inside the high road cave. I'll just slip inside real quick. See what there is to see. Hmm. More Roa that I don't quite need, and a decent amount of foul feet, though I honestly don't imagine it'll be all that useful to me here. Oh, and there you are. Should be. Nothing at all, yeah. Simple. Given that I do have a plus 10 Bloodhound Spank now. Okay. Mm hmm. So, finding a way to get down there. Ah. So, presumably, this was it. Seek down. It was actually kind of hard to find. Huh. Oh, and an Arterio Leaf. Uh, the joke writes itself. Okay, so is this the place, or... Wait. Not quite yet. Should be a... Spirit Spring somewhere, if I recall correctly. Beyond that, not... Okay, and just birds. So how do I... Oh, hey! It turns out that there was a cave in Limgrave that I completely just missed. So I'm trying to find it. High Road Cave? Also, T-Blaze, do you plan on getting on the... all the mod server anytime? Because it has been having some issues with... It crashed last night, which preemptively ended things for me. But it does seem like it'll be pretty fun. And I don't think you heard this, but I plan on being a cartoon villain. So I'd like accomplices, henchmen, co-villains. But how are you doing just in general? It's good to see you again. But I did... I don't think I told you. Or I don't think you saw, but I actually took on Moog last time. Without the purifying crack tier and without Moog shackle. I'm doing alright. I realize that I probably have... Or at least had food poisoning, which was interesting. I ate some leftovers that I probably shouldn't have and paid the consequences. It was interesting. But I'm feeling better now. A couple of days ago I was kind of exhausted and had some bad headaches. Oh, I took my mom to go get some ramen from somewhere and ended up... It was this non-soup sort of ramen salad. And she didn't eat all of her food because she's a very tiny woman. And es essentially, I ended up... Oh. So that spirit spring. It ended up sitting for a couple of days and I thought, okay, it should still be good. And I had it. And after a bit, it started tasting kind of weird. And I sort of, huh. And then I realized I shouldn't, have, shouldn't really be eating it. But... By that point, I would already eat, eaten some, and it's not like I was going to induce vomiting, so... After about a week, I started feeling kinda... funky. It was interesting. Yeah. Wait, so... High Road Cave... I'm not quite sure where. Well, if I... use the Spirit Spring to get down, I can hopefully find my way in, but... Should be over this way, presumably. I. It's gonna be interesting to get inside. Oh, welcome back, Nad. How are you doing? Are you. 
Last time, you did send an Elden Ring emote, so I was wondering if you were familiar. I am trying to find... well... I'm happy to hear you're no longer dead, but you being dead in the first place is news to me. Okay, but... No, seriously. Okay, there was a cave that I totally missed. It's not gonna be hard to get, hard to beat, but it's hard to find. Okay, so how do I... Where is High Road Cave? How do I get in there? Is it an illusory wall, or...? This is confusing. Bridge, updraft, off the soft side. Dark, unmarked tunnel on the left side of the cliff wall if you head north in the tunnel. That's interesting. On the west side of the cliff wall, but I haven't found that. That's interesting. Well, the big thing is that I actually did go around here before, so I'm surprised that I didn't find the cave entrance. But the boss here is just going to be a tiny golem that shouldn't be much in the way of trouble. As long as I can actually find the thing. I, I may be stupid. Well, I'm definitely stupid, but... And it was... It was right here. And I just completely forgot about it. Well, didn't forget about it, just did not see it when I went through here before. Okay, cool. Either way, this should not be much trouble at all. I just... There's a golem at the end. I don't imagine... Yeah, it... The only reason... Okay, fair. Take your time. Thank you for popping back in. For what it's worth, I will be playing Genshin tomorrow, and I imagine you like that one more. So, good luck with everything, and see you around. But, can I... The only reason I even figured to check this place again by looking at Whistle Locations in Limgrave was because somebody on some... Might have been Twitter, but someone was complaining about getting invaded in here. I was just sort of, huh, that name doesn't sound familiar to me. Then I looked into it and I was just sort of, oh, oh it seems there was a cave in Limgrave that I just completely missed. And it's it's going to be a total stomp. I have a plus 10 Bloodhound Spin because I got an Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone from Mogwin Palace, which, yeah, just normal 1,000 da or so damage things on a non-focus build. Starlight is honestly... It's the only sorcerer I actually get meaningful use out of. It, It is hilarious how much Elden Ring screws over intelligence builds in particular. It doesn't stop people from claiming that magic is easy mode, but it's really, really funny. Hmm. Because enemies are... Wow, Golden Room 1. Enemies are just so good at closing gaps that... There's no real sense in which I would say that magic is in easy mode. It's kind of in easy mode in Dark Souls 2, it's definitely in easy mode in Dark Souls 1, and it is hilariously easy to use in Demon Souls. But in Elden Ring, it it's not meaningfully easier than any other option. In fact, I would say that the easiest option is probably just a strength build that can get reliable poise breaks. And the end is going to be a Guardian Golem, which I might be able to kill before it even falls down. Magic Glint Blade? I have not, but I know you talked about there being a glitch related. So I can test that out real quick. The big thing is just that very few enemies are weakest to magic damage. And when they are, it's always... Oh, okay. It's always tied with other damage types in terms of being weak. Is that's, it's really just the Falling Star Beast, and I think that's the only thing where its highest vulnerability is to magic, technically. But it's also equally weak to Fire, Holy, and Lightning. So it's hard to really make a specific case to use magic over other damage types there. But, especially when anything Black Flame related is hilariously good. Try range battle, and presumably that would link around back there. I can see under that. Because I actually tried making... I made the Star Scourge Greatswords and spent a... Somber Smithing Stone 9 that in retrospect I probably should not have making it strong. Because I thought it would be good against Astel. And it just was not particularly good against Astel. Because it was slow and split damage is just... Not especially good. Oh, and guess who needs to recast Starlight? Me. It doesn't change the fact that... Well, the big thing about magic damage is that 
since any build that really has a lot of magic damage, and it would dead bats, is really only going to have magic damage and nothing else. This is a surprisingly long cave. I... huh. Okay. Interesting. Is only going to have magic damage. Very few things are either specifically resistant or specifically weak to it, which is understandable and legitimate, but even still... And I think I... Oh, well, alright. Pretty sure that lightning damage is actually what these guys are weakest to, too. I do find it interesting that... Lightning Spear does not have a melee hitbox like it did in previous Souls games, especially in Dark Souls 3. I loved how... Okay, take your time. In Dark Souls 3, Lightning Spear had a melee hitbox... It was legitimately a very fun way to use the spell and gave it a lot of cool risk versus risk reward. But it's all down around here. Oh, how well. Thanks. And I okay, interesting. Really a grab attack? Oh, and bleed? Interesting. Hmm. Okay. This is actually a much longer and more substantial cave than I expected. Good amount of smithing stones here, too. Mm -hmm. But the benefit of having light without having to hold on to thing, hold on to a torch is incredibly useful. Maybe a beast repellent torch is the only torch that's worth using on its own merits. Okay. And then we go down where? Wait. How do I want to drop down, then? This is interesting. Okay. Hmm. Down and then time for safety. This... Okay, that actually kept me alive. Here. Okay. Come on. And... Okay. Thank you. Thank you, and... Oh, well, alright. And it still does not see me. Interesting, but... Surprised that did not send me hurtling off the ledge. Must be happy though. Oh, and we got our Shamshir. So that's where it was, yep. Thin void of ample length, blood of weight despite larger size, slicing attacks come in rapid succession, devastatingly powerful weapon in the hands of a skilled swordsman, and I didn't even read these. Charbera Mug, devoid of any benediction, divine tower of East Altus beyond the Great Bridge from Elendel's Eastern Ward. And that... I have to go through the Sealed Tower. But, I think, wait, would that be Forbidden Lands? I'm not sure. You know, the Erd Tree, wishing to raise Mikkel to full godhood, Moog wished to become his consort, taking the role of monarch, no matter how much his bloody bedchamber he tried to sing her, received no response for the young Empyrean. Hmm. Interesting. To be fair... Moog is actually not really the bad guy. And we can jump around here, which is nice, and this will probably take us around, presumably. Oh, this is actually way to the Guardian Golem. Hmm. In that case. Okay. Oh, oh. Hmm. Not great. I... Hmm. Okay. I guess I can run back through, but that was not fun to get that exactly incorrect. Probably should have known not to do that because it was a one-way path. Well, actually, you could argue the opposite is true. Traverse the Mist, and Lion's Claw. Hello, Guardian Golem. Hello. And... Thanks, and... Can I... There we are, and this should be... Oh my goodness, this thing is actually pretty durable. Okay. Come on. Crazy damage. Okay. And that's all. Uh, the blue dancer charm. Hmm. What's all? Dancer garbed in blue. Ancient heirloom of some sort. Attack power, lower equipment low. Dancer in blue. Presents a fairy who in legend bestowed a flowing sword upon a blind swordsman. In hand, the swordsman sealed away an ancient god, a god that was wrought itself. And that would be Millennia's mentor. 
question is, does this respawn everything, or... Uh -oh. Definitely did reload the area. Oh well. Hmm. Well, alright. You can keep on going. Down again. Try to avoid the enemies. Hmm. We love falling. See what happens. Go through here. Got the walls. Good range on this thing as usual. Mm -hmm. Come on. And keep on going and oh my goodness. Come on. Give me. Thin beast spoons would be good for normal arrows, though to be fair. I think that'll actually be all that important. Okay. Mm -hmm. Gonna try this again. Good range, thank you. And another bat, thanks. And oh, another bat. Okay. Mm -hmm. More golden runes, and I wait. No. Oh well, I I lived. Okay, thank you. Hmm. I. That was an arrow. Hmm. It actually can teleport out of here, that's good. What I have to do is jump over here. And oh my okay. Well that was unpleasant. I didn't even know you were there. Come on. Hmm. Should lead me around to whatever item that was, and there were Oh Kaiden cell swords here. The bats kill them, or oh that's a is that a land octopus? Yeah, okay, so that's what happened. Fun. Okay. Cool. Okay, enjoy Jap. Thanks. Hmm. So if Holy Church Heavy it would have probably opened it up for a stance break critical, not that it really matters. That's interesting, kinda. Hmm. So What is this? This is. Oh, right, it was just a cruel calling finger remedy. So now that we've gone through there, anything that really comes to mind would be going to Runestrone Precipice. Then that was Gauri, this was Sully of her Storms of Ruin. Hmm. Now I use a Walking Mausoleum, and it was the one in. Deep root depths. Yeah, I use that to replicate. Redon. Don's remembrance of recall correctly. Hmm. And then my question is any of this fill out. These roots over here seem interesting. I Maybe I should actually look over here real quickly. At least that Urge Reavatar isn't going to respawn. I... Hmm. Things up top on those roots, and I'm not quite sure if I could get there from... Frenzied Flame Prescription. That's my question. Well, I... Worth a shot to try to walk up and around here. There might be an item at least, but... It's a lot darker than I expected. Let's see real quick, and I would imagine that that's the way you get there from Frenzied Flame Prescription. Let's see things walking, and there were other ants around there too. And that would allow you to completely avoid the Urge Reavatar, which is probably part of the motivation, so to speak. Okay. Here we are, we can go to the Ruin Strone Precipice over this 
ravine village. Got through that, and now it's on to the actual fight here. Oh, but I don't need that anymore, do I? I really don't. Stone barb and opaline, and those are both very, very nice. Hmm. Take those, and oh, this is weirdly open. That interests me. Hmm. Well, I... Hmm. There is a part of me that wants to just get Prelate's Inferno Krajir as soon as possible. Yeah, I think I will. Subterranean Inquisition Chamber. Hmm. And we'll start from this way. So, the Abductor Virgins at the end. I think it would be better to... Lightning. Because we're going to be using the Lightning Spear on them. Actually, my question is... What spell... Are there any other Lightning spells that I could really make use of right now? Hmm. Nope. Not really. So we'll stick with... Lightning Spear, then. Hmm, but to get through here, actually, I would presume that this would actually be a good deal better. Guess we'll keep this foot on. Hide our identity or something. Move in. Then a bit of Starlight might help. Hmm. All the items around here. That's my question. Hello. They're going to be an illusory wall anyway, or suppose not an- Oh, well, we got more of these slugs. Hello. Cool. Good damage. Smoldering butterfly, and all this lava. Huh. Work my way around, and I- And I- Actually, it's not that hard to be in the lava. That's funny, actually. Would have expected much worse. Though, to be fair, having a lot of fire negation does really, really help. Because it's very plain that you're supposed to actually... You have to walk through here, to an extent. At least you can, and... Oh, well! Come on, Albanor, get down here. You're gonna fall down, or... You do not go off ledges. Interesting. Hmm. So, in that case... Here is... You know, I could probably red as Greybow this. Sure. How much is this gonna do? Should be anything but fire. That was fun. So I suppose if I didn't care to check what something was weak to, I could just use magic damage on it and generally be able to trust it would be at least somewhat usable. But it's somewhat nice. So we're getting some more smithing stones in here, but, like I said... As soon as we get Prelate's Inferno Crozier from Fort Laid, that's what I'm using, but... I don't have any more five, any more three and four, because these are the ones we can buy. We could take it most of the way to 24, but it... Mm. I'm not even using all that many. Hmm. So what then and where? Big thing is avoiding death. Hmm. -hmm. Come on, come on. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm. Go over here and... Hmm. Time for light. Yep. I think so. Oh, and then boss ahead. Oh, so it's presumably just going to ambush us. Fun. Hmm. I will buff up then. Thank you. And playing grant me strength will not do much of anything then. And should just hop out here. I think. 
Or not? Oh, well, is that the boss log? Oh, yeah, there is boss log. Okay. Hmm. Interesting, then. Hmm. I do want to work my way around here. And I failed. Interesting, and lots of moss. Enjoy ahead. A bunch of budding cave moss for some reason. Alright. Alright. That would mean reapplying a couple of buffs. We're gonna need more of this at least. Okay. Hmm. So, we'll take this. Move on in. And hello! Wheel and swinging sickle. Alright. Hi. Hi! Okay. I. Hmm. We can just toss without having to worry about. Okay, I. Oh my goodness, you're kidding. You're kidding. Come on, you. Come on. Okay, well, I. That was hardly any damage at all, honestly. Yeah. Okay, and. Die. 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 And. Come on. One. Two, and. Oh, okay. Yeah, I. We're way too strong for this. It's actually hilarious. Okay. Quizzers, you and all. Okay. Alright. And it takes a lot for a single level now. Nibbles behind the curtain, physical and fire, volcano matter, Mount Gelmir, numerous spikes, pierce the flesh, sing to the wounds with flame. Small burnt blood induces despair in the victim, candlestick conceived by a thorough mind. Okay. Hmm. Well, alright then. And we came from over that way, right? We ran to the side. So this side of Grace, and I wonder if that'll trigger Altus-related events, but... Is that... Okay, you can see the wall over there. Fun. Interesting, and this is... Yep, the Abductor Virgin. Kind of an unfortunate name. So the question is now that we rested here. Is Corin is still the hold, so presumably we need to find one somewhere outside. But let's go to Fort Blade. Find some other things. Alright, and here we are in Mount Gelmir. So to drop down and we got another grace. So this would just put me Oh, so without getting abducted, you just can't go there at all. Fine. Training Inquisition Chamber. Hmm. Let's so rest over there. Is that going to make Corin move to Altus? Hello, how are you doing? I am on a volcano, but I'm mostly here to get a weapon. Now that we activate this... I think this should count as Altus, and maybe make someone move over. See the water river. So we can talk to Melina now, presumably because this is Altus. Aha, uh -huh. hi Melina, long time no see. The earth tree is close. Only a you think? Till the foot of the earth tree. I actually forgot about the Accord. She'll give me a Honda Accord. To know the Urtree had feet. Everything is lost to me. Sad. I have to ascertain for myself the reason oh. for which I live. Bodyless. Mm. Alright. That should make Corn move. So I could find him somewhere and actually buy my first holy incantation worth a damn. Yep, he's gone, and that also means... Wait, he's not gone. We have, after all, surfing the open gold mess, not meeting up for some time, which no one has at the moment. We have all those already. There. And three... Oh, wow. In America, there are a lot of planes delayed, too, but that's because of... an outage... of some software. Called CrowdStrike, Capital Lanedale. Oh, oh, it actually got had an eruption from Rome 
You mean, are you talking about Pompeii or? It's the dung eater. Not really, no. Yeah. You are but a lamb. A stranger to defilement. Ignorant of your own ignorance. And this is a loathsome dung eater. Interest me. Unpleasant. Been long without face. Oh, Hoan. Don't spoil my quietude. Isn't that isn't that Let me see. Suit sack. Get that from next to yeah it was fall arbor town at least in english oh okay not to disturb me hold serenity death and defilement at bay so he's actually a dung ahead yet yeah. and all these corpses wow he's actually a dark spirit in a sense but Hmm. You know, right, this would be an opportunity to get some items from Moog's Remembrance. It's interesting. I think I'll probably take Blood Boon. Sacred Spear is actually too good. And I could actually buy his robe. Hmm. It's an interesting idea. Well, it. I could also buy the Lion Armor. That's an interesting idea and option. Pro complications, Word of the Battlefields, Lightning, and that. Word of Blood, Extravagant Gold, Emblem, and Black Cloth. Dress of a Luminary, Reigning Lord, and Hierarch of the Coming Down of Mogwen. Perhaps of a Raving Lunatic. Huh. Let's just buy some of this equipment for fun. Could get. Couldn't buy all of that right now, though. Hmm. Go forth, words of the fingers guide you. The question is, and this is... Let me see. Largely, largely better, but it's heavier too. Hmm. Don't hate that, but it is... <laughs> there, there are jokes about people who wear Radon's armor. They're called Kevins. Yeah, this... Hmm. Well, at least it's it's pretty drippy. Yeah, Bloodhound's Fang and Radon's armor. It's truly, truly clown. Okay, so we got the Sacred Spear. Well, it's just a stereotypical Y boy name. Trident of Mogord of Blood, Sacred Spear that will come to symbolize his dynasty while serving as a weapon, instrument of communion with an outer god, bestows power upon accursed blood. Mother of Truth desires a wound, but in ritual, Sacred Spear pierces the body of the former's mother. Up to three times, creating explosions of blood with each thrust, coat the armament with blood flame for a while. This thing is actually very, very strong. It does also do split damage, so the main thing is its weapon skill, which primarily you would use to. Basically, Millennia, who is arguably the hardest boss in the base game, gets totally rocked by this thing. But this is fun. This is the attack he was using the Blood Scatterer. Sacred Incantation of Mogul Order Blood. Thrust armor on the body of the Fortress Mother. Scatter the Blood Fleet and set the area ablaze. Castle in motion. Mother of Truth craves runes. When Mog stood before deep underground, his accursed blood erupted with fire and he was besad with it. Following that he was born into, we'll take this. Choose that instead. Alright, so we've hit up Altus now, so... Could do a bit of Gelmir climbing, I think. That would be a nice idea in particular, because... Like I said... There's an item I can get over this way. Which would be the... Weapon. It's going to be the Prelate's Inferno Krigir, which will at least in theory be one of my best weapon options. It's a colossal weapon, which I can wield right now, and oh my goodness. Shwar Barrage, these in skills, light bows, work horizontally, bow, rapid succession of shots, fetch them the I can see, usable on light bows. 
Interesting. Volcanic stone. And it... Oh, we got some funny geysers around here. And oh, this means another golden seed and therefore another flask use. Exciting. So that's five now, so we only need ten more. Nice. Hmm. So beyond that, there's a cave over there, but we are not going there right now. Goal is to find that way to Fort Laid. Hmm. Spinning stone. But it'll take some time until I have enough various things to actually upgrade it, so we'll see. And oh, we got more corpses. Exciting. Huh. Who do I want to? Urba. This should put me over by the fortress I'm trying to get to. That's all I really need. Also, I could... I think I'll actually go to another part of Altus real quickly. Fireproof dry deliver. In particular, the sealed tunnel. Because it should have a bell bearing that will allow me to buy infinite amounts of three and four smithing stones, which would be quite nice. Mm -hmm. Also try to find the Rithe Blood Ruins in order to get a another piercing sword. Blast a charge to flask, five gold seeds, increase your number of uses, and there we go. Exciting stuff. Oh, Ten and three, so thirteen in total. Hmm. Theory, I would think... Actually, I don't imagine the resistances would be that different. So the sheer damage of the Fang will probably be my best option. There we go. We Okay, alright. Thanks. And if can I go on the other side? Work around and... Oh, right. We can backstab. Fun and cool. Simple enough. So here in this fortress, there should be a fire prelate. Which, oh, and we got another smithing stone from that. Nice. And that fire prelate should allow me to get some other things. And I need... Hmm, that actually... It would be possible to maybe farm from these fire chariots in order to get enough smithing stone fives to take the prelate's inferno crozier right to... Basically right to 23, which would be really nice. So that'll be my best option, in theory, for stance breaking up until I manage to make Giant Crusher work, which I would need 10 more levels of strength, so basically 80 more levels in total in order to actually use, and that's with a rune arc. It'd only be 40 more, but still 40 more, if I had a... Here in Fort Volcano Manor, not Fort Wade yet. If I used a... Using talismans could allow me to also use Giant Crusher. But it's not... Going to be all that much better than using Inferno Crusher anyway. The one thing about Inferno Crusher is that it's actually hideous. It is an infamously ugly weapon. Come on, thank you. Smoldering Butterfly and Smoldering Butterfly. How do I want to make this work? Either way, we can way inside here. This should be the way inside Mount Wade. And oh, a bunch of spirit jellyfish. This is no, this is just a fire monk. Thank you. And oh, alright, well we can power through that without problems. Monk's flame mace. And oh, nice. Flickering flames. You can draw up in a fire monk from the mountaintops of the giants. Strong attack rises fiery combat spirit. And that there's no fire damage on that base. Oh well. Hmm. So presumably, my best option for- oh, and what are they fighting? Is that a Landell soldier? Well, whatever, not really my problem. And this guy should drop- oh, hello! That's a- mmm. So, so nothing is left to chance. Let's take that. Oh, then- oh, I forgot you could light your head on fire. Nice. Thank you, fire prelate, and okay, done, and- Thanks, and okay. Back in and okay. Hmm, well, I. And you keep on spraying fire. Even during death. 
And this is the pre lights Inferno Crusier, Fire Armor Altered, Fire pre light Greaves. So I don't think that guy responds. Black Iron Greaves, Appearance of Flames, Attire of the pre lights Commanders of the Monks. Waiting Frame, symbolizes the onus of their grave vows, Gardens of the Flame, etch the sight upon thy breast of my thunderous gravity. It's basically the closest thing to Smo's armor. Colossal Hammer, Appearance of Rolling Flames, Weapon of the Prelates, half with our Guardianship, Unusually Substantial, Strong Attacks will fling foes into the air. Charge, Surge of Flames, Charge and Hold the Continue with a Charge. That weighs 11.5, and how much is this Colossal Weapon, and oh, that's Heavy Load. Interesting, I still Heavy Load. Okay, so Vanish Knight is lighter, that's good. And let's just test this out real quick. And... Hmm. Will they continue the charge? It doesn't deal any fire damage at base, except for... It didn't continue this as long as you have FP. Interesting. Hmm. And a fully charged heavy attack will launch enemies into the air. Hmm. But Lion's Claw on this would be very, very useful. Alright then, I, hmm, honestly, there's part of me that would prefer to see what Ash of War is best on this. I would say it's probably going to be Lion's Claw, but that's on that too. Put that in. Okay, it's on there, and what affinity? It's got... Oh, it's still got Prelate's Charge. The big thing is to compare ARs and see what's best. I presume at this point it would be quality pretty unambiguously, because we've started getting close to the soft caps. So that's... Hmm. That is worse than standard. 56, 182. So that's 280... 238. It's worse in all ways. 238 versus 225. So standard is actually the best option right now. That is interesting. Huh. But this thing is going to be a pretty nice option for breaking stance, but hmm, I could try just farming a few smithing stones from those fire chariots, and then I would be able to take the thing straight to plus 23. Actually, no, I would need... I'd be able to take it straight to plus 14, which is already better than... I would presume it would make it to a degree better than this. Just because of the sheer strength. It's an idea. Oh, but no, it would be... Plus, I would get two more of those, and I could go to the sealed tunnel. So I'd need to go to the sealed tunnel either way, I think... In the interest of continuing my funny, funny steamrolling, we'll do that. But in that case, we should put on Merica, just for the sake of additional item drop chance, and then we'll kill Spire Chariot. Thank you. One, two, easy enough, and oh, interesting. Thank you, give me just a smoldering butterfly and no item drop. There is a small chance that that might have been a one-time drop that is not going to repeat itself. I could see that, but I've also got a lot of... Yeah, a lot of somber stones I could take. Could take the... Bloody Helix to plus nine, which would be nice. What would be sass? Sad? Well, it, it would make sense. You're not really supposed to be farming smithing stones, I would say. They have ways to get them for cheaper, just buying them. So presumably that's what you're supposed to do. Let's see what happens. I'll try this a couple more times. Come on, and... If they're not dropping anything, I... Oh no, we did. We did get a smithing stone. So I suppose it would be this, and then just sealed tunnel. It would make sense. You get one more of those. Hello again, how are you? Oh, but since we didn't go back there, we... Hmm. I... Hmm. I think we can just try that again, and hopefully we should still get one. But I forgot that teleporting gets rid of the rune acquisition effect. I have, yeah. I went all the way through Dragon Barrel. 
Which is why I was able to... Why I went and took down Moog afterwards. It was interesting. I've been using Radon's rain to kill dragons, and it is actually kind of sad. Oh, the rune bear in the rune bear in the cave. It was just Golden Vow, Flame Grant Me Strength. I believe I used Opaline Hard Tier and Stone Barb Crack Tier for easier stance breaks and less damage taken with Dragon Crest Shield Talisman and just Bloodhound Fang, Bloodhound Blade. It's yeah, yeah. He was really, really annoying. I had to run away a couple times to heal. It is interesting that it's very obvious that you're not supposed to kill it. I like that. Oh, and actually that... Oh, I could get the Godfrey icon from there. That's an interesting idea. Hmm, we could go kill Godafro, but... I honestly just want to go to Seal Tunnel before anything else, but... Now that we're on here, I think Corin might be nearby. Big thing with brother Corin is he's going to sell Discus of a Light now, which should be an actually usable holy spell. Because I've gone through about half the game at this point without any kind of even remotely usable holy incantation. I've already done Dactus. This plays a cutscene every time. The only holy incantation I had was Whitney of Proper Death, which is not supposed to be all that. You know, it's not general use. You're supposed to use it on undead and nothing else. Oh, right, and here's Raya. I forgot about that. Hello, Raya. I've been waiting for you. Hello. I knew you had the stuff of champions. And what do you mean by that? Volcano Manor. Oh, all right. Oh, right, and we can teleport right there. Okay, before that, I think it would be good to activate this race. Yeah, because what I'd actually want to do, just for the sake of funny, is work my way down Mount Gelmir backwards. And that would be the most amusing way to do things. Got a lost race over there, and... Hello. Hello. This is... Altus. Oh, it... It's just Altus. Okay. So then... I wonder if... We did go up the lift, so okay. The golem is not gonna attack us. If you go up the lift, it de the golems, I suppose, permanently. Waiting. Invite you. Oh, you can... They can be farmed, too. Okay. Path is Lady Teneth. What is interesting is that the Tanit tribe in that one desert area in Ganshin, they have, they have the same namesake. They're both named after a Middle Eastern goddess that I believe was mentioned in some parts of the Old Testament as one of the various pagan gods that the Israelites would occasionally slip into following. All right, well, join the Volcano Manor in a bit, but before that, I will not do that. We are the Volcano Manor. Right, right there. We also have... Go get that map eventually, but... Sealed Tunnel is around this area, if I recall correctly. And it would be... It's the source of one of those Smithing Stone Bell Bearings that I'd like to get. I could also just go and look for Writhe Blood Ruins around here. Which would give me the Bloody Helix, which I would probably gets a lot of benefit out of... I think it might be over here. Hmm. It's an interesting idea. So the Body Helix should be my best piercing damage option, period. It... With an even... With stats evenly, though to be fair, it can't be infused. It also has Bloodlust build up, which the Great Epic does not have, but I'm trying to figure out whether it would be better or worse than the Great Epic in all cases. Well, because the- oh, and we got Knight's Cavalry around here, that's right. Should mark that for later. But, Bloody Helix cannot be infused. The Godskin Stitch Stitcher, which I can get from the Godskin Noble in Mat Volcano Manor, is always better than the Great Epe, at least if you're well-known dexterity. The Great Epe is better on a pure 
strength build if I recall correctly, but that is very much not what I have, and it can also be infused, it's got more range, more damage. Body Helix can't be infused, but it does have just innate bleed and a bit more base damage. And also it's a lot easier to upgrade because it's somber stone instead of regular smithing stone, and when there's also going to be a double tree sentinel fight around here, but I'm not doing that at the moment. I guess the big question is, when I do take on Double Tree Sentinels, well, for one, I'd want to do it from behind the door, and two, what kind of lightning incantations would I be using? Because it is weakest to lightning, if I recall correctly, and... Oh, hello there, I... No, thank you. And... Past that, and then the Draconic Tree Sentinel over there, and then another one. Farm Zula at Gargoyle. Oh, yeah, it... It's so good. It's great. Coming over here, but let's make you just go away. Outer wall phantom tree. I'm just horsing around. Yeah, well. Rune bears are like the old one in Demon Souls. They were put on Earth to scourge the living and end their lives. So is this how I'm gonna get down to Sealed Tunnel? I I did go through Sealed Tunnel one time before, but I don't. Okay, it is. Don't entirely remember. I was, in fact. I make my mental illness other people's problem. Okay. So let's go over this way and... Hmm. How do I... Hey, we got land squirts, but... Then go right now, go in here, take down the onyx lord in the end. And a blood rose... I just remember, my sister did a, in a debate competition, she went up against a team from, I think it was the Taiwan team, because somehow they had an international aspect, it was some larger competition, and there was some argument about nihilism, and the other team ended up having to speak in defense of nihilism, and their primary piece of evidence, I suppose, was Bojack Horseman, which was just an incredibly... It's an option, I suppose. It's a thing they could have done. I just remember her talking about that, and it was just sort of, huh, you know? Okay. Suit yourself. So, in that case... So, we're here in Sealed Tunnel, and this is exactly where I want to be, but... Is it a illusory wall yeah okay cool yep you gotta go through here yeah you know it i suppose so and yep they do resist slashing very very heavily so i suppose we'll be using this curve oh well that's right we should put lines claw back on it if i'm actually going to be using it for this and then permanently phasing it out in favor of Prelate's Inferno Crusier. Kind of sad. Kind of. And just like that, put on quality, and there we go. Cool. Hmm. Telling me there's a seal in this tunnel? The guy who made Kiss by, Kiss, Kiss by a Rose? Okay, and I know that there should be, if I recall correctly, an Abductor Virgin the bottom. Oh, this one? It's just a random drop from Big Albanorix to carry it. So I just got very, very lucky. But it's basically the only smithing... Wait, it's actually right there. Oh, okay. I, I don't need to beat this right now. Okay. <laughs> I guess I'm going back to the hole. But... It's a random drop, the normal curve club is a random drop from smaller second generation Albinorix, you know, the frog ones, but uh, this means we take Prelate's Inferno Gugir all the way to plus 23, and then it's my new strike damage weapon. How exciting. Come on, we will, oh, not like that. The main thing is that I can't actually two-hand this thing while I'm in here. Oh, but if I dropped it down to where Alberic was, I could do that, I think. Mine's Claw and standard on there. 
should be good. We can use this to make it no longer a combat disabled area. I did, yeah. War Dead Catacombs, that was a lot of fun. It took me longer than I might have expected, than I'd like to admit, to realize that the Red Main Knights and the Queen Rot Knights in the starting area respawn infinitely. So I tried to clear them out and it just did not happen. I was sort of, huh, why, is, why aren't they disappearing for good? And I realized, oh, they're respawning. Which, you know, that's life. Here we are. Oh, right, we gotta buy more basic smithing stones. Let's send that in. Three, four, explosive stone. It's interesting how sometimes they have duplicates of certain kinds of st certain items from these bell bearing. Chucky because it's constant battle and very, very difficult. Fair. And we can take this. And how many do we need? That and... Mm, interesting. Can get eight. And then two more. There we go. Cool. Go back over and level this thing up. And it is... I actually kind of like that I have a pretty ugly weapon. It, one of the few things I know from just the Elden Ring fan community before I actually played this game is that people despised how this weapon looked. That it was infamously hideous. And, yeah. Oh, but it makes us stop two-handing it when it upgrades, because presumably it's swapping the weapon out with a different one. Could also... Well... Question is, Bloody Helix or Golden Order Seal? I, hmm. Well, physical damage is almost always better. As much as it sucks to say. Come on, come on. We take this all the way up to 23. Oh, we need more runes. Well, because a lot of people like drip. And this weapon is decidedly anti drip. So a lot of runes are being spent to make this thing stronger, and it, it it's also interesting how cheap somber stone weapons are to upgrade to. Alright, and then we... Mm, come on. And it... It's costing a lot, but... The sheer damage output we're going to have should make it worth it. I would hope. Upon earning their honor simply died, and that... It's still funnier than it should be. We have your arms. Like that, and... Teen... Seven... Twenty-one... We need about... Presumably... Probably... Twelve thousand more. The amount I'm spending to make this stronger is kind of crazy. But you know, it... It's a good weapon. It's a decent weapon. Then we take that, and... Yep, okay. 23. Okay. And this is now going to be one of my best options, period. And I think, actually, I might just go to Ruins from Precipice now. It's an idea. Yeah, and just before, so I don't forget about it. And this is... That is 645 AR. All right. And that would deal 45 stance damage at base, which means with Stone Barbed Cracked here, it's dealing 58.5 stance damage, which is really, really nice. Also, there was a glitch, or it might not have been a glitch, that meant that that charged heavy attack, along with the charged heavy attack of Giant Crusher, dealt less stance damage than normal. Well, normal for a colossal weapon, hammer type. Which was honestly probably intentional, given that they also have special effects, as this one launches enemies in the air and the one on the... Oh, hello. On Giant Crusher pancakes enemies, but even still. And we got Vulgar Militia Man. Exciting. wonder if there are any more miners in here. Well, we can just crush you. Okay. Ouch. I... It'd be funny if that guy dropped something. Don't imagine I'll be able to tell. 
And you've hit the ground, and if you drop something, I cannot exactly see the particle effect. Probably for the better. So, and that over there, and a fully charge, and that doesn't even seem all that much slower. It is a little slower. It's actually pretty fast compared to ooh, the normal, compared to the charge times that a lot of others have. So I, we don't really have any darkness yet, but even still, we should get some starlight on here. So the question is, well, hello, and just can I, mm, and just go ahead and bash, and I, you know, it, it's actually pretty good at fighting aerial enemies, because its reach is just that good. I, it's not a pretty weapon, but it's not supposed to be, and it doesn't have to be. I, I could honestly say, this weapon being hideous adds insult to injury for my enemies in a way I do not entirely dislike. Yeah. You didn't just die, you died to an ugly hammer. Thank you. Cracked crystal. No item ahead. Oh, so this was just a way to get around this part, but... Big thing is, I need to remember to summon Great Horned Tregoth at the end of the area. Exactly. I, I know you would understand. You would understand. So we get up, jump over here. Is there going to be any item? Or just a vantage point that would in theory allow you to? No necessary item ahead. Kill that bat. Oh, well actually, hello. Oh, a somber stone three. Well, it, not that I really needed it. Oh, well. Well, just because you like it doesn't mean it's not ugly. Maybe it's it's kind of maybe it's kind of ugly cute, you know, so ugly that it's cute in a pitiful way. We got another smithing stone over here. That's smithing stone four. Well, it we can just buy those now. It was really nice that that smithing stone bell bearing was just right inside. So then. Hello, hello. Liar ahead. Oh, so this dungeon is... Yeah, it's working its way up its side rather than... Interesting. Not really a cave. It's... It's a dungeon. But it's more of a tower than anything else. Chanting Winged Dame somewhere. And is that her? I think it is. And she is actually actually singing in Latin. <laughs> As opposed to... A lot of the actual... Most of the boss themes with chanting, it's not actual Latin, it's... Nonsense language in Bloodborne, it was... Latin, but it was very badly conjugated Latin. The grammar was terrible. There are some people who do breakdowns of the lyrics of Bloodborne songs, and they always have to know that for the sake of artistic license, or just the fact that they didn't really know Latin all that well. The Latin in Bloodborne boss lyrics is really, really bad. But, it is cool how, it, how even in spite of that, the boss themes do have actual meanings that you can discern. Because it is in Latin, even if it is very grammatically flawed. I... maybe I should take... More crimson tears instead of, I mean, cerulean instead of crimson. And in the end, the only thing I'm actually... Well, to be fair, I've also got... Yelmir Bloodstone Staff, hopefully soon, and then maybe... Maybe Prince of Death Staff, but that would be... Prince of Death Staff would not be useful for me until DLC, honestly. Because Prince of Death Staff only gets better than Yelmir Bloodstone Staff in terms of staves that scale off of faith and intelligence both. Once your fa your intelligence and faith are both at 60, at which point, if you keep scaling that in that way, it's better than any other staff in the game, in terms of just pure raw base damage multiplier. But before that, it would be Galmir in terms of multi-scaling Quinstone staves. So, honestly... I doubt I would get to 60 in my stats by at any point, even with DLC. 
So I'm almost certainly better off just leveling Gelmir Glintstone Staff. But it'll be a while. I can farm for that thing once I get inside the Volcano Manor, but even then it... There are very, very few things where I actually feel any real need to use sorcery specifically. The big thing is that there aren't any staves I can really make use of that... Well, at least that didn't kill me. Go off Somberstones, because one of the reasons that Golden Order Seal is so good is that it's with Somberstones, which are so much easier to come by, especially before you get the Bell Bearings than other Bell Bearings. I mean, other s normal Smithing Stones. It's part of why Somberstone weapons, unique weapons, are so much better than other options in this game. Eh, no slash damage there, but we're still doing okay. I... Honestly, I don't think I'll find another miner, so I should probably switch back to Bloodhound Spank for now. Okay. Come on. Thank you. Do that, and... Octopus. Hmm. But basically, those Chanting Winged Danes, which is their official name, probably from a guidebook or something, at least on the wiki, Basically, they're singing a song of a lament. Yeah, Zhao. About how the grace of gold was stripped from them, and somehow they were also tarnished. Or at least they're singing the story of the tarnish. And specifically, they say that they were... And this is why I think it might be their perspective, is that they're all chanting winged dames. And the lyrics specifically talk about they were meant to become mothers, but instead became tarnished. Which, it's interesting, because the description of the turtleneck mentions that it was basically used as, frankly, an aphrodisiac, but now with the lands between being as they are, nobody has any interest in having kids. So it raises a question of whether... Uh, it was sort of an, sort of a sterility curse as part of the destruction of the Elden Ring and the stripping of grace. Or whether it was just sort of a personal choice thing. Oh, reading your mind about... Were you saying about that about the weapon? Sorry, I didn't see. Then, how many more enemies around here? I know there was another way around, so... Hmm. Is this going to lead up to... Oh, this might be... Seems like there's more over there, so presumably that might be the way to the Magma Worm. So the end of this area is Magma Worm Makar. Oh, okay, yeah. Lament! So we got a Rune Arc, which is nice. I use those things probably way too much. Lots of Ashes of War, or at the very least, I'm probably a bit too dependent on them. Honestly, one of the reasons this thing is so good for me is because it doesn't require... Well, the Meteorite Staff is because it cannot... It doesn't need upgrading, but it also can't be upgraded, which is kind of nice for me. It's the closest thing to a Somberstone weapon here, frankly. In terms of staves. So is this going to take me to the boss, or... I... Oh, interesting. Well done, wary of strong foe. And this is, I can see, gold around there. And, oh, interesting. It's from Precipice Overlook. So I guess there's a side of grace right outside the boss fog. For that, in that case, so this is going to be a side path. Let's go over and try to clear it out of things. I see an octopus. There go octobus. So, I think a bloodhound's... Stab. Actually, best thing would probably be a charge heavy to stun it, to stagger it for the sake of killing it with a critical. Probably. Oh, but okay, I can't even get up there, so that's just placeholder. And if I could use my horse, then I could probably get up there. I wonder what the item is going to be. Mm hmm. My big question is just what are all the places where Melina actually shows up in his dialogue? So I don't want to miss any of those. It's mostly churches, but it was also Altus. So 
rested on our first Altus side of grace. And I... Thank you. Just chop these off. Thank you. And can we... Charge. And this should kill. One. And... Enjoy death. Thank you. Stone three. Strip of white flesh. And... And Octopus Ovary, and that's... Oh, the Serpent God's Curved Sword. Curved Sword, Spinning Slash, and... Ancient Serpent Deity, Curved Sword, Tool of Forgotten Religion, Practice Mount Gelmir, Worship of the Serpent, who I believe may have been named Igle. When we use to offer up sacrifices, or restores HP upon slaying an enemy. Alright. Go inside here, and... Alright. Guarded by a silly little octopus. Can ignore those chanting winged dames. Anything else over here? Main thing is we need this, and we can stance rank with a relative impunity. Where the head don't have the right, don't have the right. Oh, probably joking about this being the alternate path. As opposed to Dactus, and we can see Frenzy Flame Village, kinda. We can see. Can't really see the church. It's interesting, it's mostly hidden. Okay. Huh. Well, I... Not like it matters all that much. I think that's the church over there, maybe? It's so far away. It's cool I can see it, and that's... Which Divine Tower is that? That is actually Divine Tower of Lyernia. Which we went to to get the curse mark. Can we summon Trigo for his... Lots of summons here. Summon Bogger. Get to out. Altus. Millicent. Oh, and I didn't even notice about Millicent's missing arm. She's got the Sham Shear. I think she could also use the Waterfelt Dance. At least she was able to as an invader, though we killed her before she was able to. Bogger. Fist on one hand, but if we summon Tregoth here, I'm not gonna actually ask for his help. We'll send him right back, but this will give us his gesture. And this was our only option now that we took down Radon, because he's also there, and casual greeting. So since he has a crossbow and a big heavy weapon, I would say he's probably... Bior the Twin Fangs from Demon Souls was the origin of sort of Siegmire of Katarina type characters. Which includes Sigurd in Dark Souls 3, as well as actually Alexander in... Elden Ring in in the code of Elden Ring Al Alexander the Warrior Jar is known as Potmire because he's just this game's equivalent of a Katarina Warrior which is very very cute and I guess we could put Blood Flame Blade on here if we care that much. So we actually put some fire on our funny little weapon. I... This should actually be fine. We can heal back up and... Oh, Magma Worm Makar is... Where are you? I... Uh, are you gonna drop down or... Oh, you were hiding behind that. That's fun. Okay, I... Oh, interesting. I... Oh, alright. Cool. I guess. And can I... Mmm, I... Oh my goodness, you're kidding. Come on, you. And... Can I... And... Slam, and... Can I... Again, and... Okay! What? Oh, alright. I... Interesting. Huh. Okay, so we need one more, and... There we go. Cool. Alright, and... We can... Go up for the stance break, and... Well... I... Could not actually hit you. The terrain got in my way. And... Okay. We did it. Magnum Scale Sword and a Dragon Heart. Easy enough. Cool. Dragon Heart, we have a couple more of those. <laughs> Magmorum, shape resembles a dragon's jaw covered in hard scales. Land Mountain Dragons, once human heroes, partook in Dragon Communion. And that's where it's revealed that these guys are once human. Grave Transgression, for which they were cursed to crawl on the earth upon their belly, shadows of their former selves. Hmm. And this actually, the weapon art is just the same as the Herald Curved Sword from Dark Souls 3, actually. So at least it's very similar. Skill Sword with both hands, Wormwood Hold in its mouth, we forward, smash it, ground trick, and blast of magma. Additional input to perform a chopping attack. Hmm. Let's equip that real quickly and just test it out, and it should have a 
bit of faith scaling. Yeah, it's fun. Let's try that skill. Oh, and right, we've got that slamming attack. And... Hmm. Let me just see. Check that out. Additional chopping attack. So it's the final leap of the Herald one, as opposed to the continual chopping, but it's an interesting option. Magma is interesting. It's not great, but it's not horrible. There's a talisman in the DLC that increases magma damage, but that'll be in the DLC so much, much later, and it it isn't amazing, amazing anyway. It's, it's additional damage, an additional damage option, but here's our other path to Altus. Alright, and I think... So around where Lansix shows up first. Wary of like a dream. And Magma Worm Makar. Uh, Magma Worm hardly know her. Maybe I should... That, that wasn't even really a joke. Okay. Let's go over this way and... Hmm... Anything down here? I can't really see inside. Well, I don't imagine. Should be able to find a side of grace outside and then go back to working our way down Mount Gelmir. From the Volcano Manor. Would imagine that would work decently. This elevator is taking longer than I would expect. Okay, now we have light. Now we have light. Oh, but if this is Ruins from Precipice... So we're in Altus again now. I imagine if you went around the other way, you would see the fog wall from behind, kind of like how. If you try that with the Draconic Tree Sentinel, if you teleport in Landell early via or without defeating the Tree Sentinel by way of the Fia teleport, it just blocks you off the fog wall that you cannot enter from behind. Be cool if you could. I think in Dark Souls 2, they do specifically note it if you're entering a fog wall from the other way, quote-unquote, but... And this is... is that a mad pumpkin head? What are those guys? Are those omens? I can't even tell. Hmm. This is... Abandoned Coffin. Interesting. Abandoned Coffin. Hmm. Keep looking and just see what those guys actually are. I... They seem like mad pumpkin heads without the pumpkin. Or are those... Yeah! Okay, and... Oh, okay, no, they're just omen. And it... That's such a ridiculous weapon. Lion's Claw on this is... Nothing stands a chance. This is actually ridiculous. I think Lancix should be around here, but we can absolutely ruin them. That, it's kind of vile. Okay. So, I think there might be a dragon encounter around here. Ruler's Mask and Ruler's Robe. Smaller nation, find Blue Mantle, serves to prove its wearer status. Wizen Stage, rest in a smaller nation, increases faith. Qualities of an ideal lord, wise, possessing a certain defanged geniality. Center of Sadi founds these qualities most expedient. Hmm. Lots of omen around here, which is interesting, and... Yep, there she is. Hello, Lancix. Dragon Lancix, which means we... Oh, well, we got a lightning storm on our hands. This means we just want to take this, buff up real quick. Thank you, and... Oh, right, you do have... Fire. Stay out of the way of that, and... Golden Vow. One grant me strength, and then we'll just use Radon's Rain to take you out. Thank you. Cool. And oh, goodness. Alright. Hmm. Got this in two hands. If we approach you, we can... Try this, and... Oh, well, oh, I... I'll ride up. Dodge! Okay, thanks. After a certain HP point, you'll fly away, and... Can I... 
Well, that was simple. Cool, well. It's one heck of a way to get introduced to Altus. But she'll go over around here, I believe, now. For the actual fight. And what's interesting is that if you beat her here, or at her second location, which might not be actually around there, but if you beat her at her second location, she just won't show up again at the original one. So the initial encounter is entirely optional. It's actually a bit like the initial Margit encounters before the final fight against him, and this is still... It's not even that good of a bow. It... In terms of just shooting things, the Golden Great Bow is much, much better. Significantly better. But this Ash of War is pretty ridiculous against any kind of horn bow, serpent bow, against any kind of larger enemy that's actually going to take every single arrow hit from above. Eventually, I'll be able to get the standard gray bow, which hilariously enough is actually the best gray bow in terms of just pure base AR. And then if I put Reign of Arrows on that, it would presumably actually be the best way to slay dragons. But I'd also have to upgrade that thing, and it would be painful. Take a while, and it wouldn't even be all that much better. The risk, well not risk reward, but the cost compared to the payoff would not be incredible. I would not consider it to be worth it. I don't know. Chrono Crozier. And here we are. And oh right, we cannot actually fight anything right now, but in lieu of talking to Tanith, I will work my way out. We can explore the actual manor at a later date, but for now, we will leave. And, oh, we got a gigantic troll out there. And a marionette. Hello. Can I hit this from above? I do not imagine I can actually hit it up there. Which means my one option... Well, okay. Fine. Thank you, and... Is that a troll or... I imagine that's a troll, which means putting this back on is a good idea. Hello then, hi. Take you out and... Mm, I, oh, a frenzy troll! I didn't even know that was a thing that could exist. Oh, alright. Yeah, no weapon at all. Just frenzy. Okay, cool. And take you out and dodge. And nice, we can finish you off with a critical. Right through the hood. One. Two. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hmm. So if we work around here. Go over. Take advantage of the power of that jumping heavy. So this was the outside of the manor. I don't imagine that much else will really present itself. Inside the manor now. And oh, what is this? This new... Special message. Not this amount of fire, or do we feel a thing off to head further down? Oh, so Alexander... It was sort of a presumption that you would start at the manor and work your way down. It is cool how... You can work your way down the mountain or up the mountain, and the game accounts for other possibility. But we talked to Alexander there, that should be the last... In-world encounter before the encounter in this sort of final dungeon in our little duel against him, which will be nice for a number of reasons. And lots of sacramental buns, which, again, really nothing to it. Nothing from it. But anything where I could actually get good use out of that prelates Inferno Crozier is probably something I'd like to use it on. There's going to be a putrid avatar down over there by that burnt minor urgery. And my question is honestly just... How do I want to engage it? Because the most obvious way would be use something like Black Flame or Frenzied Burst to just kite it, given that I'm fighting it in-world with enough space to actually just run away. It's certainly going to be a lot easier than the one Grand Cloister no matter what, which is good. That one sucked. Okay, and... Would it be... Can I use Gravitas? Oh, but also... There is, that's where that fully grown fallen star beast is, and I'm wondering how I'll take it on. Because it's equally weak to magic, 
fire, lightning, and holy damage. So the best way might actually be Karian Slicer. Well, no, because the magic adjusted that is so much better. So the real question is... How could I stay away from it? In a way that would prevent it from just utterly rolling me. While also dealing adequate damage. Well, if I want to be really funny, I could try using Moonlight Greatsword, but... That actually might be a good option. Because I did get that already from Ronnie. And I need a way, a time to use it. If I don't use magic damage on Falling Star Beasts, I'm never really going to have a time to. There's never going to be a use case otherwise. Hmm. So something like... Buff up, put down Terra Magica, use... Moonlight Greatsword, charge heavies on it or something. I could see that. Hmm. But with that, I'd probably actually want Godfrey Icon. Right now, I... How much do I need for... I've got a crazy amount of... Oh, right, because actually... I still have that on. That was kind of stupid. How much do I need to use Moonlight Greatsword again? I need... Let's see. Greatsword takes 38, so... Intelligence here would do that more than capable enough. That's not in contention at all. So in that case, my one question is... How much could I upgrade it? I could easily get it to 7, but... Oh, I don't have... I don't have a lot of Somberstone 5s. So maybe if I found another, then I could use it as an opportunity to just... Show how the Moonlight Greatsword does. Because I do want to actually use it on something, and I think that's going to be the only thing I can use it on. Honestly... And to be fair, it would... And that could actually make magic good in general. I feel like Primeval Sorcery should also be extra effective on... Anything space-related that gravity magic and gra... Well, that gravity-related weapons do have special effects on. Because that would give... Well, to be fair, that would also kind of... Impede on the Star Surge Greatsword space and... Yeah, because I tried using Star Surge Greatswords on Astral Natural Born the Void... Because I wouldn't get another chance, really, and I'm going to make use of its bonus damage versus gravity-class enemies, and it just disappointed me. It was rather anticlimactic. Got another one of those in another part of Galmir. So after this, it's nine more Golden Seeds, period, and I've got all of Max Flask. It's actually kind of crazy to think. Keep working our way down Gelmir. The map is around here, which is good for me. And, oh, come on. Alright. This is a smoldering. Okay, well, I don't even make fire graces, so I mm, don't have a good AoE on right now, so let's wait until you come over. What or what Ash of War, or maybe I'm lucky and it's a somber stone. Specifically, a somber stone that I want and need. If I'm lucky. And you should cross over here, maybe? I... Where are you coming from? Come on, I... Where are you going? Where are you going? I... Could it be Whitney a proper death, or... How am I gonna work over and I... Oh, come on. I... Really? Really? Okay. I need Gravitas or something. Actually, the best way to do it would be... That's right. I have Flame of Frenzy on here specifically as a... AoE, in case I need AoE. So can I... Burn, burn it. Okay, can I... Oh, please, you're kidding. If I, really, if I really wanted to use Flame of Frenzy actually just on its merits, I would want something along the lines of... Can I... Oh, please, you... Okay. Come on. I am... This is humiliation. Complete and utter humiliation. Should work its way around here. I... I feel pathetic. I'm disappointing my family. And burn, and there we go, and this is, oh, it's through and through. It's a decent. Archery skill, great bow, oblique stance, ready great bow, mighty great arrow, penetrate through enemies, usable on great bows. That actually, I should probably keep Gravitas on the large club semi-permanently, just to have an AoE to take out invisible Ash of War scarabs and other scarabs. Yeah. 
I... I would be fine with taking Moonlight Greatsword. Plus seven, just to fight. Well, to be fair, I should probably get another Somber Five before I get... What a Helix, but even still, even still... It's hard to say, hard to discern. Best course of action here. Yep, we got the fire over here with another Magma Worm. And, oh, right, we got lots and lots of Finger Creepers. That's right. Hello, hello. If I'd hit you while you're still on the ground, it would have been easier, but... Not like we're in trouble. What is funny is that, of all things, the DLC actually gives more Finger... Finger Creeper War. Oh, we might actually get more from this. Interesting, okay. Yeah, if you drop another uh, Somberstone 5, and... So they only drop Somber 4, it seems. At least here. That's sad. Okay, cool. And we can just continue slashing. They're very weak to slashing. And it's... We're swimming in Somberstone 4s now. We need a 5, and I actually want to use... Moonlight, maybe. I'll, I'll probably just upgrade Moonlight anyway, and if it... There aren't gonna be all that many things that will be specifically weak to piercing that I care to actually run piercing against. I should be fine, really, no matter what happens, but even still, it, it's the principle of the thing. How are you stuck? Okay, whatever. If you drop something, would I be able to get it? Well, I can't exactly tell now, can I? Mm -mm. There are a lot of bosses on this mountain, though to be fair, this mountain is... A third of Altus, basically, along with normal Altus, quote-unquote, and the capital outskirts, but I... And the map should be over here. This is how we work our way down, because we can't just immediately go to the Falling Star Beast Nest, and... There was some fan comic I saw... Probably about a year ago at this point, if not more so, where... There's a Falling Star Beast outside of Dow. And a Falling Star Beast right outside the Volcano Manor. And Dragon Wound Grabeast of all things over here. Okay, well, it... I guess it would be useful in the Magma Worm nearby. But, essentially, it's joking about the reactions in that Morgoth, King of Landau, would be freaked out by it, whereas Rykard, Critter Rykard of Volcano Manor, is a sort of, oh, my wife Tanith, she'll love this thing, tell her all about it. Because he's freaky. He's freaky like that. They're freaky like that. To the point where she literally eats him after he dies. And we got Gelmir, and yep, you can see, it's another minor urge tree, but it's got a different graphic because it's burned. I like that. Shows consistency and commitment. But this over here is the nest of that Falling Star Beast, and we cannot quite get there at the moment, and that's a pretty big legacy dungeon. Gee, Altus Plateau, how come you get two legacy dungeons? No balance. Oh, Gelmir and Environs, Volcano Manor, its summit characterized by sheer cliffs on the skies. Qualities only became more pronounced after the shattering. And this was the site of, according to Mr. Gideon, the most atrocious battle of the Shadowing Lord Rykard. Putrid field of death is what your blasphemy would bring. Can no longer abide, and no one can. Right, because they went after him because he was... He fed himself to a god-devouring serpent in lieu of pursuing a normal demigod's fate. Which, you know, if it works for you, it works for you. Road of Iniquity. A sinful path. Monstrosity ahead, why is it always monstrosity? That would be that putrid avatar, which will give us a very, very nice crimson tear. I mean, very, very nice tear for our physic class, which I believe will be the cerulean hidden tear, which we can use for infinite mana for a short amount of time. But before that, I think... I will just see something real quick, and it's still... These are still going to be in pretty low quantity. Ancient Smithing Stone. It's interesting that... So this is the same, more or less the same appearance as the Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone. 
So, because there's no smithing stone 9, normal smithing stone 9. It's just 1 to 8 and then ancient for the final upgrade, but there's a 9 for somber. It's different. Go to our physic flask and put on flame shrouding and just going to use some spells to take down the putrid avatar over there. How nice. Do it like this. We got blessings boon. We got resistance increase. Take that guy out and we can explore the remaining area a bit more freely after that. Thank you. I mean, not putrid avatar, but putrid tree spirit. Golden Vow, Flame Grammy Strength, and there we are. Oh no, it's actually just a normal ulcerated tree spirit. I thought it would have been a future tree spirit, and oh my goodness, this is... Let's see how long it keeps on pursuing me, but this should be interesting. So we just barely whacked the range for that. Okay, well I don't imagine that I can actually... Hmm. Charge out of the way forever. I should probably put Flame Grant me back on here now. And is that... It's not enough. And, oh, there we go. Cool. Thanks, and can I... Oh, well, I... Interesting. I, come on. Can't believe that blocked me. Well, actually, I very much can. Okay, cool. And I... Oh, alright. Fun. But it... It's not doing that much damage to me, is the thing. It's the funniest part. I... Okay, cool. Then we... Okay, alright, then... Hmm... Cerulean... Thank you, but it's so much easier when you can actually just kite this thing. And you can see it was burning a little. And that makes you a sitting duck. Fun. And just keep shooting... On shooting, and... Another shot should do it. And there we go, cool. Take that foul foot. It... These things are vile. These things are absolutely vile. There is no shame in cheese. There is no shame in cheese. It's really hidden tier. Moments of FE consumption. Breathe will quickly expire. This one's poise. That, well, whatever. But. And we went far. Oh, wow. So I suppose we could actually just briefly check and see. Minor urge re and Okay, it's got the same icon. Even if it has a different graphic. It is interesting to me how every minor ur tree has both a marker on the map and an actual a graphical indication. And now we can see we've got how much more up here. Should more or less be the outline for Halo Tree, so I think it should go up a little higher. Not bubble tier, especially since I'm over leveled enough that damage actually Negating a single hit is not going to be that much. I use opaline hard tier and cr and stone barbed crack tier for s the stance damage is always good. Stance is one of the most overpowered mechanics in this game, but since bubble tier is only one hit, it you know I wear heavy armor, especially since my vigor is low. So I can actually take a decent number of hits throughout a fight without worrying too much. Which means that I would say that Hard Deer ends up having more utility for me. But it is... I've said it before, but equal stats is also just how I enjoy playing these kinds of games. Being a true jack of all trades and being able to switch out my battle strategy to something almost entirely different at a moment's notice is something I genuinely just really, really enjoy. It's the fact that I went from using a big heavy hammer to just, you know, this is something where I prefer to kite this thing and hit it with projectiles. It's nice. It, it gives me a feeling of utter freedom. Yeah, exactly. Which is why I've kind of felt a little silly about calling it a challenge for a while now, but even still. The one where it was probably most of an actual challenge, I would say, was Dark Souls 3. 
because luck there was a lot worse than arcane here. And I've actually made decent use of some arcane weapons. Near the start of the game, I made a lot of use of Reduvia. I haven't for a while, but back then it was really, really nice to have. But as I was saying... Oh, and oh, right, this is... Oh, Wormface. Oh, I forgot about that thing. Okay, cool. I... And epic death by moment, thanks. And oh, well, I... Okay, cool. Come on, you... All right, and... Oh, my goodness. I... What? What? Never mind, never mind. Yeah. Well, not every area. For better or worse. And I... Can I... Slash and... Okay, cool. And... This is probably gonna be... This is gonna be a mimic tier. I mean, a silver tier, right? I mean, larval tier. Yeah, larval tier. And I do like how... There is... You know, to an extent, a lore explanation for that. That the reason they drop a larval tier is because... Presumably they were using its power of mimicry to masquerade as another enemy. It... They, they put thought into it. I like that. But, for me, for me... The big question is whether I go through Volcano Manor at all today. And if I do, how much of it. But this is where... I just want to see where Mount Gilmere would end and Lando would begin. Because I think the easiest way to note, say, sort of my boundaries for today would be sort of this area, the bridge area, and then probably Sea of Water Village. But it doesn't have to be hard and fast. In the end, it's a matter of where I've gotten to when I get around my time target. But, as I was saying, what was I saying? Don't quite recall. I like this playstyle, I like my weaponry, I like... I like versatility, but it might have been something about those big enemies. Huh? About arcane, the one thing of arcane I'm going to use from now on is... It's not as if I'm using Dragon Communion Seal, and at this point, I've... At least, disregarding the DLC, probably, maybe... I've met the Arcane requirement already for any spell. So, the only thing it'd really be buffing in any meaningful sense would be Bloody Helix when I get it, level it, and start using it as my best piercing weapon. It... I do appreciate how strong... How strong... I can use that to get down there, so right way back if you go through Volcano Manor entrance. How strong they made new weapon types like heavy thrusting swords. In particular, I really just do enjoy using heavy thrusting swords. I Not as much as I used to right now, because Great Epe takes... I wasn't able to upgrade it as much as I was somber weapons, and I don't have. Not until I get... The body helix will I have a somber stone piercing weapon. Or at least a pure piercing weapon that I actually like to use. Carved arrows stand with the Urdry bow, deals only damage. Fact against those who will in death, able to prevent them rising again, but why would he use a bow against skeletons? Okay. But earlier in the game, and I was using it last time against the Knights Cavalrymen. Which was weak enough to piercing damage that I figured would be good to use good to use, though. To be fair, the horse is weak as a slashing, presumably, and that's the thing you really want to kill. So actually, maybe not, but... Can I... Slam down, thank you. Hmm. How am I going to... Strike the arrows, and the question is... Is this... I can definitely live this fall. I can definitely live this fall. Especially if... I use the horse to make sure I don't just fall off in the middle. Alright. This actually just leads to... Oh, okay, this leads around to the Corpse Sense Shack, where I got Golden Dawn before. So if you go straight to Volcano Manor, most of it is locked off, and the only way you can get to... Wait, how did I get to... Right, I got to see the water from the abducted versions from the subterranean Inquisition Chamber at Fort Wade, and then... Use that as a way to get up to the map, but if you go to Altus, right, you teleport, but... 
Oh, but now that I'm an Altius, presumably the Sorceress should also have something to say to me. And a Stone Sword Key, I can't imagine that would be incredibly important or useful, but... I, in that case, I think we can go back to Gatefront Ruins and talk to her real quickly. I mean, Waypoint, Waypoint Ruins. She should tell me to pick up Comet Azur from Mount Gelmir. I would think it. Oh, and also I can get my final memory stone. Wow. Hmm. Oh well. Oh, but. Right, she won't say anything yet. She'll only say things after we go find Comet Azur. And then she will point us to Lassat to go pick up Stores of Ruin, which I... It would be interesting to try using Comet Azur against an enemy. The only, the only enemy I can think about it being remotely usable is in a point when I'll be able to get the stats to use it through a combination of Flas and Talismans. And for it to actually be worth it would probably be... Fire Giant second phase, maybe. What does sadden me is that, and it's probably was partly for balance reasons, that the Sword of Night and Flame, its magic, the magic version of its skills, as opposed to the fire version, casts Comet Azure, but only for a short duration. So even with Cerulean Hidden Tier, you can't just hold it down and have it basically run a quasi-wizard build that way, which is sad. You have to keep on casting it, whereas if you run a wizard build with the big beam attack with Comet Azure, one of the big benefits is you can just have it keep going as long as you have FP to power it, which means in conjunction with Cerulean Hidden Tier, it lasts forever, or at least a very long time. And for an enemy that'll sit still, you can just... For an enemy that will sit there and take it, you can deal pretty ridiculous amounts of damage. But... It's not a one-size-fits-all solution. That said, it back when I did my mage build and managed to get to the ending, that was how I actually beat Fire Giant, who was an infamously hard enemy, but I'm actually already at higher level than I was when I beat that game with the mage build because I've had... I've had Golden Scarab on permanently from basically the start of the game. I went to Abandoned Cave and Kaelid pretty much as soon as I could to take down the Pair of Queen Rot Knights, which was absolute hell early on, but very much worth it. Because it meant just more levels. More levels. Which is always very, very nice. And I... I I'm basically at soft caps. It's crazy to think. Even if I had a quote-unquote normal build, my my damage would not be much better than what it is right now. The only thing that really causes me problems is having low vigor. And what that means is that even if I was trying to run a normal build, the only difference that would really be there would be having more vigor. And you can see a golem down there. I wonder if it actually wakes up or not. I use this to loop around, get back to see the water or so before, and there can be a lot of abductor virgins around here who can... Actually, since I don't think these ones will teleport you on death, the only one that teleports you on death is one in Lyrania, so I think these are just iron virgins, I think. Oh, come on. It's... The damage is good. Damage is best when you can open up, but I... Okay, cool. Thanks. And can I... When they're open, the damage is best, but it... Mm, come on, get... Oh, well, alright, thanks. Still, so, we'll take you down. Thank you very much. Cool. That was... I'm really not supposed to be fighting these things. Basically, we're supposed to force your way past it and content yourself with letting them fight various soldiers, but it... Eh, whatever. I can outrange this thing very, very capably. Mm -mm. I'm surprised that it didn't deal bonus damage from the stance break, it seems. It seems that it actually opened up their belly, basically. 
Which logically would mean bonus damage, but... It's when you hit them on when they have that red fog and the mechanical snakes so that would be fair. I'm not totally sure it's mechanical. I do like how they deal bonus damage on the backswing. It's cool. Go for a final hit with the charge, and then... There should be one more over there, and we can go through here pretty freely now. After that. It... It is interesting how there are actually very few enemies that are specifically weak to lightning. How almost anything is going to be... It's kind of crazy how good fire damage is in this game. It... I'm not complaining, so to speak, but... Especially since it is that way for many and many very thematic reasons. What... I've probably talked about this before, but I find it very interesting how, in a narrative sense... <sighs> fire damage occupies the same role that dark damage does in Souls games. In that... It is... Actively antithetical... To the divine power of the setting. Because it's what burns the Urdry. Or what can burn the Urdry. And in... Dark Souls, it was dark, or arguably a cult, at least in Dark Souls 1. And it is interesting how... Okay, Urdri Circo. Majestic likeness of the Urdri, sworn to defend Lane Delt Royal Capital. Golden backing honor bestowed on no other soldiers. And this is... Two Arterial Leaves. Okay, you gotta be kidding me. That shaded castle over there is going to progress. Millicent's questline and also get me a funny pokey sword that can inflict... Scarlet Rot, if I feel like that. More Sacramental Buds, and... Right, Fresh Blood, Sacramental Blood, and that would, of course, be... Mikkel related, which is why I use it for Bewitching Branches, but... What's interesting is that Dark Souls 1 has Dark Magic, well, Dark Sorceries, and one Dark Pyromancy. Without Dark being a damage type in and of itself. Oh, and wait, you can actually... You can climb up that. I was not aware of that. I went here on my previous playthrough and I never saw that. Interesting. Okay. Well, there should be a side of grace nearby too, so I should activate that before going through here. And... Did I get all of the dogs? I'm not quite sure, because there were some dogs in that area around the corpse that stack. But... In Dark Souls 1, there is the Occult Upgrade Path for Divine Weapons, which, it deals magic damage like Divine Weapons and like, well, magic weapons, but it also deals bonus damage to specific enemies associated with the gods, which, frankly, there aren't that many, so it's not that useful. And use it to take down the... mid-boss of the game. Ornstein and Smo. It's effective against them, I think. Or at least it's effective against Ornstein. It might not be effective against Smo. Don't quote me on that. But the big thing is... You can actually get it. Though to be fair, it's kind of annoying. Because you can get the Occult Ember you can use for, to actually activate the ability to do Occult Upgrades. If you go to... You get it from the Painted World. But then you have to go all the way back through Anor Londo, Through the start. Which, to be fair, isn't hard if it, all that bad if you unlock a shortcut, then you go back through Sens to get to Andre. It's not horrible, but you have to do a decent amount of backtracking before you gain access to teleportation. I do actually like, and people have said this, and it is legitimate, that Dark Souls 1 not having teleportation until the mid-game required, at least in the first half of the game, and it's part of why a lot of people do say, and I do agree, that the first half of the game is... A decent amount better than Bridge of Iniquity. Oh, like Road of Iniquity. Interesting. Quote unquote better than the second half. In addition to the fact that the second half was also bitterly unfinished because Bondi, because Bondi Namco rushed out the publication. Which was. Because it was published by Bomco, made by FromSoft. So there were conflicts of interest to an extent. But, ah, uh, we can go up here and see what there is this way. Kill those Iron Virgins so we can stay out of their way. It'd be funny if they shot an axe blade at me while I was climbing and knocked me off the ladder and killed me. Doesn't look like it's gonna happen, and that makes me happy, though. 
but that the world had to be more in connected, interconnected, account more for backtracking. In particular, in the Great Hollow, the big hollow tree you go down to get to Ash Lake, you can climb back up it. And I did it when I played through Dark Souls 1 on stream. And they have to let that happen, because they can't guarantee you having the ability to teleport when you're there. And it, in my opinion, makes the game a good deal more interesting than it would be otherwise. As opposed to just being able to say, you know what? We don't need to account for backtracking because they can just teleport back and we prefer they just teleport back. So over here, this is another way around. I actually didn't know you could access Gelmir through that bridge. I thought the only way was from Summon Water if you didn't get teleported there. It's interesting. So I... Hmm. This should be that village, so we can work our way back through there. I think I'll actually work my way up through here. And then there's Fort Laid, and then... Sort of gradually work our way back in installments, sort of. It's an idea. This is first Mount Gelmir campsite. Hmm. How many? Do I have enough for a level? I do not have enough for a level right now, and don't feel like burning some runes to get a level immediately. In that case, we get Golden Rune 3. Hmm. But more specifically, I would say that... So, in direct comparison to Dark Souls 3, you look at the elemental damage types of Elden Ring, and you would assume that Holy is sort of the equivalent of Dark. In a certain sense, it kind of is. Especially since you've got Black Blade and the Darkness Miracle, which doesn't deal damage, but is still a Two Fingers Miracle, which includes some association with Holiness, I would presume. This Black Blade is very, very scary looking, quote unquote. Literally black in the name, which was associated with dark damage in Souls games, but it deals holy damage. Somberstone 6, and that is that a. I think I needed 5. Okay, but I could. I think I still will upgrade Dark Moon Greatsword to plus 7. That I could use that, and it's down there, and I can't quite reach this from here. Oh, but that's just Road of Iniquity. I mean, Bridge of Iniquity anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay, but there is a catacomb, or a hero's grave around here, if I recall correctly. Is this... That's death. Okay. Yep, death ahead, and I've seen that before, but... So we'll go back to Hugh briefly, so I can use Moonlight Greatsword on the... Falling Star Beast. But actually, if I do that, I think I want to go kill Godfrey the Grafted to get Godfrey Icon. Because the beams only come out on a fully charged heavy, if I recall correctly. Let's go over melee armaments, and this may be another example of pure stupidity, but it would be fun. It's going to be fun. Darkman Greatsword, Darkman Greatsword, and it's so cheap to upgrade, these Somberstone weapons are... It's ridiculous. Thank you, thank you, and... There we go, this thing should be pretty capable. Maybe. Let's see what happens. Big thing is that it's probably gonna be my best source of magic damage. We gave that to her a long time ago, and we back, went back to chapel, but it won't be until after we kill Morgoth, I believe, that she'll actually be able to... Go and become Lord of Wingrave, so God of Roy should be over there. Golden Lineage Ever Jail, we'll just go over that way and take him out. Hmm. This should change out my Flask of Physic. And I think... Stone Barb. The Funny Hammer should be my best option. Just put that back on and get to crushing him. Pre-White's Inferno Krasir, no special infusion, plus 23. Alright. Golden Lineage Everjail, and my question is, is Raya still here? I wouldn't think so. Let's just check, and... Yep, she is gone, gone. I just want to see how well this will beat these golems, and... 
Nice. Fun. Just go and crush. And the other one is... Now you're shooting at me. Fun. Oh, oh, then, and dodge. Oh, well, that still hit me, but it's not as if the damage was anything to write home about. And, well, thank you, and charge that up, and knock you down. That seemed to do more damage than the initial big fling. I suppose if the initial big fling is balanced around its launch in multiple ways, including both stance damage and regular damage, it would make some sense. So we go in, we buff up, we kill Godefroy, who is really just Godric Redivivus, but how am I going to get down there, would it be? Oh, presumably I need to go down the slope and then go back through, that makes sense. Okay. But in terms of every area having a fake-out enemy... Wimgrave had the noble who turned into a rune bear. Lyrnia has the crayfish that turns into a grafted scion, but Kayla didn't have anything, if I recall correctly. Not to my memory. And well, we got vulgar militiamen. Not my problem. So do I need to use a key for this? I do need to use at least one. Might be two, and it... Yeah, it only takes one. All right, and how much? Lost with use, and we have 28, which is going to be more than enough for everything of you. Okay, cool. Chrome lineage, ever jail, and this guy should be no real trouble at all. Hopefully. We will probably need to make more of those. We'll see what happens. Let's take that, and... Probably should have used that before, alright. And take that just in case. There we go, and go to Freud, the grafted. Alright, and alright, we Oh wow, that was simple. One, two, and we can just do that another couple of times, and okay, cool, and slam, and it's that simple. Sorry! Sorry. And Wow, it... Weapon upgrade levels are just that important. And there's our Godfrey icon. Cool. That. Charge spells and skills. Sorcerers, incantations and skills. Oh, but... Let me see. I do have the Axe Talisman, though, and I'm not sure whether... First Warrior warrior vowed to become a lord. Took the Beast Regent Sarraj upon his back. Suppressed the ceaseless lustre battle that raged within... I want to see real quickly whether the Darkling Greatsword is affected by Godfrey Icon, or if it's... let me see. It is affected by Godfrey Icon, but it's not affected by Axe Talisman or Spiked Crack Tear. Buffed R2 Projectile is not a charge attack, it's actually a skill. Okay. So in that case, we can go back to first Mount Gelmir campsite. Keep working our way up, then probably go back to see the water. So we're basically working our way back by work by going back a bit and then going forward to where we reached before. It it's a dumb and gimmicky way to do things, and I'm doing it that way on purpose because it's dumb and gimmicky. It we only need. How many more? We need one more smithing stone. Eight. To get this thing to 24. Main thing is, giant crusher would be better, but I would need 40 strength to wield it. That would require a talisman, that would take up a talisman slot, and I'm not sure. I don't think I'd really want that. You know? Alright, and... We don't have body helix, so we'll just content ourselves with this big bonking hammer. And, well, I thought the AoE might be a bit better. It might be. That should have some AoE, I would presume. The big jumping R2, I would hope. Let's see how this does. And 
No! Interesting. Well, that swings decently. Elven Ward, first action I'll take. I would... Well, first I would... End the persecution of Omen, Misbegotten, and those who live in death. But then after that, I would... Officially declare that Saturdays are for the boys. Now, that would be my second action as Elven Ward, and it, to a certain extent, I would probably... I would say that might be more important. It... I do find it interesting how, even today, you have people arguing over the best Elden... the quote-unquote best Elden Ring ending. When the entire point, I would say, thank you, thank you, even more than in previous Souls games with Age of Fire versus Age of Dark. The entire point is that there are differing philosophies, and that it can't really be said that one is particularly better than the other. And can I... It's just so strong. It... Massive bonking hammer. And we can see a bit of Volcano Manor over here, and is this a summon sign, or... What? Is this more Alexander? Rainbow stones lead the way to riches. Oh, right, because this is where Patches is going to kick us off. Right, okay. That's right. Before that all... Hmm. Can I actually work my way back, or... My question is, could I even get to... Oh, Patches is right there. So they're throwing lightning. Interesting. So he would kick me off, and I think I could get some compensation if I go back and talk to him again after. It's really, really good. And the only thing arguably better would be the same thing with Giant's Claw, but higher strength requirements, more stat investment needed. But I... It... If Lion's Claw was not the literal Artorias flip, I would be actually... I would be a bit more mad about how overpowered the thing is. But it's literally the Artorias slip. If any Ash of War gets to be overpowered, it's that. But, as I was saying... Uh, pretty much everything except for Fl Frenzy Flame ending, and really even then, has a decently strong case of being quote-unquote the best ending, because it's just a difference of personal philosophy. You know, a lot of people are... It's sort of an argument of whether, okay, is Gold Mask ending the best, or is Ronnie out ending the best? And at that point, it's really just a personal question of, do you prefer order or chaos? Oh, oh. Let me see. The DLC might have changed some of that, but I know that there are other red main. DLC introduces quote-unquote red main skills, but that looks... That might look a bit different. I can't tell them that's a hat or an arm. F okay, Flame of the Red Mains also has a Red Main Knight on it. But mostly it's just this very cheeked up random person. So. Hmm. Let's get this. We can go up. Maybe find something more. Fire Arrow. Anything around this way? Or. No horse ahead. No enemy ahead either. But. Oh. Oh, we didn't even take damage. It... There was a Zoli video breaking down Elden Ring's damage calculation. And essentially... And it was kind of funny to me. The amount of dam full damage you can survive without dying is... The death threshold is the exact same as in previous Souls games. It's just... You start taking damage, as in any damage at all, much later. So, the distance between... A tiny amount of damage and just pure death is very small. Poison Springs, complex mechanism, advanced mathematical and mechanical understanding craft, be made by certain genies who are in Golden Order Fundamentals, and so probably Mikola. That's why I figure there might have been guns in the DLC. Precision while shooting to fly much further distances. Power of the shot, penetrating enemy guard. Interesting. Well, it... The only bows worth using are gray bows, frankly. As sorry as I am to say it. So, well, let's work our way back down. Patches is going to be over there. Going to try to take us out. And okay, that Falling Star Beast should be over there. And I think there's going to be a Sight of Grace as well that I can use to get there. 
But I do not want to proc those rainbow stones until... Let's just mark that with a marker so I remember to do it later. So he will apologize eventually. Hi, Patches. Good to see you again. Yeah, chance encounter. Speak for yourself. Something shimmering. Ah, no money off your trot, something shimmering. Okay, okay. Speak for yourself. But it's... The other one, not here, but... Is this where... Always betrayal. So that's where he would kick me down. Before I let that happen, let's check a few other things. Hmm. But... Lion's Claw is really, really good to work. In particular, Giant Crusher is really good in part because its charge, charge R2 is basically just its own version of Lion's Claw. But it... People have been doing one hit as in one shot showcases of various DLC bosses. And the universal constant is that they use the Giant Crusher. In conjunction with, I believe, Royal Knight's Resolve and... Oh, what was... Oh, we got wolves. Okay. Huh. We can just... Kill the wolves with axes, then. Then Beast Bones and... Okay, well... Not much damage. And how did that not hit? Okay. Mm hmm. Take the Crimson Tears. See where the other wolves are. Hello, hello, and... It's just... Even though... The damage type is not as precisely effective as Bloodhound's Fang would be with slashing. It's still really... The pure damage is enough to compensate. It... I can't claim to really be worried. Okay. But it's interesting how... Gelmir is largely sort of a spiraling trip up or down, but mostly up. But there are multiple other ways to sort of change the calculation. And we can miss. And we can just take you out that way. Oh, but right, yep. If you work your way backwards, eventually you'll get knocked off. You get blocked off sometimes. Because pre Primeval Sorcerer Azur is right on the other side, but I can't exactly get him right now. Because that big ramp that leads over to this side does not have an equivalent that lets me get over to the other side from here, I think. There might be... It's been some time since I was last on Gilmir during that mage build. Especially since getting Comet Azure there with that mage build was very, very good. Before any of that nonsense, I think... Yep, we can't get back over there. So we need to go through Sea of the Water to get there then. Morning and then Visions of Tarnished. What does that mean? Oh, maybe just seeing. Seeing the sun? No, probably not. So it would rise in the east unless... I haven't really checked to see which way it rises. That's right. So when it's raining now. So here we have another hero's grave, I believe. Let's put a bit of starlight back on. And I would think... Lion's Claw on this should be good here, I would say. Mm, in the end, presumably quality will be a better option than any other infusion. Because it gets good scaling on both once you take it up in quality, but this is the... Oh well. The Gelmir Hero's Grave. And I believe... Okay, so all the heroes' graves have chariots. Might be illusory walls in here, but I don't quite remember. Just check real quick. Nothing in Galmir. Okay. Giant conquering heroes' grave. Oh, I. All right. Ariza. I hardly know. It's another heroes' grave later. And liar ahead. Yeah, nothing. Cool. 
So my question is, when is quality going to get better? So go over here and... Well, to be fair, quality isn't that much worse. It... Quality is... Goes from... Loses 69, but gains 85. That is meaningfully better. Okay. I... Wait. Oh, because I was one-handing it, I think. Let's check. Yeah, so standard should be better, though to be fair, it's one-handed AR that gets used for... That gains was a lot. This, yeah, quality is still my best option, so the damage should get even better. I wonder why something might have been a bit off. I'm not quite sure. Well, whatever. I there's going to be a funny nothing through here. Funny chariot around here that I'll have to find a way to drop onto. There's a ledge that will allow me to ride the thing, and... Oh, well, alright. Fine. So in this case, I'd actually maybe be best off with Holy. Possibly. Okay, cool. Thank you. So if it takes them out, actually, I could probably wait for the chariot to get them, and... Oh, well, I... Alright, and... Can I... Dodge it! Oh, well, okay. Cool, and... Can I... Do oh, well! And that's the Runart gone. Sad. I probably could have crouched under that. Hmm. I... will probably wait to pop the rune arc again until... But, in that case, I'm gonna put a pulley infusion on this thing. Yeah. Well, actually... Mm, well, I'll be able to destroy it. All the ones that don't have... I... Hmm... Put a holy on the curved great club. That should be more than fine. Sacred blade, that's good. Then equip this until it's time to actually get to bonking. I have. You know, I'll use it anyway. I'll use it anyway. I have enough. Kinda. Oh, but that's right, I could have gotten a singular level, and I think I'll try. So what I invest that in? Put that in Vigor. Mind is okay. Maybe Endurance, just so I can maybe try wearing heavier armor right now. It's an idea. Urtree's favors. Means that I get a bit more load from that too, so... Alright, the question is when I'll get more Urtree's favor. And fire Prelate armor? Well, Fire Prelate armor is hideous. So that, it's not even all that much better. Okay, cool, back on Radon. Radon armor gang, I've become a Kevin. So we go through, we try to avoid that guy, and can I? Thank you, cool. Oh, but I do need Starlight, that's right. And can I? Thank you, and oh, well that wasn't actually a one hit. Surprising to me. Let's use our Starlight and a Scimitar. Did I have any of those already? I might have. Oh, I didn't. Sub scale, smaller than size, quick sharp cuts. Okay, so we have to wait until it's from the other side, and I. Somebody is shooting me, and. Whoa, whoa. Okay, interesting. Main thing is, I can live one hit. So. Come on, come on. Get over there, and we will. Oh, well, never mind. Okay. Huh. Alright. I don't know how I'm going to do this, then. Okay, alright. And can I... Mm -hmm. This is some trouble. Okay, Violet. You expect Doug. Praise the betrayal. All the way over there. Mm -hmm. Wait for a point where we can... Go back around. So we're gonna go... All the way down over there, and we can use this to hide, and... Oh, well, alright. Missile, come on. Can I... There we are, good stuff. Hmm. 
Dark Lord. That's the question is, can I drop down any of those spots? Uh, down and then try horseback battle. So going down there would presumably be our method to actually kill the chariot. Presumably I, well... Okay. Hmm. That was bad. Okay. So let's not use another rune arc yet. I've got three left, and just letting any of them go to waste would probably be a bad idea. Main thing is, I gotta figure out how to blow up that chariot. Because it's going to be possible. This arises the one with Golden Epitaph, which is an interesting weapon. Not an amazing weapon, but an interesting weapon. Okay, cool. Go back down while it's turning around and take you out. Thank you. Cool. And wear that. And cool. Thank you. Get my stuff. Try to drop down again. And can I... Well, okay. Cool. Mm -mm. This... These chariots are pretty vile. <laughs> okay. Question is just how do I drop down and get on there? Well, for one, I should be using Starlight. So I can actually see down there. I'd have to use a torch. Okay, so we go down and probably just down here and will this Oh, we can use this whip to make that work and I would presume that that is... Oh, that's the one that you can actually ride. Okay, cool. Root resin. So it might not be possible to actually destroy any of these. It's... It is what it is. Hmm. Yeah, you jump up onto here. What's interesting is that... Can... It was, if I recall correctly, a trailer that showed that behavior that showed that possibility oh right there's a wester cemetery shade and should drop the mantis blade from there there we go and it's interesting grave world War seven wait at both ends built by the cemetery shades except rigging grave keepers then sharp strong attack which is a far-reaching slash and some people said that was basically the closest thing in this game to a trick weapon which is interesting, especially because it sucks. Hmm. Yeah, it sucks. It It is cool how it reaches far, but... It's also a bit slower than a curved sword. Or at the very least, it's a strong attack, which severely limits its utility. Hmm. My question is... What and where... Down here, I'd have to go through the fire now, wouldn't I? That, it's something. Am I gonna get back? This is Smoldering Butterfly, and... Oh, no, you can just reach through there. Okay, interesting. Mm -mm. How am I gonna... Oh, and what did I just find? Oh, and that goes back up, so we can try to make that jump again to ride it. This is a... What is that thing? Can't even tell. Snoog up on you and- oh, well, it's just- oh, a Bloodhound Knight! Okay, cool. Fun. I- alright, and- can I- hmm, okay. Interesting, and- hmm. Okay, and- dodge, uh, and- can I- thanks, so. oh, alright, and- oh, wow, okay. Fun. I should have seen that coming. At the very least, Lightning dispatches it quickly. But I am not- yeah. Once I get out of here, probably could have passed so I'll use a Lunark, but... What? What's the boss here? The boss is... Oh, a Red Wolf of the Champion. That... I hate that. Okay. I'll try to live. That means Bloodhound's Fang, and beyond that, hmm. Red Wolf of the Champion means Bloodhound's Fang, with Blood Flame Blade, presumably, as well as, well, other weapons. 
standard buffs, which again I can cast now because I've got 25 faith at base and don't have to worry about needing a rune to cast it, which is good. And, well, alright, thanks. Go ahead. I do kind of like, actually, that they limit your jump height when you're in lava. It makes sense, and it compensates for the fact that you're not nearly as limited in terms of movement. Well, in terms of damage. Limit your movement because your damage is significantly less limited. Go over here, and can we... Oh my goodness, that was strange. So now we work our way down, and we have to drop onto the chariot. Still no friend. Hello, then, and I... Mm. Question is how I manage that specifically. Mm -mm. This is probably going to be tough. I'm gonna drop down on top of the chariot. And then we. Mm -mm. Okay, like this. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Should lead me to some kind of weapon. Mm -mm. And then. So I suppose I'd have to find what it Oh, it's just... It rides over the lava, which would otherwise be pretty much certain death. So that's the deal with this. Okay. Hello, Kozu. Hajimemashitenshi. How are you doing? Having fun and I... Oh, well, I dodge up. Okay. That was dangerous. Okay. Okay. Did you manage to get good sleep at least last night? Okay, praise the bravery. And oh, this is no ever had the for time for boss. Is this? You open this and. Oh, oh, a fridge. I didn't know you were waiting for a fridge. Huh. Is this where? So this is just the way to the boss. Huh. I. Interesting. So you have to ride that to get to the boss then, or? Not quite sure. Oh, okay. Oh, that sucks. Oh, okay, I thought it might have been a personal fridge. It's back when I was in college, and I never bothered. I just didn't eat perishable food, or didn't keep perishable food in my room. But a lot of people would have little mini fridges that they would use to store things for later. Sometimes they take stuff back from the dining hall if they had containers for themselves. If I recall correctly, they had a plan you could use to sort of rent storage containers. This music is new. Hello there. Hi, and... Alright, thanks. Do oh, well, I... Okay, interesting. Can I... Dodge it. Okay, can I... Thank you, and... Oh, well, inter What? Okay. Alright. Oh, so if you actually fight pretty much identically... No, actual... Radagon... Radawol. Uh, okay, and... Can we... There we go, and... Dodge and kill. Thank you. Cool. Easy enough. It went down pretty quick. Bloodhound Night Flow, and what's at the end here? Bloodhound Night Flow, called the Rabid String, attack without pause immediately after being summoned. Vowed there was only one lord he would serve, a true king, and so the Rabid String never found a master. Huh. This is... Oh, we got... Oh, Deathroot is here. I... The beast eye wasn't even quivering. Well, whatever. Maybe these are just harder to find. It would make sense. So, in that case... Yeah. His freshman year was the only year in college where I actually had roommates. And my roommates, well, one of them had gotten a mini-fridge. Let's give this to Garonk, actually. It's right now before I forget. And there was a Starbucks on campus. And I'd buy these little... Little charcuterie... Things... With prosciutto or good salami and just store them in that fridge. And I would actually let them, sometimes I'd leave them, I'd open them a little so air would get in and they would kind of dry out a little because I liked how, what it did to their flavor. Demigod, just putting the form of Death Root. Rune of Death, let's give him Death Root and. Hongi. Just Hongi. Forget again. Appetite might sin. Just consume more. And oh, we got Beast Claw. That's fun. Tear through the land and not much of a faith rack. And his potency, fear of Garog, bestial nature returned as much as it does as restless agitation. What is interesting, and what I do like, is that oftentimes there will be spells that are 
a little bit stronger than their faith requirement would suggest. Especially stuff like pest threads. And I'd say the beast, the bestial incantations would count there. And it's compensated by them requiring something such as a boss remembrance or just a lot of poking around in order to actually obtain. And that's the balancing mechanism there. I like when they do that. It it shows that they use all their all their tools for the sake of balance. It makes things more interesting. Thank you, and... Alright, stay out of the way. And yeah, we gotta take that out. Cool. Thank you, and yeah, right, we got bow guy there. So, let's run, and... Oh, right, you... Come on, thanks. Not really thanks. And... Be free to come back around, and... Dodge slam. Go back over, we got more... And we can just jump out of this place afterwards, and we slam it. Well, all right. Thanks. Come on. And now we roll, roll. Thank you. Cool. Let's go back. Let's see what else there's to see. And all right. So that you have to drop down. You have to drop down. Because otherwise, I wouldn't even be able to get there. Unless I wanted to be really funny with the lava, but even then, it definitely not. What is this? Just... Okay, a bit of glove warden. Oh, there was a pathway over here. Interesting. And that, then, drops down to something. Probably instant death. Oh, we got a lot more fun. Where you have left, and... Okay, and these are all just dudes. So take that, and... Oh, but we can't use that even with both hands, because right, no rune arc. So that is... Yeah, that's going to be interesting. Hmm. Luckily, we still can kill these pages without much trouble, but even still. Fire ahead, so dropping down then, that's my question. What difference would the drop down make? Mm -mm. Come on, come on. Then we grave glove wart and Urba. Thank you. Urba, and can we. Thanks, slam, and finish with another quick slash. You are not much of a problem. Who else in here? Any skeletons? Very of Gastard. Oh, there you are, Mr. Mr. Commoner. And Aristocrat Hat, which is... I think that's new to me. Let me see. And that... Yep, it is. Withered Feather, Weather Hat, Capital. What is the Night as an Ancestor? Painful product of unending life. Okay, well, it's... I don't really use or upgrade spirit ashes, so... Oh, hello there, and can I slam, kill, and then another, thank you. Hmm. Big thing is, I'm going to want to briefly use a bow to shoot that out. Short bow should be fine, we will shoot that, and can I... Cool. Oh, wait, what? How did I... Huh? Oh, right, because I put... Right, they're arrows. They're all arrows there. No. Okay, cool. Shoot that. Take that down. Thank you. Then we'll put the bone great arrows back on, because I'm not going to need this for anything else. Okay. Get that out. Go school of war. Bella. And then if we... Can we use this as an elevator up to anything? I don't think so. Oh, but that actually... Even a roll will do it. Interesting. Even a nudge from a jump will do it. Okay. That'll send that back down, and this is... Enemy ahead. And oh, well, oh, alright. Fun. Interesting. Is that the one with... Is not... That is the headless one. Okay. So, continue working our way around and get back to that Bloodhound Knight. We've found everything. Can't just teleport our way out of here, which is good. Enemy and group. Throw a fruit in an Urba and... Your left, you worry of right. Worry of ambush and... Oh, we got multiple of these pages here. Okay, and... All right, and... Jump back in real quick. And you got these bolts. Thanks. And we had enough poise to survive that. And, okay, all right. Thank you. Die. And what is this? This is... Golden Rune 6. Well, whatever. 
But Volcano Manor will eventually... I'll be able to get a lot of rune arcs from doing Volcano Manor's quests. At least a pretty appreciable amount. So I'm not too worried, but still. So what is up here, if anything? Somehow I get the sense that I might have made a mistake. Well, Stone Sword Key and... Comfort. Okay. Cool. Oh, okay. So it doesn't go all the way. So it's not a matter of, oh, well, good luck, you're dead. It's just, you have to... Oh, but we have to pursue and... Oh, come on, you... Thanks, I... Alright, well, I can use this too. But it's hard to avoid taking that damage. Okay, interesting. Thank you, and can we find a... An alcove, we can find... And definitely find an alcove, nice. Well, hmm. this is... Unpleasant. Okay, cool. And do okay, well, all right. Could hit again. And okay, dodge. If that skeleton had killed me, I would, I would have run by it. I would have cannibalized the families of from soft employees. Okay. That down there should be where I need to go. Oh, we can drop down over here. That should be the way to. That Bloodhound Knight, and that should be everything here in the Hero's Grave. Yep, and that's right there, so we're chill. Gotta take this, a bit more damage. Oh, it ends. Oh, well, there, hello. Do that, and another fully charged spear, and there we go, dead. Very, very dead. Oh, and the Bloodhound Knight stat drops from that guy. Cool. This is, oh, and the Gelmir Knight. Gelmir Knight? Do they do the do those even exist? It might just be a historical thing, because I think they probably all die in the shattering. When it be worn by the Bloodhound Knights, which is hunters known to be unshakable trackers without the use of a language. Each knight chooses his own master, decisions is made, knights is loyal for life, but Flo mentions not wanting to serve anyone but a true king. So are they unable to speak, or do they simply choose not to? What is interesting is that we, there's no modeled head or face, and we never see one. So it's very possible that the knights actually might be animals might be humanoid dogs, because, you know, Bloodhound, kind of like Bly the Half-Wolf. So they are a bit similar to Imperians, once followed a parade of Rygard, Red Feather symbolizes Rygard's pedigree as Lord Radagon's son. Emblem that none were any longer, stands to get dust for a that fell from lofty ambition into gluttonous depravity. Lord lost his dignity, so do two day these knights will lose their master. Time is set to duel their luster, and that's similar to the description of the... Other Gelmir. I mean, the other Night Greaves like Rail Caria, and I believe the Godric Night Greaves. So, this is. We could ride that over. Well, no, we. I don't mind. I don't really mind there. So, one, two, three. I've been killed at Cemetery Shade for Posterity, and I think there might be a chance of it dropping its stuff again. I'm not quite sure. Go back to the hero's grave. Probably let Patches kick us down now since we did already reset the area anyway. Not much to lose. Go back up and yeah. So is this right? We do have that. Escape this spot. And I don't think I could even fall down there if I wanted to. Patches kick us down. Go back for a... Interesting that it slightly rotates it seems as it goes up. Reminds me a little of... Well, the inner Wando elevators don't actually spin, but... I have a sort of corkscrew mechanism. Kind of a worm gear. Well, we can just go past these wolves. They aren't exactly my problem right now. We could go through the campsite again, but that's just life. Should be. This should be a location of betrayal. Right over here, and oh, the stones are a different color. Hello. There we get our cutscene. Come on, kick us down. You know you want to. Oh, and there are items down there, so is that? Not really, no. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. 
the volcano manor. <laughs> Speak for yourself. I got there already. Bye now. It. Yeah. <clears throat> Patches is my role model. Oh, and right, Basilis. Puts us in a place of all the Basilis. That's right. But this is just. We've been here before. Glass shard and. Oh, those are the items in the pit. Okay. Oh, rejuvenating bolluses. Fun. We could use this to get inside this cave, which I'm not sure whether they're catacombs or what, but still. And, well, all right, and you are more annoying than I might like. Mm -hmm. Tougher than I might like, and so a jump attack is a good way to take them down. It, jumping heavy is a guaranteed one tap. That's good. And I, slash, well, okay. Come on, okay. Range was giving a bit to be desired and let's stay out of the way of that. Order healing is not worth carrying even for stuff like this. And was that all of them? I hope. Oh, but I don't have any foul feet left. So that is a chance to get more. This is the time to get more. Isn't butterfly? Well, whatever. Some wonder if patches is over. In his previous location now, or if he's just moved to the manor. Either way, I think I'll open up that dungeon and go back to the campsite after doing a bit of Falfoot crafting. Given that okay, there was nothing in there. It is interesting that, and we've been here already because this was our way to Fort Laid. Got past these basilisks. This takes... This takes two. Wow. Okay. I sincerely wonder what could make this place worth two stone sword keys. And the only answer for me is probably going to be completion, so... Well, whatever. Mm -hmm. Look away through and see the water cave. Is there a cope water cave, too? Mm -hmm. See the water cave... Water cave. And then we. The boss is just a kindred of rot. That. <laughs> okay. That's hilarious. You know, maybe I will just do this cave now. I can't imagine that much would get in my way. Famous last words. Okay, so we'll. Hello then. Well, I, you know, you know, I'll, I, I don't have to deal with chariots. Let's pop this rune arc. Probably put, and we need that for the hammer. Shouldn't have said, well, it, well, we'll see. We'll see. You will be, you will be my witness. With Italian as my witness, I think that this boss, quote unquote, will be pretty easy. Probably not much of one. Crystal cave moss and... Question is, how big this place is going to be? Oh, there's poison. Amazing. Poison bloom. Let's just run through. Hopes of not actually getting poisons and... Mm. Oh, and well, all right. Mm. No? I'd say it's the opposite. Yeah, 81, 81. Right. So in that case, until I run into more knights, I think I'll put Fang back on. So what's back over that way? Big thing is, is that the build-up actually isn't... It's not building up all that fast. And is that... Mmm, a charge one would do it. That... Alright. If I really wanted to use Frenzied Burst, I'd take Lucidity so I could clear my own build-up. Main thing is, it's not doing damage to me. The swamp is doing damage. That'd be a bit different, but... It's... The worst poison swamp in the game is Lake of Rot. It's not even a poison swamp, it's a rot swamp. And I've been through it. It... Things literally cannot get worse. It... It is interesting to have gone through things in a... Relatively sequence-breaking order. It... 
it is pretty amusing for things to kind of be a bit of a stomp right now. Not that I dislike it. And can I... It, it's interesting because they make that the Servant of Rot Sigil. The Servant of Rot Sigil appears when they use that. But that weird physical damage poison projectile is not a spell that is ever actually available to the player. Which is fine because I don't imagine it would be all that useful or any good. But even still, even still, it... It's interesting how they have sigils in these game to in this game to indicate things, and sometimes it gets used as an indication for things I don't have access to. So this is not okay. Just rats, okay. Rats, rats. Where are the rats? And can I? Okay, all right. That could have been bad. It'd be funny if I died to a rat or lumps of flesh. So we're so we're just eating those raw meat from something. And then you would really be laughing. Then you would really be laughing. I bet you wish that happened, huh? I bet you wish I died in an embarrassing manner. Come on. Come on. With with fans like these, who needs antis? And, well, we got lots of you, but I... Okay, can I... Interesting. Poison, but also... Hmm, got a poison bloom. Well, because it actually doesn't always happen. Things have things have gotten better for me. It might it might happen eventually, but it's not the kind of thing you can force. It's not the kind of thing you can outright expect in the same kind of way. It's different. My situation has improved significantly. Neutralizing boluses and we mm, okay, come on, we go grab that just for fun, and we'll have to work our way back around to get up top there, presumably. So how am I going to... Hmm. Well, I've said it before and I'll say it again. If my performance is so much an object of ridicule, I'd like to see how well you do. Okay, take that and... Is there an illusory wall somewhere? How am I going to get inside that part? That's my question. Rat ahead. And then, hmm, it's not an illusory wall, though, presumably. Well, maybe, uh, there was one in Celia Hideaway. Let's check my illusory walls. Illusory wall, Elden Ring, and that would be, there's nothing in Sea of the Water Cave. Okay, interesting. So what you're saying is... Saying a goldfish is better is like saying that a monkey on a typewriter would be better. It's like the whole monkey with a typewriter writing Hamlet kind of thing. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? The idea that given infinite amounts of time, a bunch of monkeys with typewriters would eventually type out through just random chance all of Shakespeare's works as time goes to infinity. And I can't do item crafting right now. Hmm. So how am I going to loop back around there? Let's make a few more of these. Oh, I know. I know that people have done that. That people have had done setups to make a goldfish play Elden Ring. But I'm specifically talking about the thought experiment of monkeys typing out. And usually the example they give is Hamlet, specifically. Of monkeys typing out the works of Shakespeare. Which is a bit similar to, I believe it was, I don't think it was Borges, it was, I think it might have been Umberto Eco, who did the Library of Babel thought experiment, which was the same kind of thing, but it was just randomized books. This is Golden Rune. Thank you. Oh, come on. Where are you left it? Of course, of course we got more poison. The homing on that is actually really, really strong. Huh. Got more rot guys in there. Whatever. Come on, die. Thank you. That crystal cave moss. So what's in here? But there was a website whose entire idea was basically being an online version of that Library of Babel thought experiment. Where it had every, you know, every possible configuration of letters. So in theory you could find any possible book. 
with enough time. Oh, we got the entire mushroom set, but not the mushroom crown. Interesting. Let's just check what that says, and... Crafting is actually so convenient. Growing over the body, over and mushrooms colonize the head, enraptured by the scarlet rot, holy vestments that root one to the earth. Torso, arms, and legs. It... Clothes in the most technical sense possible. Immunizing cured meat and immunity. Poisons and scarlet rot. And I used that once in Abandoned Cave to try to get through, but in the end, it, status ailments are not that much of a worry for me. Especially since I can just cure them with boluses I craft. It's not too much trouble. Going back through it, the Sea of the Water Cave. Because after the Sea of the Water Cave, it would be Sea of the Water Village, and this is... I'm not even sure you can actually get down into that water without dying. Yeah, this might be a tunnel entrance, but... Sea of the Water Village is over here. There's a Tibia Mariner that actually summons the big giant skeleton that I saw in Mogwin Palace before, the Gasha Dokoro. That hole ahead. You might think. That does not look like anything. It's interesting how they have those cute flowers, but nothing really to do with them. Is this anything? This is nothing, so... I'll just get my buffs ready, buff up, and take on the Kindred of Rot. And that did not kill me. Interesting. And I- oh, well, there were a couple of rats. Okay, cool. Golden Rune, Poison Bone Dart. Okay. That was actually interestingly different. So let's put on Blessing's Boon, Golden Vow, Flynn grant me strength, and use Frenzy Burst after that. Cool. Probably take that just for additional defense, and can I? This should be fine, just gotta remember to use the right button, and did I actually item ahead? No, I went too far. Oh well, I mean... I thought it would drop us right into the boss fight like it does sometimes, but it does not appear like that was the case this time. Which means, in theory, we might have to... Well, it's right over there. Good enough. Let's do that, and... Should be decent. Let's see how much longer Golden Val lasts. Weak foe ahead. Okay, Kindred of Rot, and... I could also use the Krajir, but that's... Okay, come on, and die, die. Thanks, and, well, we could... Oh my goodness, I hate pest threads, pest threads is dodge, oh my goodness, you die. I dodge, 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 oh my goodness. That, okay, alright, thanks. I, okay. It's just, the time this takes to come out is a little annoying. Dodge, okay, thanks. And burn, burn it. Mm -hmm. Can I dodge, and another one, thank you, and cool, die. Okay. Oh, well, I forgot to make more... Golden Foul Feet, but that wasn't all that much. Don't feel as if I missed much, but Kindred Rot's Exaltation, Poison Air Rot, and Vicinity increases attack power. Exaltation of Pests, Rot for the Scarlet Goddess, or Scarlet Blossoms, Flourish in Distant Lands, and Return to Us of the Unwanted Children. Probably talking about. Oh, Millicent and the Scarlet Valkyries, her sisters. Interesting. Well, that's done, and that's actually a very, very good talisman. That just says he's up there, but... Mm -hmm. This is actually very, very close to where we came from, so there should be another side of grace, and then the ability to take on the Falling Star Beast, presumably. Before that, right, I'm gonna go back to Kaled and spend a couple of minutes by the Grey Bridge getting some more foul feet, so that I can continue to increase my rune acquisition. And I do have... If I had used that foul foot, I would have had another level, but oh well. Which means, is Gravitas on? Still have Gra I do still have Gravitas on there, which is good, because it's my best farming option. So let's put on Maricus Scar Seal for a little bit more arcane. Should be nice. And pop the Silver Foul Foot. Okay. After I craft a few more foul feet, I think I'll take a quick bathroom break, because it's been almost three hours, and I need to empty the tank.
And nothing that time. So once this effect ends, we will be in good position. Oh, but right, I wonder where. That's right, the one that raises arcane. This is arcane, cool. Yep, and raise that a little more, and then boost my item chance as far as it'll go, and they were just not giving it to me this time. This is sad. Okay. Should also probably craft silver ones, because I do have a good amount of silver fireflies from under the land. It's not something I have to worry about, so I'll probably craft one for the sake of future farming runs, because I do have one spare right now, but getting another would also be good. But, got good heavy armor. The only thing heavier would be bull goat, which is not, a, well, it's decent, but it's also incredibly heavy. Could also consider using, forgot where I got it, but I did get bull goat's talisman, and that boosts poise pretty well. But, these for the sake of rune acquisition. Those kindred are wrong. it... The big lesson is, and something I should have known beforehand, Frenzied Burst is not a, it's not a competent fire damage option for actual boss fights. At least ones where I'm in close quarters and can't just run away from things. Because the charge time is long enough that getting rolled, getting knocked out of the animation is more than possible. And it was only just two Kindred of Rot. But even still, I almost actually died because my spell was too slow. And it... It's not a... It's not a pleasant feeling. Not a pleasant feeling when that happens. Okay, so if we go back to Patches, you should say some things. After that, there's not that much left in Gelmir. In particular, I don't think there are any other smaller dungeons. There might be one by... There might be some catacombs by Sea of the Water Village, but other than that, it it's not all that much. The only thing other than that would be the manor itself, which I think I can work through a decent amount of. The main thing is, I'm not going to be fighting Rykard today. Because that would break the that would break the quest line. It would cause me some problems. But so if I kill Reinhardt, I can't complete the quest line, and the final assassination for the Volcano quest, Matter quest line is actually in Mountaintops of the Giants against Juno Hoslo, which, beyond just the fact that I don't want to break the Volcano Matter quest line and miss the end of it for no reason, it gives you his armor set, which is pretty nice. It's a very pretty armor set. Same one that Dios wears, because Dios is his brother. So how many we need... You have three more golden fireflies. Okay. Go over to Misswood and grab a few more, but first we'll take this off. Go over to or that is right, I can also wear Redon Gauntlets. Redauntlets. Go back to Misswood Outskirts. Grab a another little batch of fireflies and they are asleep right now, which should be good for me. Don't worry about it, don't worry about it. It. You do not need to apologize for having basic human biological needs. If you didn't have basic human biological needs, that would be a lot more worrisome, actually. It would raise a lot of weird and uncomfortable questions. So in that case, let's go back up to the campsite. Yeah, don't, don't die, please. It would kind of put a drag on drag on things. A little. At least. Then, let's take this. This in both hands, and that is heavy load. Okay. Hmm. I, it's probably the staff making the difference, honestly, but work our way over to that falling star beast. Other guys to take down, so. And, the lack of an AoE is kind of annoying. It is what it is. Should be able to get one more level before the fight over there, so... Can I... But... It was tiny. Well, knocking him off balance did boost our damage meaningfully, so... Big hammer. Then we... 
big hammer and uh, probably should have tried free aiming it to see if I could make the hitbox at both of them and well we hit two but not that guy okay how many more Wayndale soldiers and at least one more get them out of the way so nobody interferes when I'm trying to confront patches and then we have more guys what is this this is Wayndale soldier grieves and Rest one stand through unending conflict, and that's a similar description there. Hello, lightning pot. Slam, and we got how many more? Well, we got you. Hello, then we. All right, slam, and another hit, and it was that easy. Okay, well, actually, hmm. what? What do you? What? What do you mean by that? Did you just not eat food last year? That's worrisome. Okay, but patches. Should be over this way. At least he was over here last time, and he still is here, which means we can confront him about him literally trying to kick us off into a pit where Basilisk would put death blight upon us, and what are you going to do? Are you going to apologize to me? You'd better apologize you. Oh, wow. Were you attacked, or...? That sucks. There you went. That is not true. Best intentions. On proud. Oh, okay, well. Have you gotten better, or do you just skateboard less? About monsters down there, you imbecile. Oh, come on, you. Yeah, Patches is one of them. Okay, well, fair enough. Discussion to us like animals, so... We go there, we will have the chance to hunt people down ourselves. Which will give me more rune arcs, which is awesome. Let me think, let me think about this. How do I want to handle things? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna continue over this way, and I think my starlight is going to run out in a second, so. We cast it anyway, and that is right the bridge where we were, so that's. Yeah, Volcano Manor just over there. Fun. So this should be. Big question is, well, I could try hitting it with arrows, but the better way would be buff up. It's another grafted scion over there, another annoying thing, so let's buff up. Wait for it to come down. Okay, golden vow. One grant me, and cerulean. Oh, right, we need to actually craft these things. That's right. Thank you, cool. Then we go over and I'm gonna drop down and we can get started with our Oh well, alright, fun. Did not expect that, did not want that, and did not cool and what well, what? Huh? Oh come on. Stupid. I knew I should have used my physic flask. Whatever. What do you what do you mean allergic to what? What, what do you mean by that? The Wolverine and Deadpool ones? I, I have no thoughts about that. Oh. It. But. Fit. What do you mean by allergic to me? That's my question. Goodness. So you came down earlier. That okay? Dodge and connect. Out of the way and oh right, you're using golden temper now. So just one more and there we go. It. Come on. Okay. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Well, it. I'm starting to run out, but I should get a few more. Should get a few more. Soporific grease and. Dung ahead, see grass. Oh, scavenger's curved sword. And that blood loss buildup, not like shark's teeth. Corpse pillagers, prowl the sides of old battlefields, attack you with blood, and. Covered in hefty nicks. Totally uneven, life can be sinister indeed, and this thing is good. This thing is very, very good, but. The big thing is that. If you want to power stance it, you would need to go into New Game Plus to find another, is the thing. And for whatever reason, a random Mikkel is Lily. I guess they felt like it. This is going to be around where the... 
other Falling Star Beast is going to be, which means I should use. This is where Moonlight Greatsword is coming out, and probably the only place in time where it's coming out. That's life. Go over here, climb on up. Up this way, we should be able to work our way in without too much trouble, but we'll see. Hmm. There are also avian nets down here, is the question. Let's see what it's like. Hmm. By the way, I think that might be the last grafted scion in the entire game. It would make sense. I, whenever I fight anything of actual note, it's just, I save the flask too much. I don't need to save the flask. There's no reason to. It's, if I run into a field boss, there's going to be a grace nearby. It's going to be a planned encounter. It's not the kind of thing where I'm going to say, oh no, I wish I had my flask and I can't just run away. Oh no, I'm ruined. It. If I run into anything, anything that's actually even remotely intimidating, I should use my flask. I don't need to be sparing. F1 is making a Deadpool car. It... People... From what I've heard, people are just getting tired of Marvel. I watched... I watched the first Avengers and that was it. Wait, so... What's the difference between Alpine and F1 then? But, I watched the first Avengers with my cousin, and that was it. It's just, I never really felt pressed to go and watch more Marvel movies. Scuderia? It... That has something to do with shields, right? I might be wrong. It's just my... Attempted etymology. Who knows? Trans- Oh, it's stables. For horses. Well, it- The Ferrari stable. Better than Ferrari unstable. Okay. That more great arrows and another marionette. Why are there all the marionettes up here? My big question is- That's kind of a particle effect. McLaren Alpine- Oh, okay, so the brand Alpine- it's, I think in English we would just call them brands or companies more or less, but, okay, so the Falling Star Beast should be around here, I think. Well, it, calling it a stable, it's not like there are horses. Hello. Welcome, wandering in Borean, buy something, hungry so long. Unget. Volcano pod. Huh. And sword key, not that I really need them. Confessor. Confessors, outside the lands between dedicate and there's two fingers. Confessors have to follow the guidance of grey soul servants, hunt down and dispose of their enemies. Cues of lesser M's. Crime is a guilty hood color of sharpened branches. It We may as well buy these. There's no real reason not to. They are unique and normally I would get them from starting equipment. I'm a collector. I'm a collector. It's the only way to play these games. Okay. If if you don't have any interest in collecting stuff, there's no reason to be as thorough as I'm being. Do you want me to mute you? I'll mute you. Okay. Thank you. Let's keep on going and... Is there any other item over here? And something is getting it. Oh, it's a fight between marionettes and soldiers. So we should probably even the odds a bit. I'm not going to give you the satisfaction, then. You, you would feel like you'd won. You would come back and laugh and brag about, Oh, you had to mute me. You had to mute me because I was you were so weak. You couldn't stand me. You couldn't put up with it. You couldn't handle the heat, so get out of the kitchen. And then I would then I would nuke Italy. Then I would send an ICBM to Italy. And you and all your little friends would endure nuclear hellfire. Okay. Well, you know, fair enough. Let's keep on going, see what else there is, and 
get up here. Let's climb up. Need to find a Moonlight Greatsword. Well, not find the Moonlight Greatsword, find an opportunity to use the Moonlight Greatsword without feeling like I'm gimping myself. It'll be okay. What, what do you mean? What, what do you mean? What, what do you even mean in that context? It, if, if it's just another meaningless insult with no backing in reality and facts, you know, that, that's just normal at this point, but it, you would have to be referring to something in particular. Otherwise, you would just be lobbing insults for no reason whatsoever, which, to be fair, would be entirely in character. Okay. So where is... It's just the fact that they have a lot of sacramental buds. I have morals! I have standards. I would never actually nuke Italy. If I would nuke anybody or anything, I would only do it in Minecraft, especially because there are multiple mods for that. And I think there might be at least one in the mod pack that me and my boys are trying to put a server together for, or put a server together and are trying to troubleshoot. Yes! I do. They're, they're... I didn't burn him alive. I punched him to death. There wasn't fire aspect on any of my... Well, at the very least, to the extent that any fire damage was done, it was entirely incidental. The fire damage was very pointedly not what killed him. What killed him was just the ridiculous DPS I had. Now, he tried... He actually used, basically... Let me see. I think it was actually... The mod added, basically, this. Flame of the Fell God which was cast using its own sort of version of the giant seal as a weapon. What was an item you could use that dropped from the fire giant, which was a boss in the mod pack, which... Can I get up there from here, or... Probably. Basically, no, da no damage. What is? Oh, okay. Well... I... To be fair, I have heard it described as a very bad stream game. So I have my compunctions, and- Oh, you're frenzied? These guys are frenzied? Oh my goodness. So that's what was going on. Okay, cool. Come on. Thank you. Come on, come on. Interesting. Uh, slam and die. Die. Yeah, I- Yeah, because I know sometimes people talk about- good and bad games to play on stream. And usually they say that long JRPG games usually bore people to death. Well, I want to play Insurgents just for myself. So, there, there was a good chance of me doing it. Almost certainly. It... I do wish, though I understand why they didn't actually do it, I wish they had actually tried to make a Curum complete form in that mod pack. I do find it interesting that they're doing Legends ZA instead of a Legends Unova. Because I think they wanted to sidestep the, pot the potentiality of someone- Oh, and I have yellow here. Potentiality of someone wanting them to make a Curum form where people complaining about the lack of Curum complete. Salt on Volcano Manor, Squalid Sick Blasphemous, a wretched unending war with no glory. Hmm. All right. So then, work our way down here. Find you. I think I think they can do whatever they want, and that you would just have to deal with it. Just my personal perspective. Can I slam and take you down? Oh, okay. What do you mean, got a charger? Is it? Stuff is running out of power, and you had to grab a charger, or...? Okay. Oh, oh, ouch. I don't hate you. Maybe the Pokemon company hates you. But I think it's more likely that they're simply completely unaware of your existence. And can I... Oh, well, interesting. 
Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Come on. Yeah. I hope you can find a comfortable position to sit in and charge your phone in. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Well, if you have a if you have a comfortable position to charge your phone in, the question is, would you also have a comfortable position to eat hot chip and lie in? That's what I really want to know. Oh no, we got demi humans here. All right, fun. Come on, hammer. Come on, hammer. Well, it it's because unlike certain Italians, you're not as mean spirited. I don't have to actively defend myself or ward things off. I try to be nice. Well, I might have mentioned this before. Yes! What do you think? What do you think? And it looks like you're not just mean spirited, you're manipulative too. Come on, with friends like these. Okay, poison grease. And then. Speak for yourself. Speak for yourself. But as I was... Come on, get over here and... Oh, we got a big demi human. Come on, we... Slam this down, big hammer. Mm -hmm. There was... Oh, and, oh, there's actually a cave here. Well, soon cave ahead. Well, you know, someone's got to do it. It... It depends on... Different schools do it differently. That... Breaks, breaks are variable. Not everyone does it the same. Oh, okay. Well, you know. So you're just observing. Fair. So my question is, before I actually go into deep into this cave, I will... Oh, right, the little sister. But basically, there was... If you're familiar with the Prisoner's Dilemma, Volcano Cave, there's a simulation run years ago where they had basically rudimentary artificial intelligence do prisoners' dilemmas against each other, try to sort of get the most points in the end of repeated rounds and iterations. And the strategy that ended up getting the most points pretty reliably was what was called tit-for-tat, which was what you start off cooperating, and whatever your last opponent does, you do to the next one. So if your previous opponent betrayed you, you betray the next guy, and so on and so forth. Oh. Uh, well, that's actually not all that bad. That's later than I expected. Some public schools where I am start in July, which is pretty crazy. This is where... Oh, right. Snake because of a wooden bridge. Well, it... That is a good idea. Finish earlier, or start later. Back to in coronavirus, my college... We started fall semester early and basically went straight through because of well went through really really fast and ended in mid-november and came back at the end of january i think maybe actually the start of february but we had a really really long winter break just so people would not leave for fall break come back and get sick and get more people sick that is pretty late yeah it's just heat is one heck of a thing if if you have to sleep you can sleep i am not going to be the one to restrain you if you need to sleep, you can sleep. It's not the kind of thing you need to apologize for. Volcano cave. And it was nice. That winter was when I tried running my... Jimmy Human Queen. And that fire poison and... The weakest of fire. Huh. So in that case, actually... In lieu of frenzied burst, I should take some other fire spell, probably. Let's see. Memorize spell, frenzied burst, and... That one sucks. Most of these suck. I... Black Flame is... I am probably better off with Black Flame or Act... Well, that's good for AoE, but uh, I don't really need AoE. We'll take that. Victory over... What? What do you even mean by that? What do you actually... What do you mean by that? Go to Volcano Cave and... Come on. What What is interesting is, I forget... Kamala is... 
Kamala is weirdly broken in a weird kind of way. In it was banned from balanced hack mods, I believe. Because it could be used with sleep talk roar strategies because of comatose. It's a state of mind. Being a baby is a state of mind. Like I've said, getting older is mandatory, growing up is not. For better or worse. And kill oh, these things are a bit stronger than expected. Come on, come on, I it really is easy come, easy go with some of these rune arcs, I swear. Take that, and it should be a demi-human queen at the end who'll we'll use fire on. That'll be fine. So then this pack ahead, ambush ahead. Try not to die. We have surprise attack. And oh, okay, cool. But just the fact that flame grants me grant me strength also increases fire damage is kind of hilarious. It they really do go out of their way to make fire damage specifically good. Come on, come on! I okay, we got demi human chief and cannot rush back in. It did that not do anything? That did not do anything. That sucked. Okay, and go back and crush you. Cool. That was good. It's just having a oh my goodness, having a uh, plus ten. Oh please, blood Huntsman is so good for this. It. It's because of time spent, presumably, and maybe because of how much I talk. If I if I yap this much, I occupy more mind share. That's how it works. Let's work our way around and through and see. It. The alternative is boring people to death. Okay, and if you use the emoji, that emoji use frightens me a little. I will say. Here. D1? It's a competitive sport now. And then, golden rune, and that drops down to somewhere here. Drop on top and... Wait, wait. Speak? Speak for yourself. I try to be nice. Some people just make it difficult and sometimes impossible. You have to... You have to account for things like these. You have to cut me some slack here. Thank you, and... Not here. This is... Oh, down here. Wait, so... Wait. Huh? We got another guy. What are all these? Do you mean tennis, or...? Tennis? Are you talking about the... Three Stooges gag, where you grab two people's heads and smash them together. Coil shield. Sliver of meat, and... Coil shield. Gladiatorial combat rises above its peers as a particularly showy specimen. Well, what what serves as a racket, then? Scoopron snake is a poisonous breed, boosting resistance to poison. Viper bite, quick shape, brings it to life. Lash out and bite foes, which probably inflicts poison. Gladiatorial. Interesting in this. Arter Arterial leaf? Come on. Okay, well, I... I would prefer not to inflict blunt force trauma on other people. If I have the option of not doing that, it would go against most of my stated values. Well, because... And also, I would go to prison. And then I would have to miss the next Genshin patch, and the new Zelda game, and the new Mario and Luigi game, and lots of things. It wouldn't serve me all that well. And will this... Well, at least it didn't kill me. If that killed me, it would have been funny. Do what? Why? Because there's nothing inside? You don't have to worry about your brain slamming on the sides of your head if you don't have one? Fair enough. Oh, well, you know. Alright. Take that. Golden bow. Flame grant me. And we go for the... Black Flame, this should be good. This is... Demi-Human Queen Margo. Cool, alright, and we... Oh, that didn't hit. Alright, and well... Hmm. Oh, nice, that's good. Damage, can I... Thanks, and I... Oh, my... Alright. Hmm. I... Dodge, can I... Oh, and... No staff. 
The fact that she went feral is crazy. Okay, cool. And, cool. Yeah, that jar cannon, fun. Oh, and this is actually decent. Explosive fire great bolts, deals great damage, slow to reload, experimental firearm, brought via something, volcano matter. Discovered no one knew how to use it. Fun. Okay, so this will take me back out of here. Let's escape this place. Headbutted walls and... Oh. So in other words, you're saying that you were able to use headbutt as a field move. Did a berry fall out? Yeah, it... It's a little frightening. Let's actually put this into intelligence. We need intelligence or not. And then we need... Memorize spell, we'll put... Put Terra Magica in here, maybe, actually. That could be fine. Because Flame Grammy would still work on the physical portion. We need Terra Magica. Okay. Let's level up. Hold the wall. Well, you know, may maybe it just made you a little silly. Maybe it just made you a little bit silly. Take that, and cool. This should be... Right, we need intelligence not, so... Should basically be just enough. Wondrous Physic, and we'll take... Intelligence not... Oh, well, immune. I, I don't think you can really be immune to that kind of stuff. I'm just saying. I think... I I'm, I'm worried. I'm worried. That intelligence, but I... Oh, run it! I left this on. I'm, I'm stupid. I'm so stupid. Okay. Well, in that case, take this. Physic flask. We got a buff up. And take this. Maybe, hopefully, I. Again, I worry. Don't grant me strength. But actually, no, we, we can't use Godfrey Icon here. It's sad, but it's true. So we. Jump on up, we go up here, and can we fight this beast? Hello, Venton, hello. And, oh, well, you're instantly right, that's right, I hate you. Okay, cool, and can I, hmm, oh, wait, how did, okay, how did that happen? Whatever, I, okay, and can I do that, and dodge, uh, can I just take that, and we, hmm, interesting. Well, all right, okay, cool, I, it's an interesting idea, and oh, right, we can actually get a critical on you, nice. Stab, and try that again, let's put this back down, and like this, cool. Nice, and Bussy's Boot is a good option, so let's take that, and can we... Oh, well, I... Wait, what? Levitation? Oh, no. Well, the damage dealt was actually not all that high. Okay, cool. Heal, and... Oh, well, all right, cool, and heal, heal. Thanks, and dodge, well, all right, thanks, and can I... Dodge! Okay, well, heal, heal, heal. And we get... Come on, come on. All right, and dodge! Oh, well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe, maybe. I, maybe so. And, well, I... All right. Mm -hmm. Heal. And dodge, dodge. Uh, okay, cool. Take that. And, oh, well, I... Okay. I did not expect that. Either way, I... Moonlight Greatsword is a fun option, but it's clearly not the best one here. Sad, really. And, oh, well, okay, fine. Come on, come on. I, all right, and can I... I... Dodge, dodge, sweep that... Oh, my goodness, I... Okay, that gravity beam is ridiculous. Okay, come on, I... Like this, and can I... Like that, and can I... Oh, well, hmm. This is something for sure. I... Dodge, okay, well, all right. Hmm, I... Dodge, and... Hmm, can we... Think, and... Oh, come on, I... D dodge. Mm -hmm. Heal. You've got to be kidding me. And can I? Okay. Mm -hmm. And oh, all right. Please. I maybe I don't need to be using these. And can I dodge? Just keep on dodging. You've got to be kidding me. I should have just used some other, some other weapon or spell for this. I. And can I? Okay. I right, dodge. Thanks. And oh well I, okay. Come on you. Please. Okay, cool. And heal, heal, and 
Dodge, dodge, and heal, heal. Thanks. Uh, dodge, dodge. Can I, okay, thanks. Please. Uh, dodge. Oh, well, alright. Why is this so... Why is this the way it is? I... This, dodge, uh, okay, thanks. Heal and... Mm, oh, well, that did not quite work. I, oh, come on. Really? Really? You've got to be kidding me. Okay, I... It was, a, it was a fun idea. This is not gonna do it. This is not gonna do it. The old end. Can I... Thanks. Now we just... Quit and... Wow. Okay. That was an interesting idea, but I think the better option is just gonna be Black Flame. It's the same amount of weak to Black Flame as it is to magic damage. Well, to fire damage, to magic damage, so... We'll just do that because I don't need to stay inside Terra Magic to make that work. Alright. Here we are. Let's just go back here. Oh, but what's interesting is that it spawns in. Not aggroed with us behind it. Mm -hmm. Oh well. Mm -hmm. Memorize, and that was... You can actually put Black Flame there. Duplicator Incantation. Sort of put this in this specific slot. That's how I think we'll do things. Go to our Physic Flask and make this fire again. And it just saddens me, honestly. I thought it would be better than it was. A lot better than it was. We put our seal in here. We actually don't need Staff Equipped or anything right now so we can focus on defense. I should probably put some things away. Maybe. Maybe. Put on Redauntlets, and can I put on the... I can even put on the Helm. Alright, cool. And now, I, I've achieved my final form as a Kevin. Blessings Boon. Golden Vow. Flame Grammy Strength, and... Black Flame, and now we're chilling. This should be more than good enough. Thank you. Go down and... Oh, we could actually fight this thing on horseback, couldn't we? Well, it... Th that would not be a great idea. Oh, well, the fact that you managed to get me is insane. Didn't think you'd be able to grab me like that. Come on, come on, and... This is tough, but we can keep this going, and... Dodge. Cool, thanks. I need to put Flame Grammy back on now. And just dodge. Oh, well, all right. Thanks. I dodge... And, hmm, cool, take that out, and another, you can just throw these things up, let's just, out of the way, and, cool, fun, alright, cool, nothing then, but the range on that is leaving a bit to be desired, okay, and, just jump, and, oh, well, I thought I'd be able to jump that, maybe I'll have time to, oh, a little bit better, and, dodge, and, can we, Thanks, and dodge it. Oh, well, never mind. One more, and cannot. Mm. Dodge. Do oh, well, okay. Cool, cool. That was actually kind of vile. We need. Oh, well, we don't have enough for Golden Vow right now. Do that real quick. Flame grant me again, and cannot. Well, alright. Oh, well, interesting. Can I. Mm. Flame grant me, and cannot. Well, alright, and. Oh, well, fine. Now we need this, that, and, okay, cool. How did I move out of the way of that successfully? Okay. Charge that up, and... This guy is so optional, most people wouldn't even fight him. It's not really a great reason to, so... Okay, cool. Thank you. Set out of the way, and continue to burn you down, and there we go, cool. It only took that much. Can you give me some smithing stones or something, or... Fun! Somber Stone, Smithing Stone 6-5, and Falling Star Beast Jaw. That's an interesting weapon. It's a really good strength weapon, too. Hard and Shining Black, fashioned to a weapon with its sharp point. This colossal weapon can skewer foes. Skill Gravity Bolt, Falling Star Beast with Gravitational Lightning. Bolt crashing now a short distance away, fired in rapid succession. So weapon can skewer foes, and it really does seem as if Black Flame is going to be my best ranged option for 
damage, fire damage, which isn't unreasonable. It's was more or less what I expected. At least for boss killing. But that's all done, so we killed that, and thing left is going to be... Well, this is just where we dropped down. The manor's right over there. So we've looped around from around this area, then. First Mount Galmir campsite, and this is a village where we can get Sorcerer Lassat. Actually, going over to Sea of Water Terminus would be a good idea. Take down. I, almost without exception, wear khakis, either khaki pants or khaki shorts, and a button-down shirt. It keeps things easy for me and predictable for other people. I like that because it makes me kind of like a... It's like a JoJo character. All of my clothes are just palette-swapped versions of the same type of clothing item. That is unironically part of why I like it. So... Got that. Probably put on some starlight. So over there, there was a cave, and I think one more cave, probably, but... We didn't actually get everything over here, which means... We'll go back through... This funny Fort Laid area. A mushroom. See if there's anything over in the pre-lane. Oh, okay, fair. Well, if, if you need to carry things, cargos do make sense. They are preeminently utilitarian. Okay, so we can crush and, well, that it's about the same damage as Blood Flame. No, that's exactly it. And that's exactly how I like things. It... I would still claim, even if you think that's cringe, at least I don't have a bucket hat with a money print on it, or a shirt that says, or the literal, the literal anatomy of a gamer t-shirt, or a t-shirt set that says, exercise, I thought you said extra fries, all of which are clothes that Jack owns and has worn at some point in his life that I've seen him wear. And that, if you want to talk about it, the bucket hat isn't the problem. The problem is that it's a money bucket hat, which is silly. Only because I love them. Only because I love them. Only because I love them. It... You can bring this up, and they can insult me. Next time Jack is on, at the same time I am, you bring that up. The argument will start, and you can watch the firefly. Okay, let's go over here. These out and I see, okay, another. That's not a fire chair, that's a monk. We got a bunch of spirit jellyfish, but what besides? Okay, there's something here. That's an arterial leaf, I swear. Heads will roll. This is, oh, stone sword key, but it's just... Kindred of Rot's Exaltation is pretty decent. Frankly, frankly, personally, I, I never wear graphic tees. Except, I mean, I have a t-shirt that I wear for exercise, but that's about it, but I don't personally like graphic tees. I, anything I wear on the upper half of my body, for me, and I mean this, it's, I wouldn't even call it, it's kind of a sensory thing, but not entirely. It has to be thing, it has to be something that opens at the front, that is buttons or a zipper or something with that kind of closure. Because if I have to actively pull it off to take it off, it just, it does not work for me. That's a non-starter for me. And, because back at the very start of high school, I would sometimes wear hoodies. But that was very, very short-lived. Flame of Ruin, high in the mountaintop of the giant's flame motif. It depends on the tightness of the graphic team. And also, it there aren't a lot of graphics I like, frankly. That's part of it, too. I... My cousin... His parents tried to give me some of his hand-me-downs, and it just never, rarely ever worked. I briefly wore one of his jackets a few times, and I think maybe a couple of times his snow pants. But, for one... He was just a lot bigger than me from 
any age that mattered. And also, it's just... We wore different kinds of clothes. It was just different. The kinds of clothes we liked wearing. And... Oh, well, we actually didn't get the... Oh, come on. No backstab? Really? Really? And can we... There we go. There we go. We can arrest their movement. And hit with another... Big slam. Exciting stuff. And let's keep going. Oldest sibling, youngest cousin. Oh, interesting. Well, then you're not the youngest cousin. Because your sister is also cousins with them, presumably. And then she would be the youngest. It is nice. It's a fun one. Then, so, these thorn sorcerers will sometimes drop Staff of the Guilty, which is a Faith Scaling Staff, if I recall correctly. Sorceries are also Faith Scaling. So then, what else is around here? Got those chariots. There's a magma worm just the other way, and what's thought should be around here, too. The primeval sorcerer will give us Comet Azure, his signature sorcery. And okay, oh, alright, and interesting. I was not expecting that. It is interesting that these thorn sorcerers have weird fire attacks that we can never use for ourselves. Especially since actual thorn sorcerers exclusively deal physical damage. Old ones, I... It depends on how tight they are and what material they're made out of. It's not universal. Oh, oh, well. Presumably because it's more expensive to make them that way. That's what I'd guess. You know, that's the universal reason for just things getting worse. Cost. And let's crush you. And since the initial hit kill, we didn't get any more from that. Oh, well. And, oh, what do you drop this time? The, oh, Prior Armor Altered. Well, we already have one of those. Fair. Just, the idea of you wearing your father's dress pants, like someone else might wear a boyfriend shirt or something, is just hilarious to me. Walk over puddles. Oh, my. You have to, to hold up your hold up your skirt. My goodness. Oh, Giant's Flame Fire Pot, right? Because it's... Fire Monks. So what else is up here? Wretched Fools. Who is... Who is that? Slumbering Egg. Who's talking? They'll never find me. Item ahead. Not wearing your own clothes often. Well, I hope that means you wear other people's clothes instead of not wearing clothes at all. So where is this person? Golden Rune and... Oh, is this? Like a thief? Who is this? Can I... Let's just... Punch. Wait, what? Like a thief? So where is this thief? Socks was an emergency. I had to wear my grandma's socks a few times back in middle school. Never find me. I... Oh, the best way to use this would be Margaret's Shackle. Right. Duh, it would... No damage, but it would break his illusion. And... Wait, huh? So Fort Wade is... What? Huh? Wait. How am I gonna make this work, then? It should be... Not through there, but... Fort Wide, maybe down there? I don't quite know. Pump sword, you don't have the right. Never find me. What if I use this? Who even is this here? That's my real question. That, oh yeah, that. It, I mean, in the end, that's the one thing you can go without. Unless you just regularly crap yourself. It... It's not something you need. So where's this person? Where's this hidden person? Fort Lied. This hidden individual. Fire Scorpion, wooden platform, and... Stone Sword Key, and... 
the ghost. Oh, a wooden platform with a ghost. Okay, cool. So that's what's going on. So platform that I have to jump onto somewhere. Fools never find me. Oh, this should be should be the place. Oh, then hi. It's fire scorpion charm. Fire scorpion charm and start talking. Survive, I swear it. Back at the volcano manor. Hmm. Yes. If if it meant that much to him. If it was that embarrassing. I mean, even still, it's just... If it's that much of a problem for you, you can you can go without. You... And if... I mean, was he expecting somebody to pants him or something? It... I don't know. It's just... It just baffles me. Boggles the mind. Well, it's gonna be another Magmorum there who actually... Right, actually... It's a dragon, which means Radon's ring. Well, it... Okay. You know, whatever. It's not my place to wander. Oh, okay. We were not fast enough. That's his own personal business, I guess. I suppose. So one of these guys, I think, drops another thorn sorcery. I'm not sure. Ah, thanks. Dodge. Oh, well, all right. Timing on that was weird. Huh. Is it going to be you? Is it going to be you? I know we got and it's smoldering butterfly, but we got one of the sin sorceries from another location. Strike on scene, shut up exoskeleton, heart burns with fire, damage occasion. It based on what you've said about him, I'm not, I'm not sure it was just because of the emergency. As, as much as that pains me to say. So how many more guys around here? It's Landell soldiers, no Gelmir soldiers. And, okay. Well, you know, I'll take your word for it. So in that case, we have not a lot of Runarchs left. And the Magma Worm just comes out there immediately. Fun. So actually, my question is, how could I reach this guy? Big thing is, Blessing's Boon. Oh, but we don't have the physics class use right now. That's right. Okay, and, oh, well, okay, all right. Fun, and... Now, you're coming over here. You have a surprisingly high range. Okay, cool, and... Now we do it like that, and... Oh, I did not mean to do that. I take this, and can we... Thanks, and dodge... Hmm, interesting, and, alright, shoot down, and step away, and, oh, well, you, alright, interesting, I, oh, well, you, mmm, disappear, and, uh, what, I just, some people need to, okay, it just, you know, you, you gotta wonder with these kinds of things, and, cool, okay, come on, and, Shoot and dodge. Cool. And all right. Gotta shoot and. Ooh. Okay. Interesting. Now we. Oh. Now you're staying still. So, a couple more should do it. Come on and get up. Thanks. Uh, dodge. Cool. And there we go. Nice. Magma worm's death. Great enemy fell. Such a good dragon slaying weapon. Thank you, General Radon. Use Raconic power available at the Cathedral Dragon Communion. Which means... Oh, and also, also... I think Alexander is over here. That's right. Goes in and Torrent slowly takes damage. If you want me, I'll be over here in the corner taking lava damage. Hi! He just met at his cracks. He's tempering himself. Hi. Oh, but I have to... Right, right. Hi, hello. Ah. Business in such a place as this. You Temper yourself with flame, fleshly form of yours. Impeccable as ever. Thing for you on my journey here. Suit you to a T. A jar, more than lukewarm here. Never crack again. He had eastward, old saying. 
Do you want to speak to Asura or Flame of Ruin, whichever burning roars? Which means... We could summon him for Fire Giant, though I won't. Head eastward. And sing, ever burning roars. Well, alright, before I die, let's stay over there. And very look carefully. Edge, oh, edge. Hit. Mm hmm. Is this to keep Torrent alive? So the jar, queenly over the head when upturned, prod with Iron Fist Alexander, drawing gesture of friendship, boosts the power of throwing pot items. Nice. So what else I might be able to get around here? And the location of Comet Azur should be nearby. Wh what do you mean by that? What games are you talking about in particular? This is the, o the only game I've really heard people talk about, games I've heard people talk about as being overpriced, were Metroid Dread and 1-2 Switch. And for 1-2 Switch, that was legitimate, because it should have been a free pack-in like Wii Sports or Nintendo Land. But, actually, I don't even remember. Nintendo Land was a pack-in in some bundles for Wii U. Nintendo Land is, is and was peak. Asymmetrical multiplayer is a great idea. Nintendo Land did it better than Dead by Daylight. Because Dead by Daylight, well, any kind of... The big thing is, when you have asymmetric multiplayer, match time should not be long. It... I mean, that's that's the same price as other... other manufacturers. The only reason you would have to believe that it's overpriced is if you believe that Nintendo games are kiddie games that deserve to be on a budget, which... At that point, why are you playing them in the first place? You've got other options. But it... And there were people who were complaining about Metroid Dread being 60 bucks because they don't understand the appeal of Metroid. Or at least, the big thing is that some of them just thought that 2D games are inherently worse and should inherently cost less than 3D games, which, you know... The big thing about it is, maybe 3D games might cost more to produce, but that does not necessarily make them worth more, is the thing. And that's the paradox of game development, that you know, the, spending more time does not necessarily mean a better game, does not necessarily mean a more profitable game. Oh, Roiling Magma. Didn't know that was in there. Well, the magma explodes after delay, developed from Magma Gelmir. Its magma explodes a short delay after hitting the target. Enhances potency, further delays explosion, ancient hexes of Gelmir, Rykard's son of Queen Renala, brought them back into practical use as new forms of sorcery. And that is basically seething chaos from Dark Souls 3. Again, why is there no coping chaos? But as I was saying. Mm, it's almost certainly true that. Oh, but wait, how am I gonna get... What big enemy can I use to break that open? Okay, oh, oh, a rune bear. That is... less than pleasant. Okay, oh my, oh my goodness. Okay. Alright, we will. Let you break this open. Come on, and we can take that and Smithing stone 6 times 3, okay, well... Hmm. Main thing is I... Let's run away. Let's get out of here briefly. Uh, when is this rune bear going to give up? That's my real question. And of course you have... Mm, let's just put on a few. Buffs. Kill it. Mm. I mean, the main thing is... They charge more for Tears of the Kingdom, which... Quite frankly is... The reason why is it because they could. Because they knew people would buy it. Which... Whatever, really. It it was fun. I honestly would not say it was worth 70 bucks. But I also did get... Dodge. Some vouchers that allowed me to get it for significantly discounted. And there we go, we got that. So let's actually finish them off with... Another somersault back. Fun. I have a beast bone and beast blood. But... And, you know, part of that is just me being a hater because I've... Strong opinions about New Zelda. Quote unquote. But in the end, it. 
one of the reasons that I'm personally fine with Nintendo games being, you know, maintaining their price after release. And, you know, the big one, honestly, if you want to talk about things that have stayed expensive, would be Heart Gold and Soul Silver, but that's not their fault. That's the resale market. But, as I was saying, it's because Nintendo is generally repeatedly comes up as one of the best places to work in Japan in surveys and various news bulletins. And, you know, I would prefer to buy games that are funding people getting paid a living wage and being able to have lives in lieu of... And to be fair, I'm sure that Nintendo probably does have crunch issues. I'd have to look more into that. But I'd prefer to be funding a game company that treats its people somewhat well, if I can choose it. As opposed to, you know, stuff that gets crapped out yearly with crazy amounts of crunch. It, and I know we've occasionally talked about Assassin's Creed before, but it... I just remember hearing some years ago that they were deciding to move from yearly releases to every other year releases, semi-yearly releases, in order to... That'd be... I guess that would be biannual, maybe. Words are hard, but... Releasing a game every two years, because having to release a game every single year was significantly negatively impacting their quality. And all I could think of was just... Why didn't you think about doing that before? Okay, n normal bear, normal bear, okay. Hi, normal bear. And you just die. Normal bear just goes down and dies. But it... Uh, you know, there, there is a certain extent that... Saying, you know, the Japanese game industry is so much better is an example of, you know, the meme of... Thing, unsatisfied face, thing Japan, happy face. But it... Nintendo in particular tends to come up as a very good place to work, and that's part of why I feel decent about supporting them. That's basically the basically the story. Let's just charge up the great bow and shoot. Oh well, that didn't actually entirely kill. Oh, you're right. So this should be another demi-human queen, which should, among other things, get me a. My final memory stone, which will be very, very nice. So another demi-human village or settlement over here. Which, there should be a side of grace nearby, I believe. Yeah, right there. The end will be the demi-human queen. Who will, unlike the one in the cave, who threw away her staff and just started charging me, which was an unpleasant surprise, will mostly just fight with magic. But if I'm right here... I'm going to take a quick bathroom break. I'll be right back. If any of you need to go to the bathroom, now is as good of a time as ever. BRB. BRP.
Okay, I returned from the bathroom. I'm back to life. <sighs> I've been thinking about various evil schemes to try to do on the Minecraft server. Because, you know, if it's going to be a lot of people, it's going to be going on for a while. There needs to be some sort of interesting conflict. And as such, I think I'm going to be the villain. People, people have said that doing such would be a good idea if done well, and I, I happen to agree. Big thing for me is... The one scheme I've thought about so far is... Trying to levy taxation on people. Figure out some sort of currency to issue. I think it would be written books with my name on it. And then demand taxation, figure out some sort of punishment, like imprisonment or death. I don't know. Is there power spins mechanism like the pulley bow, volume bolts, which was a bolts quickly spent. So another funny Mikola machine. It is interesting that Mikola was a mechanical genius too, apparently. And we got another golden rune. Over and what is my Oh, it's still flame shrouding. Okay, not the stance one. That's fine. Probably maybe should have changed that one out after. One of the fights, but whatever. Oh, we have... Over here is going to be the actual... Oh, but Gelmir is over... Oh, and we got... We got abductors. Amazing. So, well, it... Okay, cool. Then we can... Oh, alright, and... Take you down. Thank you. Come on, then. And... Oh, we got a tiny one. Not expecting that. Okay. Cool, and... Okay. Oh, but stock. Amazing. Today is a good day to be me. And get that. Bach should have actually left. Lir well, not left Lyrania, but Bach might be in Raylacaria now. Oh, come on, you. Thank you, thank you. These demi humans are tiny. Great knife and broad curved blade slash and rend waddle us upon the recipients. Interesting. So then. And find, is this another? I don't think this is another side of grace. There's no other side of grace here. There'll be one after the boss, but. Doctor and right, Krasman Shack, and find our way to this village. Okay. Starlight and. Should be able to take them down without too much trouble. It's back and Hermit Village. Work our way around the sides. We can hopefully ambush another number of them from behind before having to deal with too much trouble. And oh, you're kidding. You're kidding. And of course, now all the others are alerted, which is only good. Can only be a good thing for me. Thanks. And all right. Big guy is coming, and I. All right, can we... Oh, come on, you... Die. And jump... Okay, nice, we got you, but I... Come on, okay. That could have been bad. Could have been bad. Okay, I... Big thing is... I think that Blessing of the Erd Tree, I mean... Not blessing is Boon, but... I think it was Protection of the Erd Tree. There's one... I think it's a body buff, though, so it would interfere with Flame Grammy Strength, that'd be fair. If it lasted longer than Flame Grant Me Strength, I would probably prefer the defense over the offense anyway. Well, we'll see. Sneak up and- oh, well, alright. Thanks. And- well, interesting. Come on, can I- Slam and go for another, and they're actually decently staggerable, at least with a jump, so... Interesting. How much more do I need for a- I could get a level before taking the Demi-Human Queen down, but I think I will do it on my way to Azure. It's kind of funny how it's arguably kind of guarding Azure's location. Aeron, Sorcerer of Manchats, Boots, and Sorcerer Rope Altered, and that. Sorcerer Wilhelm, first charge to visit the Round Table Hold, Silent Secret Sorcery, Gunfire, so far as to make contact with the Primeval Current, like going into a confrontation with his friend Vargram, then taking prisoner in Round Table Hold, like Slaughter Boots, turning after with a stand, inlaid with Dold Glintstone. Hands inlaid. Oh, so it, he had coinstone embedded in his hands? 
That's interesting. Probably because of his contact with the primeval current, but the question is whether it was something he embedded in his hands as sort of anchors or antennas, because there are some people who implant tiny neodymium magnets into their hands, and it lets them actually sense magnetic fields to an extent. And can we... One, and... You were a bit annoying to reach, but whatever. Yeah, and... It does allow them to sense magnetic fields. It's... They just use local anesthetic. You know, it's a surgical procedure, but... People undergo... People undergo worse for less. You know, it's... No worse than Botox, honestly. Which is... You do, do you, do you know, do you know what Botox actually is specifically? And that was weird. I couldn't actually switch it out. Huh. Prattle and pet your beautiful, oh, and right, that'll be for Bach. This is in words, eternal journey and conditional love, unrestrained assurance must have been a mother speaking. Well, Hyradas and that. Scholars engage in nomadic study away from the Academy, intelligence, endurance, to the detriment of FP. Well, specifically what it is in a chemical sense. Because... It's botulinium toxin, which is what gives you botulism. Yeah. It gives you botulism. It gives you a tiny bit of botulism enough for facial paralysis. And that's what it is. Take that, I suppose, and... Take on this demi-human queen. Demi-human queen Maggie, okay, well, it's being guarded by these sorcerers, interesting. Huh, I, okay, all right, I do not need to let them kill me. I, okay, and slash, and oh, all right. Mm -hmm. We go over, we can dodge, ooh, crystal burst. Kill the last one, and oh my goodness, thanks. Take out the ads and can I? Oh my goodness! I, how did that miss? Whatever. I. Right, come on, come on. Okay. Please, you. Gotta be kidding me. I. And what is that? Come on, you. Okay. And die. And okay. And that crystal burst not hit, which is just pure dumb luck. Okay. Come on, come on. We need to buff up now, and we can use black flame then. After that, sell the way of you and. Fun, fun, fun. Take that. Golden Vow. You aren't gonna reach me from here. Don't go that far. And just like that, we... How are you gonna do this then? And can I... Cool, and... Oh, alright. Fun. I should probably just use... Non... Charged ones here. I... Oh, well, alright. Can I... Dodge and... Oh, well. Should've rolled through instead of... Away and oh come on, we. S I can afford to take some damage here. It's not a huge problem. And dodge. Okay, well, how did how did that not hit? That's the weirdest part, really. Heal and can I dodge? Mm -hmm. We need this. All right, we we'll fire damage. If only that affected the damage over time, that would be nice. And dodge. Thank you. And this is thanks. Settle the way at that, and can I? Mm. If I'm not close, it'll oftentimes. There we go, cool. That enemy foam, and we'll get a memory stone. The final one we needed. How exciting. That was all from that, and. Yep, eight memory stones. That's all of the memory stones in the game. And even if I go into new game plots, it's not as if I can get more, so we're just chilling. Stark Mental Buds, which again, I don't use on a single thing. It, bewitching branches are too slow and too ineffective. The fact that I'm pretty sure I need to use multiple on larger enemies makes it kind of a non-starter. And just right over here, Primeval Sorcerer is your. It means now we can make a brief trip back to Celia Hideaway. Lost Grace discovered. Good stuff. Can level up real quick and we can quote-unquote talk to him to get... A new sorcery, which we won't be able to use, but it is what it is. Let's put this in. 
dexterity at this point. Okay, cool. You over here are... Hello. Oh, okay. Not matcha. Yeah, all right. Not much for conversation. Dung head finger, strong foe. Who's the stars? But oh, you do. He is very, very slightly moving. Oh, probably when he. I didn't even notice, but when he was teaching that spell, it was probably just faint movements of the hand and that. Three slots needed. Sixty intelligence. I cannot use that, no matter what, right now. Because even with the tier and two. Even with a crown boosting my intelligence, it wouldn't even work. Legendary sorcery devised by Azur Primeval Sorcerer, tremendous combat and torrent akin to the distant starry expanse, place said to be the origin of Glintstone, hold to continue releasing the sorcery's power. Azur glimpsed into Primeval Current, he saw darkness, he was left both bewitched and fearful of the abyss. Alright. So, this was the yeah, Primeval Sorcerer Azur. Go back and talk to the sorceress, but before that, there's an item over here. Leads back to that Gelmir Hero's Grave I did earlier, that Red Wolf. So what is this? This is... Golden Rune, okay. Cool, so the only thing really left here would be... Sea of Water. Alright, and then... There's a village over here, but after that it... It's not really Gelmir anymore in any meaningful sense. So that would be... I think I would end that part of the sojourn. Also, well, there is a cave over there, but even still, I have to go down this way. It's it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. Mm -hmm. So we can go back to our sorceress teacher over here in Wimgrave. Tell her that we found Azure, and this should actually okay. Fair. Enjoy your enjoy your pasta. Tell you about Comet Azure. And that's the lesson, and show is your sorcery. Sorcery. Mm -hmm. Exactly. First teacher. So we saw maybe. Found it. Oh, you know, he didn't exactly talk. Hmm. Story. For making schools of graven mages, which involved creating schools of graven mages, which is more moon related instead of star related. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Presume nothing. So we're going to keep going. Ah, so we have to agree with her. Sort of sinister intentions. I need, your help to restore I need my help. Fine by me. This is a we could take together. Sure, why not? Journey together. I thank you. You're welcome. This pleases me. Mm -mm. It's been this is the only way to get stars of ruin. I do have to agree. Have oh, goodness. Self praise a favor in that. Oh, and that's her favor. Lusat over in Celia Hideaway, so we have found him. Vanished languishes a prison in Celia Hideaway. Mm. We've already unlocked that spot, so we'll find him. The Celian Silverbreaker. She was Celia Associated. It's connected, the Ox were connected to puppets. Store of the Primeval Kern, a glimpse sorcery, and a child the source, such as his body now. Lusat. To his home, Selly Eastern Caled Wilds, Selly and Sorcerer, cooped up nearby. Okay. So I've been there already. Cool. The Selly and Silverbreaker, and the Sorceress, Selly keeps Lissot confined, Cut and Caled found possession of the Selly and Sorcerer. Alright. So we'll go over and go back to Selly Hideaway. Free him, get a sorcerer real quick. I don't imagine it would take all that long. First we should put our starlight back on. The fact that the demi-human queen was not hit by most of those black flames was a little agitating, I will say. The only thing is, we can put on our 
Inferno Krajir again. And Elderly Crush is Gwenstone Miners. Lovely, lovely. But they also... The issue is I don't have a really... Don't have a good staff we're using. So I wonder how much damage a charged Olorette is would do. Let's try that out. Charge that up and... Shoot and... It's not as much, but I think that it would do more if I had a staff that actually scaled well. But the issue is, and okay, Revenant's down there, not great. And we can do that and slam it. Okay, cool. Come on, you. Come on. Okay. Gotta go down somewhere and, well, that works okay. May as well kill the snails. We're in the area. Oh, well, not if we bonk. Thanks. Weird. Profoundly strange. Okay. Look our way through and not run into that revenant. But if I recall correctly, seal is down here somewhere. Okay, and we can teleport out, which is good. As opposed to having to go all the way back through, at least find that rotten Ron Crystallian arena just to escape. And the range on that is significantly less than I would expect, and also significantly less than I would hope. So over here, I know, one of these is going to lead to the boss arena of Putrid Crystallians, and the other is going to lead to Wasat's confinement. And I think this is going to be, this is the arena, so it's down there that Wasat's confinement is. Go down to his cell, free him, get his sorcery, and then we can wrap up the sorceress's quest line. That'll be nice. So then we have to work our way down over here and... Okay, cool. Don't grab me, please. I really don't want to find that Revenant either. Just drop down and anything else over here. I... Okay, just a Sorcerer and a Olivenus Conspectus. And let's slam and... Just poise through that and use the Silverbreaker. Fun. Tap that thing. Selling Silverbreaker. Teacher ahead, plump sword ahead. Well, he is kind of bloated. Let's see if he... I don't even know if he can move at all, then. So let's talk and see if he moves his hand at all. Yep, his hand is moving a little. So from the vague movements of his hand, we're going to obtain his sorcery. Stars of Ruin, but he's entirely covered in glintstones. Oh, but right in the end, eventually... Their bodies will disappear and leave their crowns behind to take his items, which will boost their specific sorceries. That's right. Put this down over there. We'll come back after the end of that quest line, I believe. But before that, we talk to her. Tell her that we got Stars of Ruin. And there we'll have it. Stars of Ruin and that. 12 Dark Shooting Stars that pursue foes, and I could use that with a tier. Saw Primeval Sorcerer, Troll Dark Shooting Stars that pursue the target, cast while in motion, increases potency. While current, final moments of a great star cluster upon seeing it, he too is broken. And this... I could level up a Galmir Glintstone Staff to a decent degree. And use that. Could farm it from the Serpent Men in the manor, and that would be a good idea. Could use that moment later, favor to ask. Have a request. No way projection. Prevent it being moved. Leaving the Densa, Southern Tier, Boy Chaman Ruins. Church America, playing the Wandering Mausoleum. Joining my body, only trust with you. Location, place to find Wasat. Wasat. Zor Wasat. Okay. Please, in a kindred spirit, token my thanks, take it, and this is. Oh, just one Starlight Shard. Step closer, bodies admitted to the academy, which means joining that school of graven mages, meaning their crowns will be left behind, wretched shackles. Request, even peninsula, southern tip, ruins, journey there, only trust with you. Go to the witchbane ruins, get that glintstone, and it should lead to progression of the quest line, which means returning to Rhea Wakaria for the. for another time. Zabak is. Still over here, which that would move him to Rhea Lucaria 2, I believe. Then we just go over here, down, 
Sure, I to follow the Ordance, which is a lot easier here than I might like. Go to the Witchbane Ruins, and this should be safe. Yeah, it's safe. Funny Hammer. It'd be really, really nice on a lot of these enemies. And it cannot use that on horseback, presumably. We can... Okay, all right. And one, two, simple enough. And our poise is very nice. So it didn't deal damage with a shockwave, but it did stun them and prevent them from hitting me, which is good. Ambush shard, which was Celia, and sort of evinces a connection between her and Celia. Thank you for coming. Shackle Sigurd told us all. You need to look after my primal glintstone. Fortune's Waver. Right, because that's the Radon Festival. Be Jaren, interested with you, myself. Alright. Accept it and take it from. It'll be an agonizing process. We have to rip it right out of her. Ouch. Mm. Mm. Alright then. Have it your way, her primal Gwynstone. And I suppose her body is dead now. Dying soon. My, apprentice. Mm. This my essence my treated with care. Talk with care. Hold is my very being. This squints within her body. Half alive blood vessels visible within. A source of her soul transplanted. You paddle a new body after original body dies. Source will rise again. This looks like... This looks like a candy. Well... Maybe more of a, a roll of mint than a lifesaver, because it's not hollow in the middle, but I think it distasteful. So Jaren will kill her in a bit. So we gotta go back and reset the area, which there's no real convenient way to do that and immediately be right. That area and oh well she's gone. Alright. So yep, she's definitely been killed. Which means nothing there, so. We, we can and we'll have to revive her in Celiavis's little spot. It is interesting because the fact that she's allies or at least partners with Celiavis in some sense also reflects badly a bit on her. Same as Ronnie being partners with Celiavis, but it's interesting. Well, especially since Celiavis is not Celiavis, so to speak, but almost certainly a puppet manipulated by pity of the Albanorek. One, two, okay, cool. But Go down, Jaren Wolf killed her. Hello. Hello, then. Ah, well met. And blood there. Here of all places. The the is von Berge. You didn't know Selen, did you? No comment. Well. Uncommon Jaren Owl. She was known as the Graven Witch. Obsessed by the Fell to her hand, turned into schools of Graven Mages. Big thing we fought immediately above. Entire history of Railacar's Academy. Mm -hmm. Strange hustle already fled. Moves on elsewhere. Another body. Stop gnawing at me. Alright, cool. And dead. And that, oh, but that was a player blood sin, because I assume a marionette must have followed them down. If we go over there, it will revive her, but we can also send Bach into there. We use that one prattling pate. We'll go to Renal in search of rebirth, which we will not give him a make tier to do, because that would kill him. Hello, Bach. At your service, make adjustments. I'm sorry. Old demigods can't make adjustments. Told me once. Up in a jifty be that good too, so we needed a golden sewing needle. Deserving self, what earth could it? Gold needle, not in all my life, roll a crest. It's for me, can believe it. And me, deserve this golden gift, golden seamster block. Threads of the demigods, be happy for you. Please, if she knew, golden's any royal seamster, not enough. To scratch like her. And so soon, be safe. Send him to Ray Lucaria, or. Hmm. This make him. Seems to be your service, make adjustments. Let's try altering. Order Blood's Robe, Order Blood's Robe Altered. Gold Emblem on Black Cloth, and. Hmm, so that would make it a bit smaller. Interesting. 
Let's turn that back to the robe. All right. Went so soon, safe on your journeys. So my question is, what sends him to Rail Lucaria? Maybe resting another time to reset it, or... Maybe it's after I kill Morgoth. There are a lot of things that are dead until after you kill Morgoth. So that means we gotta go back to... What is gonna be closest to? Those ruins, I think the moon gazing grounds would be closest, so we go down. Put her into the... Sorceress puppet that is in those ruins for... Reasons that I can only assume to be highly questionable. Bring her b back to life, back, back to life. And s take on Jaren in Rail Academy Academy. So, should be over this way, and... I've said it before and I'll say it again. One of the proudest, my proudest moments in life was when DJ's Goddess Falling in Love came on at a party Then the men's choirs I, choir I was in was putting on, and I got half the people there to sing the Minecraft version instead. It was... It was a display of pure power. It was... some of the strongest I've ever been. Just pure influence. Over here we go down, and... What is interesting is that you can put down messages on there. Because it doesn't really track for a service, it just records position. Oh, too bad. Sullivus is dead. At least one time. Put that in, and welcome back to the world of the living. And... Did she never have shoes? Just how long has it been? Oh, about five minutes. Thank you. You've helped me fill a yeah, because it would have been. Just going to sleep and waking back up. Mm. So is it even a human body or a puppet or still, shackles? Shackles. shackles. Mm. And Jaren will pursue her. Restore the primeval current. How sad. Poor Renault. Okay, well, what that means is we go over. You're over here. Go over to Rail Lucaria. That is... Okay, just still Renal there, but the fight should be right outside. So she's over there, but there should be a summon sign to go assist the sorceress against Jaren. Or to assist Jaren in taking her down, but we will pick helping her instead of Jaren because, well... Summon to challenge her? No. Summon to assist her? Yes. Because if you help Jaren kill her, you just get an Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone, which is not a unique item. This is going to be... Mm. Ah. Ah. Rain of Stars. None of them do that much damage to each other or to anyone else, so I... Well, all right. And, oh, Flame of the Red Mains. That's cool. Come on, I... Focusing on the Sorceress, and oh my goodness, you are crazy strong. Oh my goodness. Okay, all right, and I... Okay. We got backstabs, or what? I, all of them are very, very strong. This is a lot tougher than I expected. Oh, it's because of the... Right, I need to unequip one of these, right? Oh my goodness, I, okay, and... Oh my lord, I- alright. You need to change this out for Banished Knight Armor. I may be stupid, I may be stupid. Thank you, and... Alright, we need to buff that up. Well, it- I'm not sure how much of my help she even needs. No, you got this! You got this, girl! Come on, come on, Golden Vow, and... Yeah, because he's not healing or anything, so... Oh, but is she... She should hopefully get a bit of damage from that, too, but... So he's using Glint Blades, she's using various primal sorceries. It's interesting, and... Lion's Claw is and remains a very, very capable option. Can I... And can I get a backstab on you? At, oh, well, never mind. I, okay, I'll ride it. Oh, my goodness, you... If I had died, then I would have not been a happy camper. Can I get a... Oh, my goodness. I, backstab, backstab, and... Very narrow there. Goodbye, Jaren. 
saw your bloody finger vanquished. It is interesting that all invaders are technically bloody fingers and they're just regular dark spirits. It's bloody fingers or recusants. And bloody fingers are the only ones who can just have normal, quote unquote, centric sword. Armor manchettes and breaches, though, presumably I would have gotten the wishes Quintstone Crown, or maybe. I don't think she has a unique rest of her set. I'm taking her down, I'm taking her down, but. A, an age bearded mask, so not his face, actually. Pointy ragged hood, worn by Jaren. General Redon is a guest commander, said to have sworn an oath of honorable death to one another. Interesting. Usually colorful, nomadic existence, guest of the Karn. Well, was guest commander for Redon. Restless tumbleweed would be bound by honorable oath. But why the Karians? Probably to have Radon killed for arresting the stars. It was probably more Ronnie plotting. And where is Renala? Well, she just got kicked off to the side. Own the primeval currents. Hmm. All right. My apprentice. Well, I can't. I've got to become Elven Lord. Exactly. I, know it's not I do not want to be turned into a single head on her big ball of stone heads. And not a ball of heads. Alright. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone on my side. Alright. That's what Ronnie said. Presumably what will happen with Wingrave too. Jumping ahead, allegiance in the academies. Winstone Crease. Holy crap, as upward. Stars and the life therein. Please illuminate me. Of course, the Elden Ring, be your student. Hmm. One last thing, claim your throne, pay me a visit. So the place here. And we get access to Shard Spiral, which one singular enemy Quintstone Sorcery in a real car in dungeon use. Twin projectiles spiral as they travel repeatedly while in motion, enhances potency. This is really, really good against big enemies. Carolus Conspectus, most venerable of the Academy, product of a failed attempt to create a new comet. Not bad. We bought every single sorcery. We have ends. So once Renala is well, I don't see her around here. I know that. Okay, yep, she was kicked off to the side. Ouch. Dark be not a fear because she's in. Because she's in the dark now. Mm. Too much feet, I swear. Come out, I prithee. Privy? Push someone in a privy and expect a dung's on her hands? That is what the description of the dot fetid bot did say. And now Renal is back and should get her crown and now she's turned into a rock. Yeah, okay, we do get the Witch's Glintstone crown there and right the crease. Glintstone dart builds from Glintstone Pebble Sorcery. Upgrade to Glintstone dart. Skill into a lunging thrust which will bring Darlene Dell from Ray Wakari. Plus it's Glintstone's Urgery Ornamentation. Playing blade, symbolic of an ancient ritual, which maybe the finger slayer blade? I'm not sure. Maybe the Sinkadea? Maybe. Hmm. And that gentle looking crown, intelligence is arcane to the detriment of stamina. Studies merited the title of witch. Interesting. I wonder how much that would be if we checked my glintstone crowns and that three six. That it's a boost of six, which means when combined with two talismans, if I got Merica's Scar Seal, which to be fair would be entirely after Scar Seal, Scar Seal, who knows? The bigger one, I'd have to wait till the Hailing Tree to get that, which is crazy how far they limit that. And a tear and the Stargazer Arrow, it still would not be enough. Hmm. Maybe I equip the other seal too, but even then, it's just. Silly. My question is, is this... Yep, it's incompatible. You cannot have multiple of those equipped at once. It makes sense. Hi, anything new or... Uh-oh. 
You okay there? Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, well, you know. That's what you get, I guess. In a way, she got her comeuppance. So over here, Azure should have dropped. He should have disappeared after being quote unquote admitted to the school. Should have dropped his crown. He's gone! Okay. Massage should be gone too. Good stone crown and his outfit too. Okay. Check that out. With the Brimstone's corroded in your inorganic state. Grandmasters Azur and Wasat, driven from the academy, no one's achieved their formerly held rank of Grand Master. Poise his brain and skull together, removed from his body all but dead. Prominent blue green glintstone. Potency of primeval current sorceries, cost of additional FP consumption. Boost the power of stuff like Comet Azure. It's not as ugly as some of the other crowns, too. I'm okay with that one. Go back in, get Wasat's outfit as Wasat. Wasat. With sat. His outfit as well. And oh right, we need to put that back on. I there are other Ur Trees favors, right? Trees favor. Trees favor and that. Plus one plus two. Subterranean shunning grounds and Wayndale Ashen Capital. So both of those will be a while later, but this should switch this to stance tier and this there we go we got starlight go back get wasat stuff and then there should be a bit more of gelmir big question is how much more can i get done in gelmir before i hit my time marker it it's a question of how big volcano manor is might be able to do some assassinations but the dungeon itself is another question and even then i might leave it for a bit more of altus we'll see Big thing is, Saturday and Sunday, I like to do Altus and maybe Wayndell. The main thing is, like I said, I need to get to Mountaintops before I can actually kill Rackard. Actually, probably like to go and take down Rackard as soon as possible. Because one thing is that you can duplicate the Serpent Hunter weapon, but only if you can reliably do multiplayer. You get summoned for multiplayer. Either to help or to hurt. You can use that to actually duplicate the special weapon used for his fight. And I do intend on doing that for a number of reasons. One, it would be really funny and cool to show off. Two, it would be good quit material. Always on that. And three, it would probably make the fight itself very, very interesting. Though to be fair, the special bonus of it, which is the wind aura that it gets during the fight. If you two-hand, if you power stance with it with any other great spear, the other great spear will also get the bonus, the benefit. But so in theory I could use it with I could even use it with something like a Mogwin sacred spear if I felt like it. But that said that one would also I guess that's kind of the question is is, is it's wind blade only the physical damage or is it also the is it based on the damage of the weapon, or is it something entirely separate? Would it resist the wind blade of Mogwin's Sacred Spear because it was... Because it was partially fire damage? So that's when some crown, robe, mini enchants, and leg wraps. Interesting, because he's still a pants on. Giant blue, Grinstone Crown, Grinstone Crown, or what's up? Primeval Current Sorcery, Spaces Point, and Skull, all but dead. Prince of Primeval Current Sorceries, additional FP consumption. So that's Stars of Ruin, but it also boosts... Glintstone Stars and Star Shower a little too, but not as much. Assault Crown. Lots of FP consumption in that. Stars of Ruin, Star Shower, and Glintstone Stars, and Azure Crown is Comet Azure and then Comet Shard and Comet. So all the Comet ones and then all of the Star ones, what gets benefited? And that, formerly held rank, you're inorganic. Thighs, old fashioned sorcerers, ragged waistcloth, and leg wraps. Not even pants, just wrappings. What a profoundly interesting choice. If that. That's, that's one kind of fashion sense, I suppose. So then we can see the water river over to the terminus. 
The cave's over there, and there should be some other items, but besides that village, there's not much more. <laughs> Interesting. Work through Gelmir. That's where we came out of the Inquisition area. Right. So Sea of the Water's right around there. You can see that cave entrance, too. Let's take this. Some volcanic rocks, too, and... Arrows, well, you know, fair enough. This is... It's crazy how much damage it... Oh, that is an unlucky AR. That is an inauspicious number. Let's keep on moving. See how this works. And... Got another one of these, and it should just be... Maybe Basilisk. I think some other... Rotten corpses or putrid, putrid corpses. But in the end, it. We got through here. It's mostly just going through this field of lava geysers. Where there are the terminus, and I hear a scarab somewhere. And, oh, it's just. Just a health scarab, whatever. That's okay. Can we slow him down? Well, never mind. I can. Come on, and I. Really, really. Well, you know, we killed it. That's fine. Now that I was in a position where I needed more flash regeneration, but it's dead. So, we got that golden seed. We only need ten more. With ten more until I've maxed out my flasks. Then, the remaining sacred tiers, there should be one over in Altus, but the remainder should all be... There are four more. One in Altus, and then the rest should all be in Mountaintops of the Giants, which is kind of crazy. But of course they do that to make it easy to catch up if you get to the end game. So then we continue slamming and oh alright, can I? Let's try charging that heavy attack. Well, it's still killed, but it also knocked up and oh my goodness, more of you? You've got to be kidding. The range on that does leave a bit to be desired. That just crushes, fun. So we could well, that's right, I did take off Flame of Frenzy. Because I thought I wouldn't really need AoE, because it's really only just when you run into putrid corpse enemies like this that you need any kind of AoE. Very rarely do I run into a group of enemies that are slow enough that AoE is really the best option. So we're almost at that terminus, so... Thank you! Alright, well... Huh? Wait, it died and grabbed me? That was... Okay? That can happen! Interesting. And we got multiple. Fun. Sometimes this does work, and it does move us forward a little, but... For no Kujir, and... Class you down, but... The fact that it was able to... Postpone its own death by grabbing me is... Very, very interesting. It... Some interesting emergent behavior. So anything else over here? I'm pretty sure that... Oh, well, that that didn't do as much damage as I expected. Maybe. Honestly, I don't know what I expected. I think I really had expectations there. But this is this. This will be that, and then we go in and take down... Ah. Go into the manor, take out our assassination targets. First we go back to see the water. There will be a tibia mariner, which means... Putting Sacred Blade on this thing should be priority number one. That said, actually... Honestly, I'd probably be better using... Sa oh, but right, I don't have the ability to actually put a Sacred Infusion on it, because Sanctified Wet Blade is in Lanedale. I haven't been to Lanedale yet. That's right. So this Volcano Manor is interesting. Go over to Sea of the Water, walk back to the village. Shouldn't be all that much over there, we'll see. Put Sacred Blade on it for the additional build-up. Not build-up, but the additional buff. Additional buff to holy damage. And this should be very, very nice. There we are, and it's actually... Oh, because I didn't choose anything right. Right from the Sacred Curve Rank Club, and we take that in. Sacred, and there we go, cool. This should be decent AR. We have that, and... It's actually a bit higher, but... 
do the way split damage is wor damage works and that is a bit deceptive illusory we should take the sun we're here in altus and we can put on a couple of buffs let's do that put on blessings boon be stuck quivers oh because we'll get more death root from this guy fun oh but we can't use that we can't use that right because it's already got something on it, and then grab me, and now we ride in, find the Mariner, Windham Ruins, and Windham is, right, there we go, and it, there should be Catacombs in here, I think, so, got you, and we can, thank you, and just one, oh, well, I, all right, oh, well, that did not target me in the slightest, so where is it, where is that thing? Come on, come on, I. Where are you? Something more, but you're over here now, okay. Which means we can flame grant me, take that out, and probably take this again, and probably going to summon another Dasha Dokoro. Now we, oh, well, we, all right, and, oh, that thing can be killed. Okay, interesting. All right, so can I, mm, maybe not, maybe not, and I slam, and one, Two, and there we go, death, death. All right, fun. Cool. And we still got more of you to deal with, but that's whatever. Oh, we have Deathroot and Tibia summons, and that's a fun little spell. Give that to Garonk once we've cleared this area out. Come on, you. Come on, come on. Thank you, and that is very, very nice damage. Deathroot and Tibia summons is just magic damage on a death sorcery, which, well, whatever. It's not amazing enough to really justify using, and it slow, and the DLC actually introduces it as a, well, maybe I shouldn't say too much. Some tears, and those who have in death, left to wander, what they need is leadership. Alright, so we got a few more of you over here in the Wyndham Ruins, which makes it sound, the name Wyndham sounds like it would have been the name of a village. Tibia Summons requires... 20 in 20 faith. So that actually has a pretty high requirement. But it it's slow both in terms of the attack and in terms of casting. Don't imagine it would be all that useful for me, frankly. Okay, and take that down. And there we go. Cool. Crush again. Prevent survival. Good stuff. It It's interesting how in Dark Souls games, you can prevent revival with a divine infusion of various sorts, but in Elden Ring, you need specific effects active, not just a sacred infusion of such, which is probably because infusions are so non-committal in this game that it would not be much of a problem at all to require that. This is Gun Gatekeeper for those returning to the roots, and that is probably Wyndham Catacombs, then? If it's over there, it would have to be somewhere in here. Interesting. So how would I work my way? So that lets me work my way back down to the rest of Altus. So we'll leave that for next time, or another time at least. Altus, and this one's, of course, the Abandoned Coffin, and... Can I? Okay, so that wig would definitely be accessible then. Other thing is that I did get a couple of dragon hearts and magma breath from that magma worm, so I should buy it. It would also be probably my best option for fire damage, at least in melee. Because you can chain cast it with catch flame for pretty ridiculous quick damage. If you cast it, if you cast Catch Women Midair and immediately cast <clears throat> Magma Breath after, it will. What was that noise? Send it out much, much faster. Which is really, really good. Really, really strong. This is. Oh, because it's in one hand. And, oh, it didn't even cast Sacred Void correctly. Whatever. Alright, cool. And we can. Like that, thank you. Who else is in here? Huh? This will lead me to my location, or 
How is this going to work? We've got one of you, but how many others? I oh, what we got? Oh, one of the sorcerer ones. One of the ones who uses rankers. Okay. It suppose that rancor would be the best way to describe those projectiles because rancor call and ancient death rancor also send out projectiles in a similar way let's go over and crush and it's, it's really hard to see if I... <clears throat> hard to see the glowing effect on this weapon because the red coloration at base is just so gaunt, so garish. It, you can't really discern or sense anything else on the weapon. But what I really need right now is a sip of water. Take like that. Also to give that. Sixth death root to. Garonk, and the final three are all in mountaintops of the giants, if I recall correctly, which is kind of crazy how much they put on there. But it, again, it's a matter of trying to make it relatively easy to catch up if you've missed some things later in the game. Ultis Bloom, and that would only, the only thing that comes to mind would be perfumes, which I don't really have any interest in using. Especially since I, I have one perfume bottle, and I I think I got it in Lyurnia, but they limit them. The point where it makes it tougher to justify using than I might like. And it... They've also... They're just power cropped hard by so many other things, too. It, there was just no real reason to use them. They were trying to block the holy, and it did not work. Too bad, so sad. Come on, come on. What else is in here? Oh, but in theory, there should be a... In Wyndham Ruins, there should be an illusory floor, or at least an actual floor for me to drop down through and get some kind of item. So I have to keep my eyes peeled for something like that. And that, okay, that lake I can clearly actually get inside. The question is what would actually be inside the lake. Okay. Go up top, shop there in the ruins. Which will probably lead us to the catacombs there at least. Let's see what's the boss of the area. Then and then and then we... We've already been through here. I'll make sure I don't miss any items of note or even not of note. This is more nothing. Mm -hmm. Enjoying the nothing ever happening? Sit back. You'll enjoy this next nothing. Okay, over here, and this is where we were. We got another golden rune, and stripped up over this way. This should lead to the catacombs. We're over on this little plateau that we were able to reach from the abductor virgins area, too. So in that case, should just be a few more skeletons leading probably to... Maybe it's a catacombs entrance that is sort of the reward here. It's funny to think about, and and hitting with the swing as well as that is even better. I hmm. What's through here? I see a imp statue for a stone sword key, but beyond that, I presumably a skeleton should. Okay, you yeah, have a skeleton. Will come up here anymore, or hmm, whatever. Right ahead. Right ahead. And here we go, we got our catacombs right here. Which I suppose we could have reached from the abductor area as well. So let's activate the side of grace without actually resting in it. And then we will get Wyndham Catacombs. <clears throat> so we'll back out real quickly, come back here in a minute. Then I would say that the assassinations and maybe sort of the antechamber area of. Yeah, just right back there. Volcano Manor should serve to occupy the rest of today. And of course, I do want to reach Rykard, but I don't want to actually beat Rykard. Because that would, of course, break the quest line, and I'm pretty sure that going in his arena does not break the quest line. Because it is, after all, 
audience with him in a certain sense, which is what Tanith promises as the reward for the quest line. So going there early should not break anything, and it's not as if the wiki has said anything to that effect. You know, you always, you always gotta look at the wiki. Can't trust it unreservedly, but hello then. Take you out, and we should have a couple more. I probably could have used Sacred Void spam on the Mariner. Just kept using it to continually deal additional damage from the combination of the Holy Damage Hit and the Projectile. That would probably have been the quickest way to take it down. There will be another Mount Tops of the Giants, so... And it takes one key, so what is going to be my reward for clearing out these ruins? That's my question. The answer is, the answer is, and... Well, we got lots of you in here. Fun. Put that back on, and... Oh, great stuff. Take this, and... Sacred Blade. Well, that did not quite hit. Sacred Blade, and... I suppose we could just keep using projectiles, but this is probably going to be faster anyway. Hello. Hello, then. What is interesting is that the exploding skulls that they create from a side actually a bit reminiscent of Legarius. What Saints Seek skill and Full Drake Talisman plus one and that non-physical damage duo. Crescent Dragons, Damage Negation, Symbolic of all manner of protections. So before going in, we should probably... Oh, we already got that, so that's done. Patches, well, we already did that too, so that's done as well. Go over to Garan, give him that one death root, see what we get. I think it might be, might be a charm or a piece of equipment. I think the seventh was a hammer. And the eighth, Stone of Garan, so. Thanks, Tarnish. Thank you. Should not be touched by the hand of man. Unfortunately, I don't exactly have a say in the matter. My claws. Oh. Mm. My claws, he means. Oh, right. No, that's Stern of Garonk, so it'd be. Garonk's a beast claw. That was the eighth one, the stronger one, bolder before the caster. Cast repeatedly, terrifying ferocity, meant death of the demigods. Okay. Randy, my claws, feed me more. Feed me, see more. Okay, so Wyndham Catacombs are right over here. That's nice and all. Hmm. But this is still more or less. Mount Gelmir, I'd say that's up here. Because it would be weird given that you go over here and it says Altus, basically. It's just a weird quirk of how the map works. Because, for example, a little bit of Kaolid comes from Wyndham East map. Over here, it around here, I believe. Yeah, this is where you get that Caleb map. And this part, it's shown by Wyndham Grave. So, Wyndham Catacombs. Wyndham Catacombs. Illusory walls. Any illusory walls in here? And the answer is no. Okay. Wyndham. 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 Catacombs, winning catacombs. That would be, it's mostly imps and a watchdog, which would mean it's time for more Lion's Claw. Put on the Lion's Claw with quality. And that is very, very nice. There we go. Now we have put that on and we Yep, it's back at that funny number again. Have to open that up, and should be good here. Can't open this yet. It's not like a right. It's not like a hero's grave where it just opened up immediately. And oh well, I okay. Lightning arrows. I was not expecting that. A friend. Take that and see where else this sends us. And my question is, okay, that just looks like death. So very clearly, that's not a drop down we can actually use. Okay. Take that up, and... Some of the dungeons, you actually wanted to drop down to see what was inside. There was a layer beneath, you could, you could and had to explore to progress. 
This is not like that. That no head ahead. Right, because it's a guillotine. Oh, but that also... Who is... Oh, imps with lightning. Interesting. So we can go over and slam. That's good. Which ones do you have? Hmm. Guillotine blade in... Black Knife Catacombs uses an elevator to go and actually fight the Black Knife Assassin boss, but there is very clearly nothing of note around here. Oh, when it drops, it drops faster than we do and we don't go with it, so we have our own little fall. That's actually very funny. We have jumping off and we have ambush, so... Hello, then. Good thing you backed up a little. There we go, and... Well, all right, we... Thank you, and how did that not hit? It did stun it all with a shockwave. Thank you, Colossal Weapon Quirk, but... It still was not quite what I wanted or expected. Where we have up and... Where we have up and... Okay, cool. Hmm. This is... Frenzied Burst is okay here. I did not mean to do that. That does not do what I wanted it to. It's about... Hmm. Interesting. And I... That's close. To finish them down with one single hit. Thank you, Skeletal Slime. And I cannot target all of them. Hmm. Which ones can I target? And... Alright, then I... Let a fully charged Frenzied Burst followed up with it. How did that miss? What? Okay, and... Okay, well that actually... So as long as I don't hit them first, they don't see me. They're not exactly the most observant of enemies. Let's work our way through, and... This reminds me a bit of... Catacombs of Carthus. Or maybe it... Weird. So I can't imagine there was a sort of double does not see you status. That's what it seemed like, because it did even more damage. But that was definitely aggro, and come on, come on. And that missed me? I'll take it. Still surprising. Glass shard and worry of trap and that is oh okay so it just shoots them down from above. You kind of see a hole in the ceiling. Very very kind of. Let's put on our net. Are these guys gonna come on forever? Because I know that in a lot of dungeons, putrid corpses have infinite spawns, but. So it does seem like colossal weapons, or just big weapons in general, the issue of not hitting is, or bouncing off a wall is a lot more relevant. Well, at least you're not draining any kind of FP. Okay. Thank you, and okay. My question is, oh, really? You've got to be kidding me. Come on, you. Thank you. And I, wait, what? No, really? Come on. Really? What the, okay. Got to heal. Then we... It's a normal one, normal, and... Okay, cool. That did not quite kill, which means... We were able to stop its charge that way, though, which is good. Hello, how are you doing? Welcome back. Are you do always feel better now? I hope. And I... Okay, we managed to bash you out of the... Oh, please. Slow weapon is not a great option here. I maybe... What hounds thing might have been a better choice. Who knows? Okay. So then, let's keep working our way around. The burial watchdog should be through here, and why is it always an enemy? If only I had my... Had the body helix for piercing damage, but, well, whatever. Could be worse. Does not look like there are slimes in here, so... We will just fight this Landell Knight, and can I... Well, okay, we'll just do that again. And somehow that missed. All right. Fun. Slam and kill. Thank you very, very much. Fine by me. That Grave Glove Wart. Not that we really needed that. Go up here and... Your favorite Italian is at dinner right now. Hopefully she'll make a return. We'll see what happens. We will simply... Oh, and okay. There is a Stone Sword key to use here, which... Thank you. And do I see any... If there are holes in that wall, so I should have been paying more attention. Check through. Oh, thank you, Imp. Goodbye, Imp. Take that through, and... What is... Did something drop down? This requires two stone sword keys. 
So what could potentially, what could possibly justify that? I'm not actually sure it was two. Might have not just been able to see it. And oh, lightning scorpion trim, and that's good. Well, for when I need lightning, and that. Strike on scenes, shadow the exoskeleton, sparks of lightning. Damage negation, and that. Just check what they're all described as. Talismans, talismans, talismans. The scorpion ones, and this. <clears throat> Shimmers, burns, sparks, glows. I wonder why it says plus to go instead of glows of holiness. You tell us sushi. Banana. <clears throat> I know that. I thought for a second it might have been a crepe or something. Like a little crepe bite that's sort of wrapped around in a spiral pattern. Maybe. It's an idea. It would be, yeah. Let's put our starlight back on. Oh, welcome back! That's one way to make your announce your reappearance. Those imps look very weird. Not, oh, well, we... Oh, come on. So then it will go up, presumably, and crush me. Oh, but if you send this up, you can go back down into here on the other side of that wall. Fair enough. Take your time. Have fun. Ouch. That... What about the rest of them? What about the rest of them? Not getting all the answers I want. Eh, can I... Slam? Yeah, good luck. So what if I use a... Jumping heavy attack? Will that be enough? And it's still not enough. Hmm. Alright then. Okay. Well, at least it, it's a way to make a dynamic entry. And this should be... Should lightning down there and you can see the... Little bit of sparks because it's in water. Magic reset. Oh, of course it's a crab. You've got to be kidding. And it's... Death by crab too. No. We one-tap the crab. Alright. Dragon Apostles quickly. Oh, another another crab. You've got to be kidding. Come on. I didn't need that. And take that out of the way. And really, really. Come on. I kill, kill. Oh, wow. It. Oh, okay. Ouch. Captain Repertoire, Lightning Grease, Dread Swing. Dragon Cult, Lightning Weapon, the Ancient Dragons. Exactly. As opposed to in Souls, where Lightning is what you use against dragons. Grease, rushing, lightning, grease, lightning, bone, arrow, arrow, fletched, and bolt. Oh, that? That sounds in character. Crab eggs, and it's... It's mostly just crab eggs. Okay. I'm gonna open this, not that there's much of a point to it. Come on. Here, well, it... Oh, but right, that's how you get back through, because you can't. This does not lead to anything. That's right. That is right. Okay, cool. Keep on moving. But just... Even though I know this thing is level, is level 2 plus 23, but it was still very, very, very nice for it to one tap those crabs with lightning's... with lion's claw. I did not... I did not expect that much damage off of it. But I am more than pleased with those results. You know... Oh, yeah, take care of yourself. You know, I should have known that it was anomalous for Kozu to stay on for so long. I should have known that they were asleep or something by the fact that they hadn't left yet. Let's just go through here, try not to get crushed. Go over this way and not get stabbed. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it... No, I... It is what it is. But it's, well, it's very obvious that they're weaving to go watch someone else. But, and I, I'm not offended. I don't really care, but it's just sort of, you don't have to lie. I'm not offended. Okay, and slam, thank you, die. No, you don't. There are a lot of other catacombs that look like it. But it's always just, I'm lurking, and it's just... You're not. It's okay that you're not, but you're not. Okay. Okay, so that should open, and now we can take down the burial watchdog. Well, that was the those were the Impaler's catacombs over in. So we have to teleport out. The Impaler's catacombs in Weaving Peninsula. 
It's just another dungeon did the same thing again. So we're almost out, so we need to take a bit more then. Let's try not to die here and go over the other side. We'll back around. Thank you. Go back through and all right. Let's make something beautiful happen. Take down the barrel watchdog, which there might be multiple. I hope not, but there could be. What is interesting is that I don't think there are any holy damage traps. There are those lightning traps, there are the fire, the flamethrowing turrets, and then there are the, ma the swords that are always big, upwards magic bullets in Karia Manor. But to my knowledge, there are no holy damage traps. That was a bit risky. Which makes some sense, but why? Why? It... <clears throat> that was the... It was the Kaguya-sama guy who made... Who made that, right? If I recall correctly. Because... I do remember telling you that... Oh. Why do you... Why do you stay in contact with these people if you hate them so much? It's just, why do you stay in contact with these people if you hate them so much? And it's one thing if it's just for entertainment value, but it sounds as if it's causing you significant mental distress. At least to me. Okay, so, it's not a problem. I was worried. I was worried about you for a second. I have to worry. How is the call? Golden bow and... Oh, okay, okay. Well, it, even, even... Uh, all right. It, I'm just curious. I'm just, I'm just curious. Curiosity is a human quality. So, yep, and it's just one of them, so. Oh, then, and, oh, you're a lightning. Lightning? What? Okay, well, we can finish them off with a quick critical, and that was easy. Okay. Or picker and good human. So... Well, it's probably not the same as them, presumably. This is Goldberg Pickers Bell Bearing 1, 2, and 3. Grave Goldberg Flowers. What? What? Huh? Did Yandere Dev make a, finally make a game? Okay, so I guess we can go into Vol... Could go into Volcano Mountain. We could go around here. Hmm. This was Ruin Strong Precipice, and this leads up to Wyndham. Okay, so what happened? Were you were you criticized for something? Let's go to Volcano Manor. Oh, oh. Yeah, random random internet person. Random internet person. There there, there have been multiple of those. In fact, some years ago, people were making a lot of hay about Nintendo being less censorious than Sony. Because they cared about that thing. Oh, okay, fair enough. It... There are worse things to be called, I suppose. But, as I was saying, it... I, I assume at least one of them was lamenting the fact that Nagatoro got done a couple of days ago. Talk to Tanith. Okay, hello, Tanith. Welcome to Volcano Manor. Let's see how that sword over there. I don't think that's the Blasphemous Blade. Hello, Tanith. Did she now? I would hope. A promise. And now we can summon some other people in here. I think I am. Resist the tide. Well, you know, natural in your face helps. Dogmatic ramblings of the fingers. Against the Earth Tree. Against the Earth Tree. Join Volcano Manor. Your decision oh. Is By whom? Now, you belong to the volcano now. now we're family. Life Yourself's comfortable. Make yourself comfortable. Well, you're used to it, right? Sure to Earn your keep. Get a Kino drawing room key. I'm not very good at drawing, though. Westward quarter upon the left-hand side. 
through the hall. Make yourself comfortable. Okay, well, if we rest, will people show up? Okay, well, bad luck, huh? So Bruno might come here eventually. Is so Tannis Knight can't talk to him yet. Fair. Well, as long as, long as you're okay with it, I suppose. As long as it doesn't cause you too many problems. Oh, here he is. Hot patches. You're gonna give me an assassination target? Oh, I do. Mm -hmm. And you were always here. Classic Italians. Good work together. Business if you like. Form specially for you. Oh, about patches. So there's nothing really new to buy here. Still sells Margaret's Shackle here, which is funny. One of the matter? No, not a surprise. Two fingers. I'm asking the charade. Gonna be curious. Smug about Rikard. Christmas ambition stands proud. Quite like her. Hmm. Beggar heart, heart next time. Oh, come on. Trouble to me. Eventually, he will give me assassination targets. Cannot open from this side. There's an illusory wall in here somewhere, is the thing. I think Bernal shows up eventually. Gives us the opportunity to own this. Very of Tarnish. Oh, so this would be. Giza should invade around here then. Can take him out. Should be able to get. Try incantation. Then we. Yep! Alright, cool. Watch one blade and. Take that flask. Golden Vow, and he'll drop his funny weapon. Thank you, and can we... Cool, and all right, well, I, oh my goodness. All right, we can sling, and oh my... Wow, the damage is pretty phenomenal. I'll take it. Otter Clanner. We got a new pizza cutter. Giza's will, Inquisitor Giza's died. Iron wheel on with flesh wing blades, device of torture used by Inquisitor Giza. Wheel spins cause severe point and blood loss, adopted for use, iconic weapon wielded by Iron Virgins. So it started with him and then went to the Iron Maiden enemies. Spinning at top speed, hold to keep it spinning, use while walking to push into enemies, and that's basically the Whirligig Saw from Bloodborne, actually. Okay, take your time. Slipping Stone 6, and then. Hmm. Sure. I'm not going to stop you. Good luck. Don't die. Or if you do, make it amusing. So that was all over there, presumably, and no damage was as good. Let's just rest up real quick. I wonder if there's going to be anything on top there now that we've cleared that out, but it's just... He died so fast. It was two lines claws, and it's utterly pancaked. Well, nothing over here. A name, okay. And was it something highly morally questionable? Lock shot, okay, so... Drawing room key. So that might open things back around, but I know that... Bernal should be in here somewhere. This is... Perfume bottle, okay. Drives from it, and is this... Oh, well you just have to touch it. Very weak foe. And where is... Oh, just more snails. Okay, cool. So then I should be a Bloodhound Knight in here eventually. Another word after, and you're starting to worry me. Thank you. Kill the snails. A budding horn. Not that we really need those, but through here we got more snails. Worry of up. Well, you dropped down so I can hit you. Didn't fall on my head, but it might have opened me up for a grab. Hello then. So what and when is going to be blocked shut? There we go, and, alright, slam. Oh, okay, but... That... That sounds like... Bad operational security on their part. I... I... It doesn't sound like they thought that one particularly well through. This is the... Pneumatic Warriors Cookbook 21. A whirring pot. And there we go, we got another one of those, and... Moved around through here, and what is this? You open that door. This is Depraved Perfumer Carmon. This is a normal guy that with those ashes. Depraved perfumers practice their art for themselves alone. Normally, perfum formidable perfumers, strength well, that of heroes. 
Search of a secret physic of revivication. Oh. Message and then try door. I... No. I don't like that. Can I? Oh, but if it's blocked shut... Is this just the... Let's mark this. Let's mark this spot. Presumably it would be... The one that was blocked shut and now I don't need to look. Oh, so it... I... Ouch. So in other words, he was making fun of his own girlfriend and that... That... You really deserve good luck one of these days. I... Uh, I swear. What do you mean you have no proof? Well, if he was in there all... Okay, well... In that case... Okay. Well, in the end, there's no there's no use worrying about things. You can't verify for sure one way or the other, so... Come on. This should be the one that was blocked shut. And yep, this is the one that was blocked shut. Okay, cool. What else is down this way? I... Oh, and more drawing room. More drawing rooms. The other one down there would probably lead to more dudes. So what's in here? Is there anything in here at all? Lover had beautiful, so probably just... Maybe Bernal. Another drawing room key. So the question really is just... So Rai is in here. Then Bernal. Oh, okay. Wreck is in finger. Just pick that up for free. Letter from Volcano Manor. And that request. Old Knight Istvan. Oh, now we can do our assassinations. Red mark for the exact location in Wind Grave. Snake Scales, Word of Volcano Manor, Tarnished to Become Family. Snake Scales is a Rekis and Invader, alternative to doing the Patches. I mean, the Varray Quest. You is it nice to see you again? Invited as well. Watch my back and I'll watch yours. Wondering about Lanya? Come to realize revenge is not the answer. Oh my goodness. So for champions, a tainted path. Bolt from the blue, simple naivete. Weeps for Lanya, twist of fate indeed. Won't make me a champion, will it? Hard roads for us both. So in other words, he's just a little selfish. Tried by champions. Presented these hands, pale complexion for our Chroma Warriors, Shimo has Hoslo. Can't even see his hands. Path of champions, dark micro, told in blood. Okay, cool. So here he is, Brunal, with his full armor. Having fun. Okay, fair. Grace and hunt our own kinds. Hmm. Interesting. I understand. Understand what you're saying. You'll sell us more stuff, and he's got. Change his weapon out for the Devourer's Scepter. Blast me, we don't do a miserable death. Hunting any of your own kind, think on that. Hmm. Pitiful death, think on that, and... Will you sell me anything? Oh, okay. Brave Tarnish, Volcano Manor, a scout. Path of Valor. Hmm. Tarnish, for the Path of Valor. So we can do some wreckage and invasions in a minute. So I can't open that, but... So I could open it from that side, but not the other. Interesting. So then, I can't see that, and that's not a door. Message and expect secret passage. Yep, nothing there. Classic lying. Welcome back. Okay, so we go back through. This was... Well, maybe Raya would go... I think Raya moves there eventually. Oh, wow. Oh, oh my goodness. Are they okay? What what was their allergic reaction? I, that's scary. At least... Oh, oh. So are they going to the hospital now, or... Because you have to go to a hospital if you use an EpiPen, right? Nutella allergy is crazy, so I guess it would be hazelnuts. That sucks. Oh my goodness. So, let's take this guy down. Well... If you are currently in contact with them, 
Tell them that I hope... I hope they're okay. I... In theory, it shouldn't be a huge problem. Now that everything's under control, but that really sucks. Sorry to hear that. Heal and... Oh my goodness, I... Okay, heal. Okay, okay, well, it... I mean, if you use an EpiPen... And maybe things less change since I've heard about... Oh, blood have cause. About how EpiPens work, but don't you have to go to the hospital? Because the epinephrine, or the adrenaline, would cause problems for you. So through enemy guard, but hand set, does your high speed, regular quick step, faster. Walk on target, so I could use that for poison pools. Try to deliver, just... Just whatever they need to do to take care of themselves and stay alive. That should be their priority number. Oh, okay. Well, as long as they're okay. Secret passage, jump left, pathetic sword. Yeah, just... I hope that... They don't hurt their sel themselves on my account. Okay, good. So, but like I said, do you have to go to the hospital now, or? Okay. Rash by the ear. So did the, was it an issue with the Nutella touching you, or the Nutella getting eaten? Either way, that, that's, that's scary. I, please take care of yourself. So this is the actual manner proper. Okay, fair enough. Proprietress, not Diolos, but Requisite Bernal. So I presume he wouldn't be in the War Master's shack anymore. Yeah, that sucks. I used to be heavily allergic to crustaceans. I'm not anymore, and it's not... It wasn't all that relevant, at least in theory. But when you eat a lot of Asian food, it does become relevant. Okay, so it's actually right by the War Master's shack from before. Let's go over and take down Old Knight Istvan. Once we've completed our first assassination, should hopefully get some stuff. And Istvan, I believe, he was a summon in the coastal cave. But this is actually right by where Rekas and Henricus invades. So it's interesting how that worked out. But there aren't a lot of other Rekasents invaders in the world. So this is where Volcano Man requests Istvan. So we can prep a few... A few things. Bad about what? If you have to... If your connection's too bad to stay, you don't have to worry. I'm not gonna be on for that much longer. Well, Knight Istvan and... Red Heavy Load. Oh, oh. Ouch. Well, hazelnuts are... Not all nuts are created equal. That's the thing. Not all the same. What weapon is this guy using? Hi. Hi, okay, and interesting. I slam and. Okay, I. Alright, I. Oh my goodness. Alright. Hmm. That might be it then. That makes sense. I. Oh my goodness, you're. Strong? Hi. And. Oh my. Oh wow. I would probably be much better off with. Let's actually use the finger sever to escape. I, I'm gonna have to go with piercing for this. I'm gonna have to go with piercing for this. Okay, thank you, and... Return, thank you, and... Oh my goodness, you can't... You cannot be serious. Come on, you... Alright, I... Come on, I... Gravitas... Well, I... It depends on how much you like Nutella. I... Maybe, you know, this is, this is just me being me, but I'll be more... More displeased. Well, if I just quit out, I can... Oh, I can't quit out right now. Well, I, I don't have a rune artifact right now, so I can probably just let him kill me. Probably. Yeah, just kill me. Kill me. Thanks. Okay, cool. So we'll just go back, and I need to use Great Epe for this. It would probably be a lot better against his armor as well. But a rune artifact should still be up. The main thing is some trouble with. And yeah, I still have that, which is good, and we just put us right outside here, which means we put on Great Epe. Should be more than good enough. Put on the Lion Armor again. And then this is good. Big question is, how quickly can I buff before he shows up and just starts crushing me? This is where we crawl life ahead with sadness. Old Knight Istvan's world. So we'll 
Put on our Blessings Boon and buff up before he hits us. Old Knight Isvan. Blood Flame Blade, and thank you. And then we... Golden Vow, Golden Vow, and... Let's just see how long this takes, and... Can we... Oh, well, we got knocked out of it. That's not good. It's really not good. I should have put that on beforehand, then. I... Okay. Hmm. Flame Brandy Strength, and boom, burn. Thank you, heal. Hmm. If I use... Paling Thrust. Oh, that's so much more damage than Lion's Claw, too. Wow. Stab and... Hmm. Yeah, I actually... I really like cherries, actually, so... Being allergic to cherries would be painful for me. Thank you. And you'll... Stab and... One more, one more, and... There we go, dead. Goodbye, Old Knight Iswan. Turn into your world. Rune Arc and a Furl Calling Finger Remedy, and... Yep, we're getting more rune arcs from that. Yeah, it... This week I put... Ouch. That is worrisome. Scaled. Is that dragon related or grieved? My card scales. Effective against non-physical attacks. Few wizard tarnishes who survive to this day. Except not really because we killed them. That's all. Okay, so we finished that. Which means in theory, should be able to go back to the manor and do a few more assassinations. That Alexander, right Alexander is in there. A lot of people in the same place. But I put blueberries in this week's muffins. Oat muffins. I wanted to put cherries in because my dad got some cherries right before last weekend. I said, let's leave a few. And he said, well, I'll probably eat them all. And then he did. Butter left. Test now is going to act. Taunt Satan wants its own. Good luck. Taunt, so be it. Leave this house at once. War against the Urgery. Big or keeping queen hands. Interesting. I do. I love blueberries. The test isn't true. Full-fledged member. Lord's Promise, and that's... Oh, Magma Shot, nice. Fights to try the path as champion. Tainted, but for this very reason. True Path to Valor. Interesting. Magma Shot. Not as good as Rolling Magma, but... Splits on contact, enhances potency, ancient hexes of Gilmer, Rikert, Son of Renoa, Practice, no forms of sorcery. Rick isn't true, Rick isn't true, member of... Volcano Manor. By poison, giving you poison blueberries? Or making you allergic somehow? Okay. So we should maybe get another assignment from somewhere. Let's check. This is another assignment. Letter from the manor? Okay, okay. Rally the idol and Altus. Take him down, and that should also have a... Well, you're right by there. That... I'm not sure if I can drop down that, though. Let's try that out. Hi, Ra. You ever? Any strange sounds here? Breathing or slipping steel? Zip snaky. What am I saying? Not possible. Must be tired. Strange sounds. Breathing slipping scales. And... Anything else? Yalos? Present these hands. Pale complexion. Want to kiss for long. Darken my grit. And then... Body of the sword in the hunt. Once more. Not war master banal. Not a faithful knight. A recusant. But or it's styled for slaughter. So what am I going to get here? Mm -hmm. skills in that is that a magma magma skill eruption and to serve the manor slum arm into the ground rolling lava spouts up upon release that occult affinity occult affinity boasting swords straight swords because of a self inflicted wound near invisibility and sounds his footsteps it's an interesting one too stand now make it his own hunt his own kind Sanctified pillaging. Wretched of predators. Into his laugh. Hmm. So we meet again. He's got his helmet on now. I've had her fill. Well, I actually have. So then we will go back. See if we can take down Mr. Riley. Mr. Idol. And then he should have, I believe, that sorcerer whose manchettes we found. Should also be around here. But I. It's no good way to drop down there immediately, so I suppose. The only good way to reach here would be from. Sea of Water. So I guess we can mark that tunnel for later, but. It's a bit annoying, honestly. Honestly, this will be fast enough. Go over, hunt him down, and my real question is. Whether. What weapon would be best to use here? Well, Epe is always good. Piercing is good against most things, and the main thing about it here would be... 
Impaling Thrust is just a very, very good option for engaging enemies from range, especially NPC enemies, more strength from demi-humans, but it is what it is. And I can't get down here, and will this... Oh, I lived. Nice. I... Going that way would have been a lot safer. That is for sure. And oh, well, you're... A ballista? I do not like that. There's another cave somewhere. Main thing is, I need to mark down Sealed Tunnel because I haven't actually gone on through. I... I feel good about myself. I'm happy. It was a nice one there. Then I... Let's... Toss a Lightning Spear of this bug. And oh my goodness, I... Another? You've got to be kidding me. Come on, you okay? Come on, alright. You can horse up again, and can I... Come on, we toss, and whatever that was, we... Blood Blade, okay. It's not as good as Reduvia, but... Armament with Blood, Blood Blade Hemorrhaging, Small Medium Swords. It's interesting that it does not mention it is a Blood Oath skill granted by the Word of Blood. You would expect that, and... How are there more... I didn't think more Revenants could even show up here. That is interesting. So I suppose we have to open this up with a stone sword key. This takes two stone sword keys. So what is this place going to be? And in what sense could it even be worth that? Okay. Let's go down. We got tunnels. So old Altus tunnel. This is explosive stone clump and that. Rock busting. Long forgotten how to craft them. Go down here. We can just... Reset the area, I suppose, or at least make a teleport possible when I feel like it. Get back here faster, though, to be fair, if I go back around here, I'll have other ways to do that. Go back up the tunnel. Starlight's good. Go back up. Presumably there should be other drop-downs in the area. So what else is here? What else is here? Hmm... Go back around, and Riley the Idol should be here. And the final invasion is going to be in Lindell Golden Capital, which means, I mean, Lindell Royal Capital. It's one of those two. It doesn't really matter. It's basically the same thing. Which will take a bit more to manage. And I thought for a second there might have been an item, and I was entirely wrong about that. How exciting. Go up here, and oh my goodness. Come on, come on. Okay, there was a... Spirit Spring there, but not in many other locations, so will this be our way through, or there's an item here. So what then? Probably gotta use the Spirit Spring. Golden Rune 3, that is basically nothing. Come on, come on. Keep on moving. Go up this way. See how this happens, and thank you, thank you. And then Riley the Idol. Riley the Idol. I actually did not want to go there specifically. Let's just go down on this spirit spring. Jump up here and this should be my location. But I could have I could have gone through here, couldn't I? I could have gone here anyway, and this would be. This is the way to the Shaded Castle, which maybe I will mm, there probably should be a side of grace nearby, marking the entrance, but. We've had for a bit, but this is the only way to get inside, it seems. It's that far down to that big pool of poison. Here we are, and another weak enemy ahead. Hello, very of Scarlet Rot. Oh, so... Presumably you might have the Antspur, maybe. Let's actually go for Gold Hit and Vow first, then... Put that on, and... Oh my goodness, you've got to be kidding. Come on, you... And Oh, of course you got that. Of course you have that. You are a lunatic. I, okay, cool. And, hmm, I, all right, and stab, oh, stab, and we, hmm, and I do not want to get Scarlet Rod on me. Come on, you. But piercing is so much better than everything else here. I, okay, well, I, all right. And is that the Crepus's Black Key Crossbow? I presume it is. Thank you, and another, and can I, Stab you quick and before you even use your flask. Exciting! Returning to your world. We are going to fur calling finger remedy. It, it's that easy. So now we can go back and get another reward from Lady Tanith. And we got Krebs's vial and twenty black key bolts, and this is 
When it's all sound made during movement, small mysterious bottle, darkness sealed within. I can't believe Deluxe, can't believe Deluxe dad is in this game. Control implement, round table hold assassins. Tarnish who had strayed from guns, feared nothing more than utter silence. Interesting, and... Delta Splateau, and how many of those do I even have? If it's key items, then... Do I keep those letters, or... Or would it be info? It probably would be information. And yep, it is info, so Volcano Manor Invitation, and then the two over there. Go back to ten and see what she gives me. I could get a little bit into Volcano Manor. I don't think I could get to the end, and I don't particularly feel like it. I think next time I hop on, I'll do a bit more in the manor. Get to the end and get... Well, they did see him die. Be hard to think. Alternate timeline, Super Mobile and Oh, and we get that's uh, another katana. Time has come to tell you. Ruler Lord Vicard, Tarnish for Grace. Two meager and face the enormity of their tasks. Scavenge squabbling for crumbs. Troy bears vying for power in the wake of the shattering. Peace to about fighting over scraps. Tree and the gods were to base us so. Wasana? Who? Resistance, even if it means a heresy. No rest until it is done. Lord will see who. Is it's a spectacle, he would eat us. Come a day too soon. We'll see who can come a day too soon. So what else do they have to say? Also, Pat should have another invasion of his own, and that never opens. Interesting. And where is Raya, then? Through and through, and you had it in you, take this. Letter to Bernal. First turn you sat at the round table hold. So in the field of battle. Should be invasion farm Azula. So alive. Till we meet again. Let's see. Acer Moon Blade and that poison buildup and deadly poison. Which deals faster damage. More damage per tick, but less ticks total. But it's better for damage. Serpent Bone. Row Spine. Stay away from the cutting edge. Coating lethal poison. Double Slash. It's okay, but it's a serpent. Interesting. But it's not actually Serpent Bone modeled after a red letter and that. Request Juno Hazel, Knight of Blood. They have read final request. Now on tops of the giants, and we cannot get there yet. What's interesting is that originally it might not have been Mount Tops of the Giants, but there's supposed to be a way to get to consecrated snowfield early. Through deeper depths and beta versions of the game that I got cut. Oh right, you're talking about fairy tale. So right, I should disregard what you're talking about. Okay, cool. And oh no, this this was separate to Bernal, Vargrim, and Wilhelm. In Royal Capital, and both men in there. That bravely default did it better. They're actually here in the Fortified Manor, which is actually a basically a real world version of the Round Table Hold. I, you deserve better for yourself. Oh, here she is. The business here. I do. Here? Not a guest room. Look you? upon your face, because she's a snake. Oh, uh, still a serpent. Mm. How dreadful indeed. Oh, My distress. Fear me as usual despite the appearance, but tarnished. Zorias. The deception. Pussy is my own doing. The falsehoods more can imagine as it seems. As my mother, Grace of Glorious King, which would be Rykard, cherishes the form I inhabit. Yeah, very cute snake. Wouldn't speak to me. Guys in seeking new recruits, not like the rest. Sir Madan Form, the names arise, secrets only in order to Tanith and I. You as well, save from anyone else. Okay, cool. Okay. So Diolos is not here anymore, which may mean he could be in Jarberg, but I'm not quite sure. Now Diolos has gotten just Zorias the scout then. Interesting. Huh. So the only thing left to do would be to keep going through the manor, and then when I can actually do the assassinations, doing the assassinations, come a day too soon. Zorias is formed, did you see? True face. Name Zorias, now I push to speak. Ask of you, kind of look after her. Purity of her heart. Hardly deserve the sweet child. All right. Hmm. Be kind to her. Okay. Interesting. So eventually we'll find some items in the manor relate to her quest line, but... Hmm. So what then? Anything else? Now I've talked to your mom, or... Okay, so there'll be a bit more. 
So Diolis will eventually move to Jarburg. Let's see if he's moved there now. Jarburg. Hmm. It's done. This would be... Is Diolos here? Or maybe he's gone back to the round table hold. Eats them all up. Go over to... Oh, I think it, it has to be after you kill Rykard, I think. So that'll be a while in the future. So they're gone. Pretty much everyone is gone except Nefeli and... Thea's gone, D is gone. Well, Dungator's here. Actually, V. He... Right. Bogart has left the Boyle Prom Shack. It's Nefeli, Dung Eater, and Enya, because Rykard and Deer are dead. Fia is also dead. We killed Alberic down there. Corrin is left. It. It's just Hugh. In the end, it is just going to be Hugh. Oh, and right, Riderica. Spirit tuning, and something you should know. That's something. Up at the south front, we have Dung Eater. Right over there. Fear of a curse. Said malice in itself. And ceasing cacophony. Suffering inflicted how many souls? Grafting caused that happen. Keep your distance, strong to please. Cross the ring. Allison, keep your distance. I. Special ashes. You know. I'll never use it. Let's do this anyway, just for an achievement. I think it will give me an achievement. Might get special dialogue too. And so many Grey Ghost Squall Boards, it's honestly funny. Took a lot of ruins, too. And, wow, that didn't even give me no achievement for that, and a lot of ruins. Well, you know, it mimicked tears at plus ten, to the extent it matters. Okay. Greetings, Super Spirit Tuning. Well, now we know, now we know. Won't be until after more god dies that we can do stuff in the fell ends. Yep, you can see all the way up here in the mountaintops. Oh, and maybe it's because of Kelmir, but how much would Halo Tree increase the upward boundary? Oh, hello! I. I was actually about. I'll, I'll be getting off soon. I'm sorry about that, but how are you doing? I could still make a bit of conversation in the meantime. I'll be going through a little bit more of Volcano Manor. How are you doing? It's good to see you again. Always good to have more people involved. No, but... No, Dios is here, so what is he talking about? Do we have to talk to the jars again, or... What's going on? Where is Dios? Should be everyone who's here, but... Patches is there, and... So where's Dios? What do you mean by want it? Okay, you're in the server. You know where the schedule is. I'll be playing tomorrow. I can hop back in. Time to myself. Achieved anything at all. Time to time and time again. Yet to achieve anything. A fool after all. Got the wrench the name of my house. Cannot believe these impatient children. These must have been. Realize the honest no end of my foolishness. Fool after all. Okay. Mark must have been. The question is, can I get him to go to Charburg? That's my real question. After that, I think I could progress a little into the manor. I might be able to farm A. Yeah, it... I can repost it. I can repost that. It's a link to a when to me. You can choose any name you might like if you want to stay somewhat anonymous. But it's in the server, Noble Brother Says. Juno Haslow. It's in announcements if you scroll up. Maybe I should make... I should make another channel for that. Scheduling input. For after all, and... So now he's doubting himself. Maybe I could go to Jarburg and make... Talk about potentates. Force? Force is a, force is a strong word. Okay. Should be able to have... A bit more you and... Hello again, potents come to the village. Dios. Oh, he's come here now. Hands move as silk. So, disappointed lately. Wonderful suit of armor. Not a warrior. Be fighting anymore. And that's when he pats us. Big and strong like you. Don't worry. Mm. So where is he? To talk to him somewhere. He's just here to pat the jars. 
can't exactly. We can't exactly defend. There's an Arteria Leaf over there, but... So where is Diallo Savan? This will be the end of his quest line. So we can see some of that. Where are you, Mr. Diallos? Oh, they're full of beans. Interesting. Hello. Far too long. The rest of that's not a grace. Padding jars. Mm. Diallos is truly the fail son of Elden Ring. Straight and narrow. He let a servant die, joined the people who killed her, couldn't even be a good assassin, and... Well, simple chores. Okay. Now if we re reload the area, and potentate Diallos. Okay. So this will not be the end of the jar quest, but... Oh, it's raining! That's not good. But something else will be here in relation to Alexander later. So, and then... Anything to say? You got knocked over. Wonderful deal. Smooth and silky. Hmm. Now that they're all sleeping, let's see what happens. Eventually, once enough resets will make something bad happen. Which, sadly, is what we want to happen. We might not be the nicest here. So then, if I... Do I have to reload the area by leaving? It's possible. So then, after a few resets... Hmm. Might have to come back later. So he pats us, being strong like you. Let's go to the hole and come back and see. It might have to be plot progression related, maybe. After we kill Morgoth, everything is about killing Morgoth. Okay. But... I am almost done here. A little bit more of Volcano and that should be done. And this... You're, you're falling over, so... Well, they're still frolicking. Mm, okay. Diolos of the Soft Hands. So he's no longer there, so we need to kill... Juno Hoslo and... Vargrim and Wilhelm and Lanedell. But before that, I'd like to find another side of grace in the manor. That'll be a fine way to get things done. Let's see what happens. It'll be a second. What could I switch out? I think. The snakes. This should be good against the snakes, I would presume. It scales. They're scaled creatures. Oh, but that's right. I, right, I did go to this side of Grace Prison Town Church and find one more thing. It might be nice, but I could try farming for the. Not quite sure where you farm specifically the. Oh, and that goes out. That's the outlet to where the magma worm was. Right, but also real quickly. I do have two more. Oh, one more, one more thing to buy a Dragon to Union. That Magma Breath, which can be nice to see, but it's like chain casting it with Catch Flame. So that would almost certainly be my best way to deal fire damage. So I'm an altar, and the only thing here now is Magma Breath, only costs one. Worm to steal Magma Breath, one follow up attack. May slowly slipping away, fully succumb to their fate, left no more than worms that crawl the earth. And, you know, I guess we really were that hungry. Cool. So let's equip this and show the quick cast off. Memorize spell, and no, not that. Put in Catch Flame in one and Magma Breath in here. We'll show off what they look like. like that, and mm -mm, this is tough. Catch Flame and Magma Breath. Take some time, but if you put it on here and catch flame and and a quick spray of magma, and that is very very strong. But when I actually use that, just for the sake of getting back to first spell quicker, 
probably reorganize things so catch flame is actually first. Interesting. So, just like this, and then Blessings Boon. And anything that's weak to fire. This is going to be a splendid way to get rid of it. Could try... Let's try Blood Boon out real quick. I get a chance to demonstrate it. And... Toss that and... What is interesting is that... Generally you want to... Sort of aim down or around... I'm going to do a quick damage test on one of these knights around here. We'll see what happens. Do this real quick, and where are you? Where is that knight? What was that over there? That is just kindred of rot. Servants, servants of rot. Actually, that's a another random dragon communion knight. Okay. Huh. And interesting. Uh, all right, and what if I do this down there, and can I, mm, it's like that, and come on, you. Come on, come on. Try that again, and just re-aim that, and burn. Uh, that, the blood flame is okay, and oh, that actually worked pretty well. But it's kind of a silly spell. It, it's almost certainly better for PvE than PV, PvP than PvE. The only way to actually make use of every denial. So then. Let's rearrange my spells. Maybe try to find another set of grace. But actually, this is a decent place to be. And given that Volcano Matter is kind of an alternative roundtable hold, maybe I'll actually end my day here. I am a recusant now. Over here, and put on Golden Vow, and. Flame Grammy Strength, and then Black Flame, Lightning, then always the Starlight, not Lucidity, Starlight, not Terra Magica, Starlight, and then that just for the sake of sniping if we feel like it. So let's just poke down. This goes multiple ways. Well, it's nice how bright this place is. Let's post some other legacy dungeons. There's a bridge over here, and presumably that'll be a shortcut much later. If only I could use my horse here. That'd be fun. You can also shoot that abductor virgin from down here if you feel like it. I don't particularly feel like it right now. So in that case, I think the Godskin Noble is through there. I hello then. Well, you extend. You extend. Okay. Huh. This is Volcanic Stone, and where would I get Gelmir Glintstone Staff? Glintstone Staff. And that's going to be my best option for a while. Throne Room above Volcano Manor. Temple of Egle. A Wift. So that'll be some time. Okay. Barge Egg was originally obtainable, but was removed Egg Helmet. It's been removed. A boss. Quintstone Pebble. Serpent Ashes. Unique drop. Only time you see it, but... Huh. Hex with a whip. Each run up, but it does respawn. Either way, I think... It's been fun. It's been good. Actually, what I should do is... Let's just test out... Let's do a quick damage test to see whether Piercing or... Striker Slash might be my best option against those things real quick. Just want to see. Try that out. Piercing is, at least with this weapon, which is my best option. Though I could do some. Well, I can't do any Ride of Blood stuff because I don't have. Spent that on the stupid Moonlight Greatsword, which ended up not even being great. I, I made a mistake. And, okay, that. That's okay, it's decent, but let's just try the hammer, and. Hammer is. Especially due to all the upgrades, probably going to be my best option. And come on, I. Mm, let's just try that. And come on, I. Just let me do a normal hit on you. That actually, slash damage is going to be my best option against these guys, which is pretty predictable. But either way, I. I've been going for a while. There are things I need to do. One of the, one of those things is eat food. 
So I think I'll go back to the start of the manor and hop out. It's been a fun one. But I guess the question is, do I name next session Volcano Manor or Altus? Well, you know, it's not that complicated. I'll figure it out. Thank you for watching, and yeah, Sound Dragon. Sayonara Dragon.